All right, let's do a run. You a night owl? Yes. I would say that I am most definitely a night owl. What? What's the opposite of a night owl? A morning person? <laughs> Either an owl or a person. Dude, Shady, you would love Nier. That's my tape. Oh no, where's my titty mouse pad? I moved it because I was tired of people commenting on my videos like, oh, you've got a titty mouse pad. And then like it got weird. People were like, dude, you forgot to hide your titty mouse pad. I'm like, dude, I'm not ashamed of it. Now, maybe I should just keep it because if like that's what gets people talking. I mean, that's that's YouTube engagement. It's depressing putting so many hours into a video, like the audio and the visuals and preparing it and polishing it. And then 50% of my comments are about my titty mouse pad. What did Fortnite win? Fortnite won best MMO, or not MMO. <laughs> not best MMO, well, I think best multiplayer game, not MMO. Yeah, Fortnite's probably my, my uh, favorite JRPG. Oops, that's not where the star is at all, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the uh, the fast strat. Nope, not gonna work. <laughs> it almost somehow worked accidentally, but zero suit titty. <laughs> Why is she titty? Just because she's a girl? There's so many other girls. I, I played the first Devil May Cry and that was it, but um, I didn't play the new one. Um, but ooh, okay, that's fine. We can work with that. <laughs> Ooh, 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 that was really, that was a little too close for comfort. All right, so we can't, we can't take any damage at all. Oh my God. What did I just, what did I just, oh my God. Mario, you are killing me right now. <laughs> ah, it's all good. The run's not dead yet. <laughs> Unclenched friends. How? The fuck was that a gold? That's pretty fast. Uh, until I'd say that I'm fast and then I'd ruin everything. Hoping for a Wario laughing mix with the Soviet National Anthem. That would be sick. I, I want to like, when I PB, I want like Mario screaming, but with the, the Russian National Anthem just playing over it. I think that would be the hypest thing. You can, Wait, you can do that with live split? Oh man, you shouldn't have told me that. What? Confused, is that is that real? Did we save 30 seconds? We still gotta play this well for like 20 more minutes, so it's not like, it's not like this is in the bag or anything, but still holding my breath. Breathe, breathe. Oh my God! All right, back up. <laughs> There's a backup star right here. You gotta play smart. You can't just play fast, you gotta play smack. <gasps> no! Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> that was. Oh god. Mario, come on. Come on. Bring it home! You piece of shit! Oh my god. Alright, we're still a minute. We're st we still got a minute. This is probably one of my favorite favorite tricks in the whole run. <laughs> oh my god! And when it when it just like so so satisfying. You ever just listen to this bass line and just fucking nut in your pants? No, me neither. Ever, especially not right now. Especially not right this second. I think a lot of people feel like the last good YouTube rewind was like 2013. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait until the day that I'm in a YouTube. That's never gonna happen. If I ever get into a YouTube rewind, I swear to all of you, I will remove a rib and suck my own left nut on live Twitch and be okay with being banned because I'll be in YouTube rewind. Manson only sucks his dick. I will suck on my left nut. It's not even like cool. It's not even good. It's not even like a turn on. It's just weird. And I'm gonna do it. Jump man, more like dump man. Am I right, friends? There he is. Just need to be negged a little. Okay. What do you guys think of this? Whoops. <laughs> Just 
straight chilling. What if Bowser just started doing like smash moves at me? Sorry, now you can't PB, dude. Cold run, no no warm up, just see what happens. Oh, all right, oh, already off to a good start. There we go. But uh, ooh, that's not good. Can I make it up? <laughs> okay. Oh come on! What are the chances the Goomba would be there? Oh, I thought it was gonna hit him too. God fuck! All right, well at least we got it there. That Goomba was literally in the worst fucking place he could have been. Teleportation just doesn't really like... There's no way that I can I can possibly conceive teleportation in this reality other than literally a machine that kills you and then recreates you in the new place, right? Is that is that you that got recreated from when you, from where you teleported? Is that still you? Like... Like, whoa, did you see his foot? <laughs> That's weird. Is hentai considered productive? It depends on what you do with hentai. If you're making the hentai and you're making money off of it, holy fuck, super productive. People probably make money in the United States for translating hentai. All right, let's 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 calm down with the hentai, Zog. I know you chat and I know you guys are gonna fucking, you guys are gonna hyper focus. Tired of fucking this trick up. We're gonna get a first try. Whoa. Oh, come on! <laughs> My favorite thing to do when speedrunning is blame the character. BBW? BBW is Big Boo's want. We always talk about Big Boo's haunt, but we never really ask what he wants. Just what he haunts. Well, well oh, we fucking talked about that. Is, Big, is, is Boo dead? What was Boo in the previous life? You know? Game theory. There's like a super dark pretense with the fact that like Boo's just can't bear to look at you. Like there's something fucked up happening there. Oh, the bun fucked me. But we fucked the bun right back. Why we fucking buns? That's what we do around here. Don't at PETA. Oh, I wasn't there, fuck. <laughs> Oops, too fast. God, I need to stop speed running so fast. This is actually where the biggest time save is, so we might be like in an insane, insane, uh, if we get this red coins, it's gonna be fucked up how, how ahead we are. This is where we failed on the, on the, on the PB, so even if we do fail this, we're not gonna be in too bad shape. But let's try not to. Shit. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. God, I'm actually like kind of shaking. Um, luckily, that's like kind of the last really hard trick we have to do in the run, so. Except, fuck, Mario, what the fuck was that garbage? Shove anybody into that star and win instantly. That, that'll like be, <gasps> what? We still save time. Like, I think, we, I think we failed two jumps in the PB and we didn't miss a single one. Mario, Mario has passed away. <laughs> Moment of silence for Mario, everybody. Why does the clock still make noise when it's not moving? That's what I want to know. What a what a horrible oversight from the developers. It's just like, the game was almost perfect. I bet Mario doesn't even have nipples. 
He does an Odyssey, but does he in this game? We don't know. So we're gonna go for uh, one of the uh, easy stars now, since I didn't turn the clock off. I just went ahead and just jumped in like an idiot. That might not work. Oh, it did. Oh my god. <laughs> it was just like, that might not fucking. Oh, okay, we're good. I don't know if he's gonna get it. Shit. <laughs> oh, I don't know if he's gonna grab the star. God damn it. <gasps> oh no, that sucks. Oh, get the... <sighs> I don't think we can do it, but uh, we can definitely PB. I think that that mistake that mistake robbed us the possibility of sub one hour. Okay, we can do this. We can PB. Oh, come on. What a buzzkill. Shit. I fucked up. I fucked up the splits. But it's okay. We did it. We PB'd. One hour and 49 seconds we beat this game. Oh my god! Chili of Destiny, thank you so much for the $100! Strong way to end the year. It's not a strong way to fucking flip out. It's because my, my fucking, um, my split, the, 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 the buttons I used for the live splits are like, backspace is like, delete last split and i needed a backspace because i spelled mario wrong i spelled spelt it martio <laughs> Mar i said martio screaming we beat this game in under almost under an hour all right enough of that enough of that thank you guys so much girl geek thank you so much for the two months why did that go so well with the music oh my god i just got goombed oh god i just want that sub one hour i want it I want a bad shit set up but it worked Nope, first frame. There we go. What? You guys ever see that subreddit that's um, r slash confident, yeah, confidently incorrect. It's a bunch of video clips of people like, who are like so sure about something and suddenly like owlless and suddenly I can't do it. It's like less than a week now, right? That, uh, that um, Animal Crossing New Horizons comes out and Doom Eternal. You'll be able to just like, kind of like, continuously palate cleanse like <laughs> go from like i need something like you know really violent and crazy and then after you've just had your complete fill on violence just have some super nice laid back animal crossing and then once you need once you need a little grit in your life just go right back to doom and then rinse and repeat four toilet papers for one t pb some tp for pb i like that can i get one uh one sheet per uh per uh second one <laughs> one ply per second dude i can't wait for a six my my fucking 60 ply toilet paper keep getting half an a press there oh my lord <gasps> damn it i just like yeah uh, are you serious why why did he go into the stomach there again what am i doing wrong okay i'm clearly fucking i'm hitting it at w either a weird angle or Okay, I think I, I was just not pressing forward. I got goomed in the beginning of the run. It was canceled. The whole run was fucking cursed. Oh, that was tight. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Should I do a 16 star run? All right, 16 star run, here we go. Shadow Wolf, thanks so much for the 100. I was thinking about this last night, question for you in chat. How old or how many years would it be appropriate to use the term back in the day? I think back in the day implies that like, you know when you're like, those were the days? That's what I always thought it was about. So I feel like it depends on the age that you are and at what point you were kind of like a young budding 
small, malleable lad. Seven years or more if you're 26, I would say 10 years ago for me. If you ask like, you know, your grandpa, their, their back in the day is gonna be like 60 fucking years ago. <laughs> Thank you Del, Del Cake so much for subbing to me back in the day. That didn't look like, oh Jesus, fuck! <laughs> Why did I do that? I think Del just likes the fact that he can swear in my chat. Probably just all builds up from modding for Jared, and then he can come into my chat and he's just like, fuck. Yeah, Stellcake does mention Kirby in my chat. Do bombs have real feet in their shoes too? Holy shit. I think I need that. I think that's that's my next emo. Fuck, dude. I'd be down to do a bob with feet and then a, a, a pink bob with feet. I think that would be good. And then I also need a gold emote, so we could do a gold bob with feet. <laughs> You're a partner, you get to skip the human approval now? Hell yes. And that just means I'm doing a... I'm gonna do a, a, a fucking black bob with feet and boobs. <laughs> Real human boobs on my bob On my male bob <laughs> boo bomb. I love it! Man, it just fucking writes itself. Please... Smoking dick and sucking dick, baby. <laughs> Thank you. The Nick and Dick helped with Owlis. I don't know if it did, but sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do Bowser this time and not die. Okay. Probably. Oh no! Oh God! What did I say? I said I wasn't gonna die. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Ooh. There we go. Nope. Fuck, dude. And... Split. <laughs> God. Ugh. No! What? I don't know why I'm so fucking freaked out. This run's dead as fuck. Wow, that was a gift. With that, now that we're all warmed up, <laughs> let's do our first 70-star run of the day. Where is Mario? What the fuck? What was that? He just fucking yeets me? That's not fair. What? He just fucking ran me the fuck over. I have never seen that either. I feel punished for nothing. I feel punished for getting the star fast. <laughs> Happy to report that a penguin has been charged with a first degree murder. We are in game mode now. We're in, we're in fucking, we're in gamer mode. We're in fucking gamer mode. Only God gamers. Fuck. Only God gamers. Yeah, don't die to the penguin. See, that, that sucked because that was like a good run. And then we lost it to... Well, I mean, now we know never to never to let the penguin run me over. Anyone used to play... Uh, I don't know what, what made me think of this, but... um, Anyone used to play Dungeon Siege? Dungeon Siege used to be like one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I actually did a cover from it a long time ago. It had a really good multiplayer um, thing where you can kind of like do quests and stuff with other people. Like, I was young. I was probably like 12. Um... And I remember it was another like 12 year old, about my age, I should say, not not other 12 year old, yeah. But then there was this other guy in there that was much older. I don't remember how I found these guys to play with. I think I probably just like entered some like random thing and then we were like, hey, we played really well, let's let's form up. You know the song, I'm Too Sexy? You know, they're like, I'm too sexy for my church. I used to think that was like the funniest song. This one time I blasted it in our fucking TeamSpeak server and... <laughs> <laughs> the other kid was like laughing his ass off, but the uh, the the older guy was like pissed. I thought he was gonna unfriend us and never play Dungeon Siege with us ever again because I played I'm Too Sexy at fucching like ear piercing volume. Who got your cover with John Petrucci? God, that was super sick. John Petrucci is the Shredmaster. He's also my dad. I wish, not really. I should stop saying that. I need to stop saying that John Petrucci's my dad because people will actually believe it. Yeah, Grant Kirkhope's my dad, and John Petrucci's my dad, and. Toxic X Eternity is my dad. Corey Dyer is my dad. Adriana is not my dad either. She's too busy being a snail mom to be my dad. Yes! Oh, front sub. We got it. Can I get a sub for front sub? I would love that sub toasted. I think I might get Subway after this. Just because we got front sub. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Get the coins, stop being a bitch! Yeah, Mario would probably be a lot nicer to me if I didn't treat him like an asshole. I verbally abuse him because I care, you know? I mean, everyone's clear on that, right? 
Okay, stop. <laughs> Please stop, Mario. Wow, I am fucking playing with fire here. Holy shit. Not a bad split at all. Fuck. We lost a little bit of time, but I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it, man. Ah. Come on. There we go. All right, well. Doesn't matter. Committed murder. Oh, God. Almost committed suicide. Damn. Now that's what I call speed running. Holy shit. That was fast. I wish I was playing well enough where, like, most of my stars felt like that. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> I did a long jump, but I still got the star. That could have been bad. All right. Now that was a good split. That was a really good fucking split. All right, you guys are all just in time to watch me fucking make a mess of this run. Rainbow Ride is hard because the tricks are very particular, and then TikTok is really hard because the level's not fucking done. I am very salty about all the fucking invisible walls in that level. Good shit. Ugh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no! I need to stop going for it. It looks like I can do it, but I can't. I need to go higher. Come on, dude! It's alright. It's alright, it's worth it. It's so worth it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Alright, good shit. We're in it, friends. This is a good run. Just need one more wall kick. Fuck! It's okay. We have like three... Three or so tries at this. There we go. So used to randomize that seeing the stars in the right position just confuses me. I feel that. Yeah, definitely like when you were grinding randomizer for a while, it was very strange to then go back to normal. Oh my god, Mario, no. Please. No! Oh my god. A little bit of hubris, a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of too sure of myself. Lose a little time here. It's fine. Alright. Very solid rainbow ride. Very solid. We are red. Or no, we're green. We're green, but we're literally on pace for, for PB. Good reds. Man. Unless you miss the star, you piece of shit! Fucking blind motherfucking Italian plumber bitch. The big fucking blue ass son of a bitch, Mario. Literally, just get it! Just reach out with your little fucking nubby white hands. This could be- Oh, Jesus! Mario, where are you going? Where are you going, kid? This is gonna be so fucking tight. I don't think- I don't think it'll happen, but we can try. Give me your vibes. <laughs> Holy God! That was almost it right there. Ah, oh, yes! Daddy, yes! Fucking dick, dick, baby! baby. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Why did I do that? Bowser's is just a bitch! There it is. Alright. Oh! It's not much. <laughs> Mario, you won't believe it. He turned himself into a pickle. They call him Pickle Rick. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen.
those of you guys fans of the Jules Conroy YouTube channel, um, I am definitely focusing a little bit more on Mario content for that channel. Uh, most of these streams will probably be cut up and uh, made into highlights for that channel. Um, I mostly just want to like have it be a place where I can fucking. I am I am slapping this A button harder than a fucking. Oh god, all the metaphors are just, just piling out of my brain right now. Fucking shit and fucking freak fucking. Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. So, what just happened was something that I've been trying to do for a very long time. I kind of screwed it up right there, but if I'm at 98 coins and I can do that, watch this. Pretty sick, right? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm like over here like, bro, did you see that shit? And Canadian Summer's like, eh, sorry. Have you looked at your title? Uh, I don't know. What does my title say? Did somebody change it? No, there's no, uh, there's no typos there. Yeah, Mawio. Mawio get Ooh, woo. I think that, uh, Adriana found somebody's, uh, Twitter name was Mawio get Ooh, woo. <laughs> Not gonna get fucking run over by a penguin this time. Oh, we got run over by a penguin this time. It wasn't a lethal fucking running over of Mario. Where are you going? Oh, that was almost bad. I think I think we, I think there's a time save here, right? Because we died. We died in Lava Land, so we can bring this back green if we don't die. Fuck. All right, going for that double front sub. You guys think we have it in us to get the double front sub? It's only been talked about in Legends. Oh! And Legends it will remain. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Stop it. God, when you don't do that the fast way, it's just so, like... So... I don't know why I almost said blumpy. Blumpy is an adjective. Um, it means to be much like a blumpkin. A blumpkin is the act of getting a blowjob whilst taking a shit. If you are getting that, you are receiving a blumpkin. How many of you guys knew what a blumpkin was before that? What? What do you mean? Why? Yeah. How? Like? How have like none of you guys ever seen Harold and Kumar? That might be it. I've never lost a run to that, but we just did. Mama Mia. It's always very sad losing runs that deep into a run. Being blumpkined sounds like it was not, it doesn't. It almost sounds like, haha, blumpkined, you idiot. <laughs> blumped, I kind of like blumped. Blumped is pretty, <laughs> yo bro, sick blump. Fuck my Ass. No more blumpy runs. Hashtag no more blumpy runs. Let's get that trending, everybody. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna play some Mario. Um, I do want to show you guys. Jesus fucking Christ! I just like threw it in my mouth. Th threw it in my mouth. I threw up in my mouth. Fuck. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. That happens to the pros. I swear. No. I did it again. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, so close! But did you see that? I'd like to, uh... Shut up, Alexa. Yeah, so is my fucking stream! No. Maybe? Oh, that was so fucking close, though. That was probably a- Oh, no, I was gonna say that was a gold split. What the fuck? How is the split that good? Have your goddamn penguin, you motherfuck! Oh, man. I'm having a really hard time with the first throw, like, every time. Oh, I forgot to dab. Gold split! You like watching people play Animal Crossing? Yeah, it's pretty, like, relaxing, even to just, like, watch. Do you prefer to rip and tear instead? You can rip and tear in Animal Crossing. Yeah, you can get rip and torn by fucking tarantulas. Dude, Adriana found a fucking tarantula island yesterday. She just like filled up her entire inventory and she paid off like the uh, the 198,000 bells in one fucking visit. Oh my God. 
Why am I like this? Fuck. Yep, that killed it. Stress decreases your immune system, so just be confident. Be confident in your young, malleable bodies and do things that you enjoy doing, like playing Mario Kart. Mar Mario Crossing? Mario Mario Kart. Mario Party. Mario. By just playing Mario. Only, Only play, play Mario. Mario. How many of you guys ha have been playing Animal Crossing so far? Copy won't come, in come until Tuesday. Damn. I feel like Animal Crossing is a really bad game to, to not get the day that you want it, because, like, every day that you miss it, unless you cheat, shouldn't cheat, ruins the fun. Playing while you watch the stream? Nice. I feel like, I feel like watching streams and playing Animal Crossing is, like, that's, like, a good vibe. Like, I feel like any, any character in that game is a potential, like, husbando, waifu, whatever. I hate it. If you guys didn't see the Untitled Goose Game musical, I played the groundskeeper. If you go to Random Encounters, it's their latest musical. Adriana played the goose, and she did a great job. There was a, a, a small girl who came up to her, and her dad goes, Hey, she wants a picture with the chicken. <laughs> he was just like, how's your, how's your English it's accent? Joey, thank you so much <laughs> for the 69! I got pipes. <laughs> AJ asked me if I have a good British accent and I said no. He's like, good, none of us do. <laughs> Is it safe to unmute? It's never safe to unmute. He would have asked you to do it as bad as possible anyway. Yeah, I guess. So I just went for a good, uh, like crappy, like Jon Snow, like, Sam, we have to get to the wool. <laughs> we have to get to the wool, Sam. Mario, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? We have to get to the wool, Sam. Sam! Whatever the opposite of Goombud was. Oof. 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 All right, let's try again. I'm feeling pretty good today, but again, if the stream goes to shit, we'll just play fucking Animal Crossing. Oh, are you serious? Ooh. Why isn't he grabbing that fucking ledge? There's so many cool things I've never seen before. That's why I liked watching it and why I ended up learning it. It's just, it was so, like, it was also just like a reason to like go back and play it again. What the fuck was that? Dude, I watched Dragon t Dragon Tales. Mostly because I had a brother who was like way younger than me. So my, um, my younger brother's seven years younger than me. And so when Dragon Tales was around, it, it was also like Teletubbies and stuff like that. So I watched all that shit. Teletubbies is fucked up, dude. Teletubbies is some weird like post-apocalypse shit, man. I tell ya. I think Teletubbies is the, the future where, you know, the apocalypse has happened. We're all living underground like fucking hobbits and human beings have fused their fat fucking sloppy bodies with the TVs that they've fucking been watching <laughs> and then tubby custard dude i don't even fucking know man that show gets weird how jewels my childhood i'm sorry i'm just saying how it is how, how i think it is at least telly tubby's gritty reboot yeah let's see it man damn jace book they're the same show rick and morty tinky winky turned himself into a pickle they call him pinky tinky <laughs> picky ticky Wiki, I don't know, fuck. For some reason it worked better in my head. Yeah, Steve, uh, Steve's a musician now. I, th I think one of the things was he was just like, he realized he was kind of going bald. He wasn't really into it as much, and so he just passed on to the next person. Like, he didn't want to have to like deal with all the kids who were like, why is Steve losing all his hair? That could be also a rumor. That could be like one of those things like, um, Mr. Rogers has fucking Marines tattoos. That's why he always wears a, a fucking sweater, which that's not true. <laughs> there was Joe and then the third guy. <laughs> Man, imagine being remembered as the third guy. <laughs> Fuck this bunny. Nips kind of looks like blue. I know blue is a dog, but... It's like the big floppy ears. I should have a Mips emo. I feel like that would be good for gold. Maybe like a really happy Mips or something. But I feel like we never talk about Mips happily. We're always like fucking screaming at him. Dude, Hugh Neutron. Why, I'm, I'm really glad we started talking about Jimmy Neutron. I got pretty deep into Jimmy Neutron. Sheen was literally me. <laughs> if you guys want to know what I was like in fucking school, I was I was literally just Sheen. I was like bringing the same fucking toy to <laughs> like to every single fucking show and tell. <laughs> I was Carl. Oh no. I feel like this run gets really fun around here. Like once we once we get to SSL, I think this run is like a really. I hate this fucking game. This game is really bad. 
hate I hate that I hate this video game. It's not a very good one. They didn't they didn't do a good job. I might give it a six out of ten at most. <sighs> Won't even start. <laughs> yeah, Rock is Modern Life was was probably my main my main show. But that's another one that I like. I don't remember anything specifically from that show. Like, I don't remember a single episode of Rock is Modern Life. I just remember certain points. I remember Heifer always telling everybody he's a steer. Um, what's his face? Always saying he's nauseous. Rocco just fucking being nervous all the time. <laughs> Turn the page, wash your hands. That's topical for right now. Oh my God. Sayanella is raiding us with a party of a lot of people. Who was disqualified? Was I disqualified? Oh, Emil got disqualified on Animal Crossing? What was he originally qualified for? <laughs> wow, that actually sounded really mean. What's Emil qualified for? Smoking dick and sucking Fucking dick, dick, baby. <laughs> I was a dead mouse. Or not a dead mouse, uh... What is it? Fuck. Daft Punk. Yeah, there, there it is. For some reason, daft sounded wrong to me. I was just like, they're not daft. <laughs> They're pretty good. <laughs> like, my runs today have been, like, my technique has been great. I've just been getting really unlucky. Whereas it's usually the other way around. Usually I'll just have, like, an insane amount of luck, but, like, I'll be playing like shit. As long as we get some good luck today, we could get a very insane PB. And I'm very excited for that. I think it'll happen. Nope. <gasps> oh, man. Stuff like that. I'm just like, man, why did he not just walk up there? It was just like he was close enough. Hell yes. Oh, we love to see it. Dude, we love to see it. Ah! All right, so this is the part of the run where we try to do front sub. We're gonna try to hit a very specific angle of the front of this sub to essentially allow us to get up there. Yes! Oh, that's really hard. A very, very tight area to get that. So that's gonna be a huge time save probably. Either that or we'll be on time. I think, I think we got front sub in the PB. You have got to be kidding me. These rings are so bad. It's like, look at this shit. Yeah, you're supposed to get five in a row, but they don't work very well. That was a very bad. Please, 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 please. Are you serious? Come on, dude. That's such fucking horse shit. Ugh. It's just like such a bullshit thing. Cause like, it's not even like, it's just the game's bad. <laughs> the game didn't code those very well. Dell is a wonderfully programmed boy. You said 320,000 bells, hell yeah, man. I'm gonna have to be making that uh that grind here pretty soon too. My grind has been um just hanging out with Adriana in bed for like the past fucking like four days, playing Animal Crossing together. I just want that one day where I'm feeling like I'm playing well and the stars are aligning. Like today I'm feeling like I'm playing well, but the stars are just not, not there. One minute red. I cannot believe this shit, man. I don't want to. Not, 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 not at a minute. Not at a minute, man. It's pretty good. That's our best pace so far. All right. Confident Dark World. Here we go. Ugh! Holy shit! No! Fuck! Ah! Mario! Fuck. <laughs> you could still save it. Uh, if Mario doesn't turn on right now, this is going to become an Animal Crossing stream. <sighs> the gods have spoken. Oh, yay! Doorbell! Doorbell remake!
<laughs> Guess what we're grinding today. You do a 69 star run for the people. <laughs> the people need to see it. Fuck! Those of you guys don't know, I, I uploaded a new doorbell video today. I actually put effort into this one. Now, I didn't put a lot of effort into it. Let me- let me be real. Yesterday I woke up and I was just like, today the thing that I'm gonna do is bad guy on my doorbell, but with slightly more effort than the other ones. Wait, who turned himself into a pickle? No shit! Did he do- did Rick do it? <laughs> He really did it this time. The the Pickle Rick meme is because I feel like the, the original meme was so unfunny, it became more funny. It was already like a really cringy kind of thing that um, fucking Zoomers were like busting into like Burger King and just screaming, I'm Pickle Rick. So it was just like, Jesus Christ, please. And that was like kind of the beginning of the end of Rick and Morty being like, kind of like this, hey, this is kind of like a cool show that's like not really well known. It was just kind of like, all right, here we go. The cringe of the meme became what was the meme. What happens is like the jokes that land the most are the ones that are like the lowest common denominator. Like everyone loves a good dick joke for the most part. Everyone loves like a, a fart joke. The actual amount of fucking people that are going to vibe with that is going to be like way higher than something that's like a little bit more of a harder to grasp joke or a joke that's like a little bit more funny. It's just you need to put a little bit more thought into it, right? And all the ways that no game can- there we go. That's what I've been trying to do. And then, bam, 16 second star. Um, I, I really kind of feel like, um... This game is really creepy without music. Like, they're pretty comparable to my Axe effects. Man, the, yeah, again, the lag is just making this. It's so finicky to get Mario to just fucking shove his fat little butt in there. He isn't fat, he's full of pasta. That's what fat is. <laughs> You get fat when you're full of pasta. So the other thing we definitely need to practice is the uh, rainbow ride jump. When I'm not under pressure, I almost never fail this. Just kidding, I don't always get it. <laughs> Alright, let's do some runs. Let's do some 16. Alright, let's do it! Let us fucking do it! I don't know if it's just because I'm fucking out of shape and fat, but... Fuck! We practiced that. Randomizer time! We- we fail one run, it's like, alright, it's randomizer time. Fuck it. Fuck it. Okay. Fuck. We just failed that twice in a row. I'm worried. Oh my god, dude. I cannot believe I'm this bad at Mario today. <laughs> yeah, blame the macaroni virus. That sounds about right. Please, for the love of God. Thank you. It's fine. It's, everything's fine. I don't like that angle at all! Nope. Oh my God, dude. Come on, Mario, you got this. You're a bitch. <laughs> you a bitch, Mario! Why does that keep happening? We just practiced this. Maybe it's because we practiced it. Every time, that's how you know the run's gonna go to shit. I go, this is the run, guy. <laughs> Fuck! This is the run. Narrator, it was not the run. It's worth it. Oh, my boy Bowser giving us the dance. Bam! Eat a dick. All right, boys, you know what this, you know what it's time for? The dab! <laughs> Good shit, and we saved a shit ton of time. I don't know why people dab to EDM. Me neither. I'm the wrong person to ask that question. Are you a real gamer? Mm -mm. Oh, I sure wouldn't say so. How could I be a gamer with all the sex I have? With all the sex with women <laughs> that I have. Lots. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> the process of filming the uh, bad guy doorbell vid was, um, I was like, Corey, just film everything. And we, I just cut it up from there. My message to the house was, um, Sorry about all the doorbells, guys. I'm making another offering to Satan. Okay, we can, we can save some time with the front sub. Oh, way too fucking Jesus. Oh, no, we didn't get it. When you really think about it, sub front is another way of saying back. That's true. Emil messaged me today, like, please open up your gates. I need to buy turnips. Slight dab. Let's get that sub one hour. Here we go. Just kidding. Game won't turn on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> oh. Ha! Ah.
<laughs> Only two 90s kids knows about the, the burp strat. What's up, Jack? No, yeah, blowing in the cartridge is super bad. You gotta get the, the Q-tips and the, the, the alcohol or whatever. Pour some rum straight into your cartridge and just fucking go at it with a paper towel and it will work every time. <laughs> Wouldn't that make Mario drunk? No, see, Mario's already drunk. Do you see the shit? <laughs> Do you see the shit he's doing? He's already fucked up. Oh my god. Mario, what? <laughs> Mario is trashed. What? Mario is a bitch. Mario's a fucking bitch. Love the collab with Joe Sniffy and Alfred. Alfred Plus finally getting Luigi in the game. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. We learned very quickly that Joe Sniffy and I are the worst possible team. So we just kind of hoped, well, hopefully that'll just make it more entertaining. <laughs> yeah, go to Alfred Plus. Check that out. Man. Dang. Holy shit, that was cool! Oh, that was fucking swag strat right there. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh my god, I cannot believe that works. That was a really bl butt, blood, blood clenching, butt clenching, blood clenching. <laughs> oh, we get the dance again. I love that. Love that for you, Bowser. Good uh, Dark World. It was a little sloppy, but I mean, we saved time, so I'll take it. What? Different uh, mode. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? Please? Oh, oh my god. It's one of those fucking tricks that sometimes I just forget how to do. Fuck. And there she goes. It's cliffs at night and uh, very low, low chance. Fuck! What a great first split to fucking die there. Yahoo! Don't agree with that. It stands for fucking jump. Fucking jump! Mario 64! Yeah, it's Mario 64! Ready for Persona 5 Royal? No. Animal Crossing has completely consumed my life. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to play it. Oh shit! I got the fucking grab! I've never gotten that! Fuck. Definitely have bonked before though. I'm really worried because like I'm really enjoying Animal Crossing um, But like there are a lot of games like the Final Fantasy remake that I really want to make sure that I have time to play But I'm at this point where I'm just like fuck. I just can't stop playing Animal Crossing Hell fucking yes, I like more and more people are like surprised. I'm like yeah, this is a real fucking and 64 damn it Damn, Mario's like, get the fuck out of the way. I'm not failing this twice, bitch. Okay. Mario, stop. <laughs> stop that shit. The other day I was thinking of two girls, one cup. I don't know why. Front, sup, front, sup, front, sup, front, sup. No! Yeah, I hit the fucking ceiling. That was so close. That felt so sure. Nope. Oh, why am I an idiot? Why- why is- why is I just dumb? Why is I stupid? <sighs> Professional dumbass. But we're good. We got this. <gasps> what? No way! God, no! <laughs> Fuck! Thank you for them. For the 145 bits. Why did that happen? We hate to see it. He just fucking fell off. He just yeeted himself off. What a dirty bitch. <sighs> yeah, become a speedrunner, they said. My N64 is mad at me. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they did surgery on a grape. Dude, I think I see, like, Doritos and shit from when I'm, like, 10 years old in my N64. Eat the Doritos from fucking two decades ago. Hell, yeah. Can you stream Doorbell? <laughs> I hate it. There we go. I watch LPs. Thank you so much for five months. Appreciate that. Holy shit, I can't believe that worked. We hate 
to see it. That's the danger of doing continue don't save is that you can accidentally do that. Why do you do don't save and continue? It takes like no time to save. It actually does take time. Every single one that you do throughout the game adds up over the course of the entire run and it's actually 18 seconds that you waste total. Oh, come on. Oh, Mario, thank you. For once, Mario was actually there for me. In all the ways my father wasn't. Oh, no, Daddy! I cannot believe that all fucking worked. Put your ass cheeks in their upright and unclenched positions. We've made it through. I get really confused when people ask me like, hey, you know, on a girl, do you like, you know, tits or ass? And I'm like, I like, I like a girl with a good dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. You ever have a friend who's just very openly into dick girls? Yeah, me neither. Yeah, you know, I was gonna say that, Jack. I was just like, if you don't have a friend that is overly into dick girls, it's you. <laughs> Who is your friend that- I'm not gonna fucking oust my dick girl loving friends. That's such a dick move. <laughs> Chat, I really need you guys to stop projecting your dick girl loving uh, onto me right now. I'd really appreciate that. I've asked many girls what they would do if they had a dick, and honestly, the, uh, the most common answer I've heard is write their name in the snow. And... I mean, it's a pretty good answer. What would you do if I, I would, I would probably like helicopter them. I'd go like, I'd just jiggle me nuts. <laughs> I read that in my head as like a Scottish accent. I'd just jiggle me nuts. Smoking dick and sucking dick, baby. <laughs> I would pay for rule 30, rule 63 of you. Oh my God. You did just say those words. Yeah, Jack's going to get to work. Oh my God. Dude, I got that twice in a row. I didn't even go for it. I just went to dive and Mario just grabbed it. If you ever tried to raise simple flips, simple flips would fucking destroy me. No! Oh my god. Get off. Oh, fuck you, dude. This is such bullshit. I'm just gonna hyper focus. Maybe if I just like play like a god, I'll just get a bunch of gold splits. Or I'll die. Pull this out. Let's pull this fucking shit out. Let's pull it out. Whip it the fuck out. Wave it around! It's so weird going back here later in the run, because then I, like, forget, like, how much of the run we've done, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, oh, it's time to go to fucking Shifting Sandland now, and we're only halfway through the run. We look at the counter, and we're at, like, 45 minutes, I'm like, what the fuck? Spider in my- Holy shit. Holy shit. No, no, Mario, please, please. How the fuck did that happen? Come on, come on. Why didn't he jump? And I fucking hate this game. <laughs> yes. No! Oh, whoa! I almost fucking fucked that up even hard. That would have saved the run. Not actually, honestly. It's just like, that would have been so nice to have that much time save. I don't want to play Animal Crossing. I want to play Mario. I just want to get the sub one hour so bad, dude. I want it. Come on. Oh, God, what? Oh, Jesus. Probably good practice to... Fuck. Hmm. <laughs> We hate to see it. Very sad. Very sad. Um, what the fuck? What is M Mr. Sandman? Man me a sand. Mr. Sandman. Bum, bum, man me a sand. Bum, 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 Make him the cutest bum, man corridor who can. Bum, 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 Give him two sands, bum, like senses and handses. Bum, 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 b
<laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I'm under. <laughs> I was gonna say as family jewels highlight my message, but I just <laughs> I didn't know I was logged in. Adriana never logs in. No, that's me. It's it's never mind. No, it's not. It okay. Whoa! Most of my day today, I spend uh, creating a spreadsheet for all of my Animal Crossing fossils. To give you a, an idea of, again, what kind of a person I am. Oh, God fucking damn it. Oh, that's the end of the run. God damn it, that was such a good run. Push me off, daddy. For Mario 64, I'm just trying to beat my own uh, beat my own goals. Right now, my goal is to get sub one hour with Mario 64. I really enjoy it. Fuck. I really enjoy speedrunning this game. Wait, when you hit the world record, never. People who world record this game play it for like an insane amount of hours every day. There's so many other games that I, damn it, we fucking. God damn it. Why did I hit alts? Uh... Yeah, did Adriana tell you guys about the, um... so what happened was Adriana ordered Starbucks today. The Postmate. Um, that we got forgot one of the drinks that she ordered because she got two pink drinks So one of them was missing and you know, she was like, hey, uh, I Pretty sure I ordered one of these or I ordered two pink drinks and I guess he was just like nope I don't think so the receipt did say too. So he did fuck that up But where the receipt was was it was stuffed in the bag that had her croissant in it so this postmate in the time of a fucking international pandemic stuffed his greasy ass fucking hand inside the bag with a croissant to shove the fucking receipt into it like god damn it handle other people making my food i mean technically like oh well, I, I mean even if you get food from the grocery market it's still handled by people i'm just at the i'm at the point where i just feel like if you're in america you got the it's just a wild time i was 100 percent sure that that wasn't gonna make, make it I was also 100% sure that was gonna make it either. Okay. What? No! God damn it, that was butt clenchy as fuck, and then I actually fucked it up. <sighs> what the fuck is this? Okay, so there's this. I, I made this tweet that was like, if you don't have a painting of your waifu at the entrance of your Animal Crossing town, is she really your waifu? Which I still stand by. This guy is like, what if you can't draw one? Then that might be the reason why. So, so like, it looks like, I don't know, I haven't read the whole conversation. I've just seen the beginning and the end of it. But like, it's like, would you really prefer to do the waifu justice with a good drawing than just give her a crappy one? And then somebody's like, uh, QR codes exist, bro. Like, that's the thing. That's what everyone's doing. And the guy's just like, I still can't draw though. It's funny because like, people are trying to explain it. They're like, no, no, no. It's, you, you, you know, you, you put it in, you put it through the... So then it goes on for a while. But then the last one is, will you people shut up already? <laughs> My god, no one said anything about making the waifu images yourself. It was certainly implied. He says <laughs> Oh my god Twitter is a free program. He said he'd <laughs> Yeah, he asked me about that um, I was talking just in general about how like I need to stop saying that everybody's my dad because Especially with like Grant Kirkhope or John Petrucci people might actually think I'm telling like I'm not just joking around Like, Dude, did you know? Did you know gaming? Grant Kirkhope is Family Jewels' dad. How else could he have done that video? I think at some point I was like, yeah, Grant Kirkhope's my dad, John Petrucci's my dad, Toxic Eternity's my dad, everyone's my dad. Hey son, the Ape Drummer's my dad. Anybody can be your dad as long as you vow to avenge them. So you all have to avenge my death. No matter how I die, you guys have to avenge it. If I die from cancer, you guys have to kill cancer. If Steven's everyone's grandpa, then does that make Steven my dad if I'm your dad's? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Steven being my dad. I like Steven. And if Adriana's snail mom and also your mom's, that makes you all snails. Erica's goat mom, so it works out. There you go. Corey just sent this picture of the fucking ketchup aisle. You know, it's a real pandemic when there's no ketchup. No, and it's only like the regular ketchup. So all of the organic ketchup is still there. All of the gluten-free everything is still there. People aren't that desperate. <laughs> They're pretty desperate, but not that desperate. Not gluten-free desperate. <laughs> That's when you know the zombie apocalypse is happening. No gluten-free shit. It's all over. Nope! <laughs> no one wants that hippie crap. It's, yeah, it's true, man. I th almost think that, like, the reason the toilet paper thing happened is because, like, so many people, like... A select few people were probably like, oh no, I gotta make sure I can wipe my ass. They went and started bulking up, but then everybody else was just like... Fuck, if I don't get toilet paper right now, I'm not gonna get toilet paper forever. So it's just gone. It's not even like the fact that people actually think like, oh no, the apocalypse, we need toilet paper. It's just because like, 
just one thing just fucking spiraled out of control. The gotta poop challenge. Damn. Wow, spooky eyeballs. Yeah, luminary of luminary of Mario 64, luminary of the stars. Holy shit! Holy shit, guys! I am Kaito Momota, luminary of the 70 stars. How did you become a vegetarian? It started as a dare. I was like 13 or 14, and me and two friends decided we'd see who could go longer being a vegetarian, and I'm still winning. Well, I already won, but I'm still going. <laughs> so my whole family's vegetarian for the most part. Like, nobody eats meat in my house anyway. So there wasn't any meat to begin with, you know? So it wasn't very hard for me. So I was just like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. I'll beat you all. You're meaty enough as it is. I don't know if that's a fat joke or what, but holy fuck, Carlos, you're right. Or a dick joke. I actually lost like um, 10 or 15 pounds since the quarantine started. And I'm just like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. We've just been fucking eating Oreos and Cheez-Its since this fucking quarantine. So I was feeling really good. And so then I did the Spider-Man video and somebody was just like anybody else think Jules looking thick in that Spider-Man costume and I'm like god damn it I think that's supposed to be a compliment but god damn it <laughs> oh come on dude oh my god these runs are fucking ass today <laughs> just make a 20 oh my god God, why did I do that? I'm just so slow today. Let's do it. Let's do a 70. Let's do a 70 on the Japanese car, even though it's four seconds slower. Oh, come on! You bonking red bitch. Red bonky bitch. Damn. How the fuck are we green? Here we go! We're red! <laughs> Actually. Oh, God. No, I got hit by two of them. I used to tell the story of how I got my nose broken like so many times on stream. Like I, I felt like I was telling it like every stream, but I guess I haven't told it in a while. In high school, I was in a band. The guitarist in my band was, uh, he was a big guy, a uh, very strong guy. And he comes up to me one day and he's like, there's this girl that I really like and you're really good friends with her. And I was wondering, could you, you know, put in a good word for me? And I was like, yeah. I'm gonna do that, yeah. sure. So, uh, a week goes by. Uh, he's like, dude, did you put in a good word for me? And I was like, dude, I haven't... You know, I want to make sure it's, like, the right time. I, I don't want to, uh... Like, it's got to be right, you know? I don't want to I don't wanna force it. Another week goes by. Uh, he's like, have you said anything? I'm like, dude, it's just not a good time, man. I just, like, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know, you know. So, yeah, I got a first try. So a month from when he asked me goes by, I'm, uh... I'm in the lunchroom, and I'm really, uh, depressed because my, my nanny had just died. My, uh, the, the one that, uh, bought me my first guitar, and I was really depressed. She also... Used to play Mario 64 with me and stuff. And the girl was there with me and she was, you know, she was like holding my hand and stuff. And uh, he saw that. What was actually going on that whole month was I was uh, doing things with her the whole time. And I didn't know how to tell my friend that that uh, was something that was happening with the girl that he liked. And, uh,. Yeah, so he beat the shit out of me. <laughs> the worst part of it was, he's coming at me, and I have no idea why he's attacking me. He's like fucking punching me. Like, he, like, I was like, I walk into my like English class, and he gets up, and he like, he like slams on the desk and like charges me, throws me out of the hallway into a locker, like breaks my nose. He's like punching and like messing me up. I'm like, dude, calm down. Like, just talk to me. What's going on? <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck he's doing. No one did. No, he, dude, he was, he was a big, guy. No one wanted to get in between that. I was in the nurse's office, like, uh, nursing my nose back to health. Like, <laughs> and it just kind of dawned on me. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to, trying to brag or anything, guys, but I, I downloaded a car once. I just love that that was like their whole campaign was like, you wouldn't download a car, would you? It's like, bitch, you kidding me? The dab. The Mario dab. Hell yeah! Okay, sweet. The fucking wall kick has been giving me so much issue. Have you ever experienced Joy-Con drifts? I thought I did, but I was actually just like touching my pro controller with my foot yesterday. I was like, oh my god, is this Joy-Con drift? And then I just, Adrian was like, no, you're, t <laughs> you're, you're fucking kicking the controller. I was like, oh. I was like, this is bullshit. They need to fix this. There we go. Nope. 
What? The game was like, fuck you. Glitch you back, bitch. Here we go. What a shitty run! <laughs> Fucking murdered that locket too. Dude, why don't the like Mushroom Kingdom police come and like take Mario away? Pretty fucked up, he just gets away with killing everything. Please do report that Mario Mario has been sent to <laughs> Mario Mario. <laughs> I wish Mario would go to jail so that I can stop speedrunning this game. <laughs> yeah, seven stars and final bouts in five minutes? Yeah, no problem. Easy peasy. Got all the fucking annoying stars. The ones that are like easy but are really easy to fuck up. Because of shit like that. Sometimes there's just like invisible walls that just... Oh no! I was trying to grab... God, what the fuck? You don't gotta point it out. I'm just, just doing my best here. Oh dude, that was cool. We gotta, we gotta do it. We gotta kill Bowser. I wish I could get a dab on the last one, though. I feel like it's so easy in speedrunning to just, like, get fucking caught up and just reset, reset, reset. And the thing is, like, you don't want to be, like, streaming and be this fucking red. It just sucks. Like, nobody wants that. Like, everybody wants to be like, wow, I'm killing it. I'm on such a good pace. But, like, unless you're doing a lot of practice off stream, but then, like, you could get, like, a sick PB off stream. And I, like, I don't know. I would, I would rather get those hype PBs, like, on stream. So, fuck, I did that twice in a row. Sub 105, I'll take it. All right, guys, but I do have to go. Uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I really appreciate it. I will catch you guys very soon. Love all you guys. Front sub, motherfucker! Front sub! The story behind the uh, the the whales. So I used to have this joke. Can't remember where it started. I think if you guys know Forge Master in the chat, that's Adam. He's the singer of my band. He was with me uh, at the DMV one day, and he was telling me apparently uh, in college they were obsessed with saying whale dick. It's just whale dick. Because it also just paints such a great image in your mind. So we just started saying whale dick, and then uh, I came back and started streaming, and I started saying whale dick, um, and then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hero of the Fuck! So we just started saying whale dick a lot and then uh started calling people whales. It was like, thank you so much for the sub, welcome to the whale dicks or something like that. Go from whale dicks to the jamly. We decided I think we just decided that whale dicks was not wholesome. And somebody said we're call we should call it the jamly, because Jules family. And I said we were absolutely not calling it the jamly. I cannot say welcome to the jamly. I will never say that. That sounds so fucking stupid. Honestly, the chat decided. I, I I hard vetoed it. Like every time somebody subbed, people would just be like, welcome to the jamly, welcome to the jamly. I couldn't I, I couldn't fight chat. Hey Jules, did you know the Easter bunny isn't real? That's fucking bullshit, dude. Don't spread that shit in my chat. Oh my god, bunny day is over. We're being raided, my friends. Bunny day is over. <gasps> oh no! I actually don't know how we can save this. How did I miss that many coins? I don't know if we can even- I don't think we can get it. This is like the one star where it's like, there's no- there's no take backsies. So close. I need all four of those. KK Is that a KK song? KK Hey! 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 Fuck. No! Oh, yeah! My stretch noises. Catchy, thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to the Jamly! Yeah! Welcome to Super Mario 64 ASMR. So, first, we're gonna do the lock to skip. What you do is you do some jumps and stuff, and you do some of this shit, and then you do one of these, and fuck. Damage. Cut that part out. Just cut that part out. If this is not highlight skull, please cut this part out. <laughs> Dude, I have like this this thing that I'm preparing for Coliseum that I am so fucking excited for. It's taking a lot of prep work. It's the sub one hour. <laughs> yeah. I've been working on this for two years. Telling me, I wish I could just bop lock two on the head every time I get it right. I'm just like, haha, fuck you, bitch. I didn't get a chance to play too much of Doom 2016, so I'm excited to really go hard on Doom Eternal. <laughs> I sneeze like a normal human being, but every time I sneeze on stream, I try to make sure that you can hear the cry of my soul. Like, like you know, like the the where they say that you say bless bless you because your soul opens up to the demons. Sneezing hurts. Sneezing doesn't hurt. 
Chat, does sneezing hurt? Sometimes. Lately it has. Sometimes it can. It can. Depends. I don't think I've ever had a sneeze hurt. It can if you do it wrong. Okay, well, anything can hurt if you do it wrong enough. It's just a quick pain? What the fuck? Suddenly, I'm at, like, we had a conversation a long time ago. What is the percentage of sneezes of a full orgasm? Because sneezing feels kind of good to me. It's gotta be like one one hundredth of an orgasm is like a sneeze. And I, I think I read something somewhere about that too. I wasn't like pulling that out of my ass. Like that was an actual like statistic I had read. It's like, shut up! No, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad I kicked that bomb. Shut up, it's a thing. I read it somewhere. So then I started talking about it on stream and everyone was like, Jules, what the fuck are you talking about? Jules, what the fuck? fuck are you talking about? And I was just like, what? Sneezing feels good. Okay, so for some people, sneezing has to feel good because some people are like, yeah, like that's that's a thing. I think people experience sneezes differently. Reminds me of the earwax thing. Oh yeah, yeah. What was the earwax thing, Joey? Like, how does your earwax taste or whatever? And everyone's like, what the fuck, Jules? Why did you just ask that question? I'm like, uh, you've never tasted your earwax before? And everyone was like, no, no one has tasted their fucking earwax before. And I was just like, that is such bullshit. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, because, yeah. So we were talking about Switch cartridges because I was like, yeah, Switch cartridges taste like earwax. And everyone was like, how the fuck do you know what earwax tastes like? And I'm like, uh... Have you never accidentally ate earwax before? And they're like, no, not on purpose. I'm not saying that, you know, like, I'm out here fucking... Mmm, Easter feast, here we go. All you need to do is just itch the inside of your ear just once and then, oop, pull this fucking spinach out of my teeth and, oh, what's that taste? That's weird. Oh, well, I'm not gonna think about it anymore. Whale dick! I'm okay with whale dick, but earwax? Nope. That's what's wrong with America. Right there. You'll talk about whale dicks, but the second when you start talking about earwax, you're out. All right, some of you guys are so fucking purist about fucking like, I will never eat my earwax, and then little lich princess is in here telling the differences of if the earwax is dark, then it tastes more bitter. So don't pretend like you're the fucking voice of reason. Humans are just weird bone sandwiches. You are absolutely right. Human beings are just sad flesh prisons. Hate that. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> I hate being a flesh prison. Same, dude. Bro, I hate being a fr- <laughs> that's, that's a tweet right there. No, I, it, it should be, I want out of this sad flesh prison. I don't think I've ever actually done that. I've always just been afraid of doing that. Okay, I'll say I want out of this sad flesh prison. Pog. Deep thoughts on Twitch tonight. Same, I think. Altered carbon. Me too. <laughs> 10, uh, 10 retweets and, and 20 or 31 likes. Yeah, that's a good one to just completely just retweet without any context. Hey guys, ready for some deep thoughts? Lego people live in houses made of their own flesh. Same with gingerbread man. And Barbie. <laughs> Why do we park in driveways and drive in parkways? Why is cargo on boats, but shipment is on cars? Why is tick butt, butt, butt in the dick vag? There's no other response to that, Duck, than bro. The inflection of bro can be different depending on what human being you talk to, but most people will just say bro. If you tell that to your mom, your mom's just gonna be like, bro. But your dad's gonna be like, bro. No one will grub hub ya? No one's gonna grub your hub. Jack was telling telling me one of his friend's bands is sponsored by Taco Bell. I'm so fucking jealous. One of the best times of my life is when Taco Bell releases the nacho fries. God, this is so fucking good and horrible for you. Why isn't nacho fries a permanent thing? It's always like, it's back. You guys didn't think so. And we're all like, uh, this is like the seventh time you've brought it back. Why isn't it just a fucking main thing? Are there any fucking gamers in the chat? No, get out. <laughs> I've heard of you. Thunder Scott. I don't game, it's I just lurk. To I kick gum, gum and chew ass. <laughs> and I'm all out of ass. It's just like the laughing that gets me. There's a psychology to like laugh tracks and like why like contagious laughter is a thing. And you know, I think laugh tracks for the most part are pretty manipulative, honestly, but like it essentially like conditions you to know what you're supposed to laugh at without you consciously deciding. The general public need to know when to laugh, and then when you can set those expectations for the viewers, then you can essentially set them up to just never stop watching and find out the funniest shit ever. These are the funny jokes. You should laugh at these. Everybody else is laughing. Why aren't you laughing? You don't want to be the only one not laughing. And obviously when you have it explained like that, you're like, no, I'm not like that, but you are. 
Everybody is. The dumb uh-oh stinky meme. Dude, there's another thing with that. Like, I actually didn't find that funny at all. And then my friend Joey, Critraction, just kept fucking saying it. It started becoming funny to me. When you do something ironically for long enough, eventually you stop doing it ironically. Saying swag or something like that. I hated that word so much. And then I started saying like, oh, swag or like YOLO. If you start saying ironically, it's eventually going to become part of your part of your lexicon. Guarantee it. Dave, I love that you and I, like, we, we, we have, like, so many of the same, like, you know, deep cut references, like Viper. Who in this chat knows who Viper is? Like, the, the musical artist known as Viper. Get me banned in this chat. <laughs> yeah, probably. Just banned on Twitch in general. Does Dan stand Viper as well? I feel like he would. Dan's too white. <laughs> what about me? I'm probably whiter than Dan. I took the, uh, the 23andMe test and they just sent me back a, an email that just says, you're white. That's it. No, we were talking about how uh, there's a conspiracy that 23andMe, the reason why it's so targeted towards like YouTubers and like young people is that eventually they want to be able to, when they have the technology to reverse age, have your early DNA. So they're all storing all of your DNA. So then they're just going to sell your, sell your young DNA back to you. Yeah, I'm down for that too, honestly. <laughs> or they can clone you. What coin did I miss? What coin did I miss? I can miss one coin on the slide. This is a 101 coins run again. So I can miss one coin. I skipped one coin because I, I have to get exactly 100 on that last coin. So I missed two coins. Where was the other coin? You missed one in a line of five. What's up, Amberly? How you doing? That's what I thought, Lingo. Damn it. Dude, I'm, I'm happy you guys are vibing on the uh, the bob with feet. I need more curse emotes like the Bigfoot. Thank you for the YouTube thumbnail where you point where you point at the feet. That should have been the thumbnail. I should have had a red arrow towards his feet. Is the Fletch Prison Band project making a comeback? I don't know. I was I, I said something like I want out of this sad Fletch Prison, and then I was like, that's a tweet, and then I tweeted it. <laughs> Somebody sent the gift that's like, cheers, I'll drink to that, bro. All right, I'm starting to get the tweets like, you all right, man? You okay? Concerned more people would be like, Jules, it's okay, you can talk to us. What's wrong? Tell me more about this flesh prison. You didn't see my shirt until now? I love this shirt so much. It's uh, it's Chiaki from Danganronpa, but I like it for streaming because it just says Ultimate Gamer. <laughs> Is Chiaki even your favorite Danganronpa character? No. Ibuki, maybe. Yeah, it might be Ibuki. I, I was like trying to think of like... Yeah, I think Ibuki. Ibuki is definitely Adriana and my my kid. Ibuki just toned down a little. I don't think so. I think it'd be like full energy Ibuki. I wouldn't say I put on a character for streams and stuff, but I definitely am a little bit more energetic. I would go so far as to say in real life, I'm a lot more chill than I am than in my videos. And Adriana is a lot more energetic than she is She is in her streams. Yeah, I'm an introvert and Adriana is definitely an extrovert for sure. I've learned that I gain more energy from spending time by myself. And that's kind of like where it all comes. Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna be green, 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 green. We're green. We are green, everyone. We are finally green. The fuck is green doing in our splits? I don't know. I didn't even know it could go that color. It's crazy. I need to really stop doing that. Why don't you save? It, it racks up a few frames that add up over the course of the whole run. So when I save, uh, there's a there's a quick like few frames that it pauses and buffers to save. Over the course of the run, it it adds up. I think I said 18 seconds in another highlight, and that's not right. I think it's uh, I think it's 14 seconds if you do it perfectly. I don't want to give away the wrong wrong answer. I was in a stream with Punkation where he, he got mad because people in the chat just started like sp spitting out random times. They're like, yeah, that saves like four seconds. And like, he was just like, where did you get that number? Punkie just like completely just like flattened these people. And they're like, dude, chill out. I was just, I was just saying. He's just like, no, like that's, that's how like fucking misinformation gets spread around is fucking people in chats just randomly saying random numbers just so they can sound smart. I think Punkie is Ooh. well within his fucking, how have I, I never failed. Can we please get a run to Big Boo's fucking haunt? Let's run it. I, even though it's four seconds slower, let's run it on the Japanese cart. Let's do it. No, why didn't it start? I really, like, again, I, I really have been considering doing, like, a, a challenge to myself where it's, like, Mario every day until I get a sub one hour. You know, I, I do, like, hours and hours of doing it, like, one day a week. And there's just no way I'm going to get good at it if I, like, have that much time in between. Caleb, I haven't seen your fucking Animal Crossing uh, island. I want to see it. You'll infect it with your cooties. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> That's the idea, Caleb. Here I come. Oh, Lord, Jules coming. 
and on the third day, like it's just like the zipper takes the hat off and it's just me, family jewels. Everybody else in the world's like, who the fuck is that? But you guys are like, what? Well, Family Duel 7X isn't seven more times more powerful than me because Family Duel 7X is dead. There is no 7X anymore. You know, PB or what? I didn't, f I didn't subscribe to failing. Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm going to say something right now. Guys, I, I really, I really miss what the Jamly was before this, before all this toxicity and negativity. Um, this isn't why I started doing what I do. I did this for EPIC FUCKING SPLIT! Oh wait, no, that's red, never mind. Yeah, no PB. You want me to, to leave, just at me. <laughs> EPIC PLUS 11.8. No air horn here in red splits. Alright, I'm sorry, Dad. I haven't gotten to blow the air horn in so long. Here we go. Yeah, we have soap in every bathroom, Caleb. Were you not looking? We use hand soap. We don't use that fucking archaic-ass bar soap. We got fucking, like... Highly moisturizing fucking death to all germs. Dude, turnip prices were 90. You bitch! 90 bells today. Tom Fox put out a, a tweet today saying like, oh man, I missed turnips today. But like, I'm in, I'm on fucking West Coast. So like, he probably could have come to my island. <laughs> I sent out a message to my best friends. I'm like, yo, turnips are 90. Get your <laughs> stinks for 90. Get your stinks. Stonks. AC is designed for people with as degenerate sleep, ske sleep schedules. You bitch, Bowser. You're such a fucking bitch. You were a bee's dick away from that bomb, and you, you're out here telling me like, Nope. Didn't touch it. I did not touch it. I have a story. I don't know if I should tell it. My brain's not on all, all, all cylinders, so I gotta make sure. I gotta go through the story in my head. Uh, okay. One of my best friends in the world is, uh, Zach Carrillo. He's the, uh, drummer in my band. Smoking Nick and sucking dick. He, smoke, he smokes Nick and sucks dick. Absolutely amazing. He's the one who taught me my first, uh, few tricks for Mario 64. But in the beginning, it was an unlikely, unlikely friendship to blossom. Let me tell you. I saw him in the hallways at, in college. We were both in college for music. And he had a Zelda messenger bag. And I was like, what a fucking nerd. I gotta be friends with this guy. You, you know, like, I didn't really have, like, a, hey, what's up? You like video games? Haha. -ha. Like, I wasn't gonna fucking, you know, I wasn't gonna be a fucking nerd about it. Eventually, we added each other on Facebook. I'm trying to find things to talk to him about, you know, and, like, kind of open up a conversation that feels, like, genuine. Fuck! One of his liked pages on Facebook is none other than CS Guitar 89, my oldest, oldest YouTube friend, the reason I do video game covers in the first place. So I hit him up, I'm like, hey, I see you like CS Guitar 89. And his response was, yeah, what of it? <laughs> it's all lowercase, yeah, what of it? <laughs> like, and it's so funny because like now that I know him, it's so like his humor that like I get it now, but at the time I was like, whoa, all right. Yeah, no question mark, it was just, yeah, what of it? I was like, yeah, yeah, I did a cover with him like way back in the day and I sent him uh, Hyrule Field. Uh, and he was like, whoa, dude, how'd you get that gig? And then we started talking about it. I'm like, yeah, I've known him for a while. And you know, that was our first interaction. I meet his girlfriend, Lizzie, uh, and Lizzie's absolutely wonderful. We're looking for a drummer for our band. He didn't want to be in a band because he had bad experiences with being in the band, but um, Lizzie was actually like, no, 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 please, you, you gotta be in a band with Jules. It would be really cool. So he auditions for the band and he passes it with flying colors. He gets to know all of us. We're still in a band together. Lizzie's the one who pushed him to do it. Lizzie has this thing where, where like, she thought it was funny to boot people on the nose and be like, just like, boop, and like, oh, I don't want to go to Bowser yet. I know. Look at this game mansplaining to me that it, <laughs> so I did it back to her. So I did one boot back to her, right? Zach is in our Facebook group chat. One day in the in the uh, in the uh, group chat, he just in all lowercase goes, hey, "Jules, you boot my girl." I'm like, "Wait, what?" He's like, "You boot my girl." <laughs> I heard you boot my girl. CJ, then CJ, uh, the other guitarist, is like, Jules, can Zach be in the band for one week before you boop his girl? <laughs> no, Zach is like, he's he's so like dry humor, but like in just the most wonderful way. He's become just one of my best friends of all time. I love that guy. Oh, hell yeah, we made it. That isn't real shit. Whoa! <laughs> Mr. Origami Gamer, thank you so much for the, what is that, seven? Seven gifted subs. Holy shit. This goes out to you. I'm resetting, <laughs> cause fuck that run. Smoking dick and sucking dick, baby. <laughs> yeah. Hold your face under Mario. Just hold it under. Just wait till the bubbles stop. Why did you ground pound? I want you to think about that. 
as you meet your maker. I just really want a good run today. Just one. Just one run. Holy shit. I can't believe Mario survived that. And survived that. Holy God. Will really we reopen the Jamily Maid Cafe? I don't know. They're hella weird. Why are they weird? Are they like awkward or are they just like... Since you date Adriana, it's right up your alley. Trying to trying to figure out what you're trying to say here, Dave. Trying to figure it out. They're just like kawaii des fucking bullshit. Like people say nya nya nya. Uh, Viking cafe. That would be cool. At a Viking cafe, they just fucking mead. Welcome to the Viking cafe. Do you want some mead or do you want some mead, bitch? All right, let's unbirth this fucking penguin. Open those lips, girl. Here, here he comes. All right, we have a fucking run out of Cool Cool Mountain. Didn't really hit me in the same way. Hey, you bitch, Mips. He pissed on my fucking wife. What? Mips? Zipper? What the fuck? Yes. Oh, God, I love it. Love it. Nice, Mitch. Well, we're definitely gonna save time, but holy shit. We're gonna save a lot of time here. here we we're only a second red now. Let me tell you, I didn't know that there was 30 seconds of time save in Lethal Lava Land. Damn, friends, that is quite poggers if I do say so myself. Hey, hey, hoo hoo. Oh, come on, dude. All right, if you don't get the coin the first time, I'm fucking shoving your face into the wall and you're gonna like it. That was probably, like, my cleanest fire sea of all time. That was great. We love to see that shit. I want to give you guys my sincerest and most poggers dab. Because, my friends, that's a gold fucking split. That was so fucking sick. Still haven't seen any green yet, though. <laughs> Just gold. All right, all right, all right, all right. Shut up, Scott! I wasn't talking shit! We have to be pretty consistent with the stuff that I'm good at, like that. I can't- I can't be doing shit like that. Or like that! <laughs> Fuck! What was that? What was that shit? Blip, 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 blip. Dead. Perfect. Nope. Oh, what?! That looked perfect! I have never seen that happen. I would have bet my dick on that. Maybe not my dick. Maybe like my left test. And that one looked like trash and it was perfect. I don't get this game. This game sucks. Rules are rules. Give up the dick. <laughs> I didn't bet it before. It's like I, I picture that with the um like the groom meme with the gun and the hand out. Your dick. Hand it over. <laughs> Why didn't you fucking bounce? Fucking bounce on my boy's dick, Mario! I should just call this game fucking Lockitude cucks your wife and takes your children. 64. Dude, the bonk sounds like the sound of- Oh, Jesus. Did I just fail that? Yeah, of course I did, because I said I would- I said I was good- I said I was good at it! Fuck! Oh, God! Oh, God, I gotta stop raging. Uh, stop tilting. I'm tilting. I'm tilting the other way. I'm tilting in reverse. Can your chair do this? Can your chair do that? Tilt backwards. Tilt backwards. Bring myself back to the earth. Coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the earth. I'm not gonna tilt off of it. You know, I could blame myself, blame my shitty playing, but we all know this is Mario's fault. Till next time, my jambling, my people. Stay sexy. Uh. Carlos fucks. It, like, he metaphorically fucks. I don't know if he literally fucks. <laughs> the legend that is own ass for charity. Dude, is there a better thing to eat ass for? I don't think so. What's LSD like? It's a trip. Ha ha ha. Last weekend was uh, TRG Coliseum, uh, where we raised money for direct relief in support of relief workers uh, working on COVID-19. If we raise $222,222, which we were pretty far off, we were like $5,000 away from that, I will eat my ass if we hit that. And then we hit it in like no time. Well, either I don't eat my ass and I'm a liar, or I just simply eat my ass. <laughs> for charity. Out of the three runaway guys, whose ass would you eat? Probably a meals. 
I love Tim and John, don't get me wrong, but I know Emil better. Like, Emil and I are good friends. I feel like we'd be able to get over the awkwardness. No matter what, it's gonna be like, all right, dude, we gotta do this. I don't know why. There's a gun to our head or something. Like, a lot less therapy would have to go into moving past that part of our friendship. All right, that's what I like to see. We are green. We are green coming out of Womps. What were my thoughts when making a uh, tur- I I've been calling it Turgalovania. I really wish I, I had more time. There's a lot of stuff that I wish I could have done. There was a point at which I was just like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna swallow my pride. And so that segment's actually based off a show I used to do here um, way back in the day called Twitch Makes Music, where people would send in from the chat their uh, audio. I've been trying to figure out how to bring it back, but I would have to find a way to kind of maybe like, raffle off, you know, the submissions I got or something. Like, there's almost no way at this point I'd be able to get to everybody, you know? It, it, it was really cool, and we made some really cool shit with it, but that was finally, like, um, the return of that format that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Did, yeah, I did see the tier list. I, I, I think I retweeted it, because I got bumped all the way down to my own category that was like, oh my fucking god, Jules, why? Like, I didn't do that much. I just, you know ate my ass. I did it for charity. Everyone keeps asking why I did it. I keep telling you, I did it for charity. I ate my ass for charity. Love the D&D &D segment. Dude, Corey is so good. I put so much work into that D&D &D segment. And then of course they didn't see like 75% of the campaign. I definitely want to do it again for like this, this channel. I think it'd be cool. My thing with doing like different stuff on the channel is like, I feel bad because like if people like really enjoy it, then I almost feel like I'm like, whenever I do anything, people are like, oh, when are you going to do that again? You know, something that people like expect. So I, I, I hold a lot of like, um, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, how hot was I? So the thing about the Spider-Man costume was it wasn't necessarily that hot. It was just moving around and it was difficult because the mask pretty much crushes my nose into my face. So I can't breathe out of my nose. And because it's a mask, I can barely breathe out of my mouth. So, ah, oh, fuck you. Somebody in the chat was like, wow. The Spider-Man costume really shows off how flabby Family Jewels is. <laughs> and I cried. I didn't cry, but I was just like, God damn. Yeah, on the video, on the actual video too, they, they were like, damn, Jewels looking thick. So when I was in middle school, I was actually like a fucking chonker. I was a, I was a really fucking fat kid. My weight has like fluctuated and I've always kind of been on top of it for the most part. But so like I kind of gained weight throughout my 20s, like very slowly. I started doing uh, intermittent fasting. Once the quarantine hit, I started losing weight like crazy. I think between intermittent fasting and, and quarantine, I've lost like 25 or 30 pounds. So then I lose all this weight and then I wear a Spider-Man costume because like, oh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I can wear a Spider-Man costume. It's fine. And then, and of course, people are like, damn, what a fat ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, that was fucking tight. That was not. I'm thinking about uploading the doorbell bumper to, to YouTube. I don't know. Since I did that technically for charity, I don't know. I'm sure it's fine, right? Are you still alive after that bumper? That's a bumper from the future. That it's how I die eventually, which I'm totally okay with. How's the cheeses and ketchup cereal? Okay, so the cheeses and ketchup cereal was, I should be like eating something, like this should be like interrupting my breakfast or whatever. So then we were looking around, we're like, oh, hey, look, there's some like cinnamon toast crunch, but they were next to Cheez-Its. So I was like, okay, how funny would it be if I'm making a Cheez-Its bowl? And then we had ketchup at the table. So we were like, all right, we might as well fucking make it even worse. But I didn't actually like eat like a full like bite of it. Like I know it looked like it, but turns out Cheez-Its, milk and ketchup don't really like physically go together. When I dipped uh, my spoon into the bowl, I was fully ready to eat that. All I actually got was like milk. So it was fun. <laughs> Fuck you, Mario. Should have felt fed it to a homeless man. I can't go outside, I'm quarantined. Sam does streams. I, I read that too fast and I thought you said I finally caught today. <laughs> yes, I finally did it. Man, that first run was so good. It was so good. Mario, get the star. Oh no, oh god. One of my guitar students is doing a cover of Corona. Mountain and I couldn't be more proud. It's funny because you, if you go to the uh, the Corona. Mountain YouTube video, under it is Corona. 19 info. Cause like YouTube has to put a thing under every video about Corona. 19. It's under the, the Corona. Mountain OSC. Yeah, good job YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Always killing it for us. I'm more of a bassist than a guitar. I'm also more of a bassist than a guitar. Mostly because bassists are humans and guitars are guitars. <laughs> I know what you meant. I'm just I'm I'm just making fun of you. Me. Okay, Mario. That was a dick move. Mario didn't like that joke.
fuck. To another replay right now? No. <laughs> I want to. Jules, it's your channel. Do what you want to. Also, my chat. Make replay right now. I want replay right now. My funniest moment. Honestly, like, I'm really proud of the Animal Crossing segment. I didn't really get to talk about it. I fangirl so hard getting to play um, with Lindsay Jones from Achievement Hunter and Rooster Teeth. And Ruby, obviously. Like, especially because, like, I had to host. It was hard for me. It was really, really hard for me. I had to, I had to swallow my nervousness. I'm a huge Rooster Teeth fan. Like, I've been watching them for, like, 15 years. I would cry to be in anything Rooster Teeth related. I actually, like, years ago, I went to PAX East and um, I met Matt from Rooster Teeth who uh, handles all the music and stuff and I was talking to him. I'm like, yeah, like I have a YouTube channel where I do like, you know, metal covers and stuff and he's like, wow, that's really cool. Uh, do you want to send me your stuff and maybe like we can be in touch? And I'm like, yeah, no, that would be, that would be so cool. So then I sent him my channel by email to the email he sent, uh, that he gave me and he never responded to me. <laughs> so I only admit, I, I only thought he was just, he checked the channel and was like, Ugh. Ugh. Must have turned into a, tuned into one of my Twitch Yeah, they're like, wow, this is a really cool guy. Let's check out his Twitch stream. Oh, he's talking about eating his own ass. Mm. All right, we'll pass on this one. 71,000 bells on electric guitar. What? How, why was it that expensive? There was an end table in my Nook's Cranny shop today that was like $7,000. I'm like, you extorting pieces of shit, Timmy and Tommy. Fuck, 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 fuck. Please, for the love of God. Please. Oh my god, did I do- Oh, I thought I did it again. Luckily, Mario grabbed onto the, on, onto the ledge there. That could have been really painful. <laughs> Come here, friends. Get- Get at- Yes! 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 Technically, any video game is an RPG because you play a role. Any game you play- But yourself is a role as well. You play the role of yourself. Tetris, you play the role of the, uh, the block dropper. <laughs> yeah, we're just playing a role, man. We live in a society, man. Alright, guys. Let me see your energy for front sub. Front sub, my friends! Yes! We got it! That was a monster split. It was a monster split. Gold split, everybody. Drop those mips in the chat, boys. We got we got a gold split. Uh oh. Get out of here. Jerk it, jerk it, jerk it, Mario, jerk it. Oh, we got beamed. We got beamed. I have a run incentive idea. I have Jack hold a taser, and every time I get shocked in the game, I have to get shocked in real life, and then I'll get banned from Twitch. Could you do that on YouTube? I feel like you do that on YouTube. Michael Reeves did the thing where he played Fortnite, where every time he got shot in the game, he had an airsoft gun that shot him, and so he would go into, like, random games or whatever, like, on voice chat, you know, they're just playing or whatever, and then they start, like, taking fire, and then Michael just starts screaming, he's like, Oh God, no, I'm getting shot! Please, Mario. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh my god, I love it! I love you, Mario! Would you eat Mario's ass for a perfect run? At this point, yes. What, Mario's ass tastes like pasta? Yeah, I believe it. Ravioli, ravioli. Time to eat Mario's assioli. What do Mario coins taste like then? Mario's asshole. <laughs> I don't know. Where do you think Mario puts all the coins? He eats them, obviously. Oh, uh, please! I just want to save a little fucking time! Damn it. Okay. I deserved that. I definitely deserved that one. I didn't deserve that. Mario, my for the for the love of God, for the love of God, Mario. Oh God. Fuck. No, God damn it. That clip is so. F Fucking hard. I mean, I still think TikTok clock is the worst level. It's the best level casually, but the worst level speedrun wise, because the the level has so many like problems with it. Me lock two bounce energy, guys. Gonna bounce on my boy's dick. Nope. My boy. Fuck. It's been so long since we got here that I forgot what I'm supposed to do there. Jump here. Double jump. And we're good. Okay. All right, lock two bounce, we got it. We'll probably save about 30 seconds here. Or a minute. We saved almost a minute on that split. That was really good. Bowser, here comes your scheduled ass eating. I was just like, wow, you took your fucking sweet time. Right. Sub 105, that is a run. I would classify that as a run. It looks like what we learned from that run is I can pretty much be in the range of a minute red going into Rainbow Ride and we're okay. Let's see how much we can curse Mario. One second. <laughs> bye Mario. Everyone say bye.
Bye, Mario. I won't stop until they know my name. Family Jewels 7X. I just want to clear something up so that people know. Uh, if we go to trending, let's just scroll down here. <laughs> Look, Alpharad and I are having a good day today, and I want you guys to know that. <laughs> like, we're doing all right. Totally fine. You don't have to worry about us. We're having fun. We've been talking. Everything's good. There is no bad blood. It got uh, escalated by that Nintendo Life article, and then we just, we did what we had to do. Why do people think, actually think this is more than a joke? Is this blowing up? Oh yeah, no, this, this has exploded. I made a tweet that I'm petitioning that they add stamps to everybody who has time traveled in Animal Crossing. My thoughts on time traveling are you can play the game however you want. I don't care. You know, you paid for the game, you should enjoy it. You know, when I was a kid, I used a game shark to, to cheat. You can disagree with me that it's cheating or not. I mean, I, that all comes down to a definition of what cheating is. By going outside of the game, manipulating the games from the outside to trick the game into doing something that gives you an advantage, which the advantage is you don't have to be within the, con the confines of the time constraints that the game gives you, your successes are less impressive and mean less than the people who waited the way the game was intended. That is what I would classify as cheating. People who are choosing not to do that because they want to play the game the way the game was intended to be played, they should know that the person that they're trading with has things that were acquired using cheats. If it like harmed other people, then obviously I'd be 100% against it. I am not against time traveling. I just think it's cheating. I am also not against cheating. They think just because I say it's cheating, I am against it. I think cheating is totally fine. I am exploiting a video game right now. <laughs> like I'm playing Mario 64 in a way it was not intended because I find it fun. Nobody was mad except the people who were complaining. So, I mean, everybody who was mad was like, why are you so mad? Where's my apology video? When Alpha Ride cancels me, you'll get the apology video. I did respond to a few things and usually I don't like to respond to negativity, but this is a case where I don't think everything is actual negativity. I think there's actually a conversation to be had here. And I'm willing to change my opinion, most things. Mario's not Mario 64 because this game clearly Clearly is bad, but God fucking damn it. I had one conversation with somebody, you know, just being like, wow, so you're saying that you know more than the devs? Well, you know, the devs, they know that it's in the game, so it's not cheating. I'm like, well, you know, like people put cheats in Doom Eternal, you know, you, there are cheats in that game. Just because the game devs decided to make something possible doesn't mean that that's the intended way of play. It just means they made it possible and let you have the choice, which is sick. I just ended it. I was just like, hey, you know, I hope through all of this, we can all just enjoy Animal Crossing and everybody is safe and all of your loved ones are safe and having a good time and they eventually responded with wait hold on a second i'm a huge fan of you <laughs> like everybody's coming from a different perspective and everybody has a different opinion and stuff and you know you never know who you're talking to over over the internet and you should always be nice and you should always be kind i'm not pulling a gun to your head saying like you're, you're not, not allowed, allowed to have, have fun, fun which is the only argument you ever see against what i'm saying is why can't you just let people have fun i am not stopping you from having fun it wasn't exactly how i expected my friday to go Especially- Ooh, that was a gold split! That's not how I expected that split to go. Yeah, that that's the way we'll settle this. I'll, I'll race Alpha Rad at Mario 64. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't agree with using channel points. I think that's cheating. This is the dude who's responsible for the death of Alpha Rad's career. Dude, he had it coming. You pay the price of time traveling, my friends. I honestly, like, I hit him up about that article exploding, and he was asleep. So for a little while, I legitimately thought he was actually kind of mad. <laughs> He hasn't responded to me. Is everything okay? But then he was just like, yo, we're making headlines. <laughs> I'm like, dude, my boy. All right, guys, let me see that front sub energy. I am a god. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm getting good. I'm getting good at that. I'm getting fucking good at that. Imagine the times we're putting on Animal Crossing memes. I love that timeline. Holy shit. How are we saving that much time? I think we're green, guys. This might, this might be it. This might be the run. <laughs> the run where I'm just fucking talking about fucking <laughs> canceling Alpha Rad. I'm jinxing it right now so that if it does start going to shit, I can blame it on that time that I, I fucking jinxed it. If anything goes wrong, it's Alpha's fault. I like that idea. It's not that it's Alpha so much as just like, I really like blaming anything on anybody but myself. It's, it's just something I do. You know, it's just a weird quirk I have. How does it feel to be famous? Uh, kind of the same as always, except way cooler. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I was trying to think of the douchiest answer I could think of. Pretty much
much the same as always, except I have way more money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I make content on the internet. I don't have any fucking money. Let's be real. I'm not going to stream the Final Fantasy. I, I don't like streaming, like, casual games too much. With exception. Like, I like streaming Animal Crossing. That's kind of fun. But I really value, like, my game time where I just sit there, mouth gaping open like an idiot, fucking just taking it in, you know? And my fucking boxers, like, dick out, gut out, ass out. Yeah. Eating some ass. Did you expect John to show that picture? I told him to show you that picture. I want everyone to know that I'm a man of my word. I say I'm gonna eat my ass for charity. God damn it, am I gonna eat my ass for charity? All right, please, for the love of God, this killed a run two days ago. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, God! Why? All right, well, there it is. One of two we- Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, come on! I hate it when it does that. Just time travel? I could. We could time travel back. I should time travel on my- my- on live split so that I have a better time. God damn it! Why- why do I keep failing this? All of a sudden, I just forgot how to do this. Technically, it's the z-axis if you're going away, I think. Also, sup? Not much, man. Enjoying my- my new- my newly found Twitter fame. What'd you do this time? Just look at my Twitter. What do you mean, what did I do this time? When do I ever fuck up? I'm a fucking perfect human being. I just think time traveling is cheating, okay? What's wrong with that? I did not fuck up! That is not a fuck up! Dave- Dave, we're cool right now. We're cool right now, but let's not make this change, all right? We're cool right now. Let's not fuck that up. What's next for the doorbell? I want to do that video where I, I go through the submissions on that one video where I'm like, hey, you guys program my doorbell. Oh, Wario doorbell? <laughs> you just hit it and goes, Wah! I think I missed three in the PB. So I think now everything has to be pretty much perfect or we lose time. All right, so we're going to lose time. What the fuck? How do I play Mario? I forgot to play this video game. Oh my god! No! Tried so hard and got so far. In the end, Super Mario's a bitch. Pushed as far as- Fuck you, Mario! Get the star! <laughs> ah. This is like exactly where we were two days ago. Okay. There he goes! There he goes! He's gone! Smoking dick and sucking dick, baby! Mario's smoking, smoking clips through the wall! There he goes! Mario's fucking gone! I hate to say it, but I think clipping through walls is cheating, and you're not letting other people enjoy the game. And I think that that's very sad. Why do you have to say that clipping through the wall is cheating? Everyone paid $60 for this game. They should be able to clip through the wall if they want. They put it in the game. The developers know it was in there. They don't think it's cheating. I don't even know what to do now. I don't even want to finish this run anymore. <laughs> do da do we ba do da dwee. Guys. TAS is not cheating. The game developers knew that eventually someday they would create a software that would be able to put in tool-assisted inputs. I think if you think that TAS is cheating, uh, I think you should just let other people enjoy the game. I don't know why you can't just let other people enjoy the game. Is cheating cheating? Guys, I think cheating is not cheating. And honestly, if you think cheating is cheating, then you should just let people enjoy cheating. I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know why you can't just let people cheat and enjoy it. I already have that star. What are you doing? Mario, what are you doing? And by Mario, I mean me. So Cole's been absolutely fucking killing it with the, with the highlights that, um... In the arms of Jumpman falls your fat ass death. Miss. I hate this fucking video game. 69 stars, everyone. Can I get a nice? Caleb, you're supposed to say nice, not you. God damn it. Guys, can somebody tell- oh, I missed! Ah! I feel better now. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe we're about to fucking world record. This run has the potential of getting super world record. It's actually a world record so good that they delete Mario from existence. You guys think I can like time travel or something? Come on. Clock can't lie. This is the evil that happens when you tell software that it's a different time than it is. This is gonna be a sub 230, everyone. Here it is. Oh my god, amazing. Amazing, guys. I just world record. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm not fucking up. <laughs> I'm not fucking up my whole thing for the meme. Oh wait, we should practice, actually. In the arms of a game shark. Here's all I'm saying. Fuck. <laughs>
<laughs> Guys, I think it's really sad that people think that Game Shark is cheating. The game developers clearly knew that a Game Shark was going to be used. Why can't you just let people enjoy the game? They paid $60 for Mario 64. They should be able to. to... <laughs> so then there's also this. <laughs> Which is so scary. By you saying that I'm cheating, what you're saying is I'm not allowed to have fun. It's kind of uh, fucked up. I'm gonna be uh, canceling you. Wait for my twit longer. Here it comes. Evo Cable Dragon. I thought you said I. Then I got a squirter strat, and I was like, Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. My N64 is on fire right now. Japanese cart time. At Dark Ages 009, my house wants to get white girl wasted. How much do you guys think John's video game collection is? He'd probably buy a new car. Probably. How many beavers do you think? <laughs> John went out with his fucking headband and like a fucking muscle shirt out into the woods and just fucking like wrestled beavers until he had 12 beavers to then trade for a video game. The image that that paints in your brain is too perfect to ignore. Ah! All right, that's it. That's the run. We'll play again tomorrow. We'll play it again tomorrow. I know, I know it's- a Oh god! Gold split! Hype over the red splits. You gotta be hype about the red splits, because you can't have green splits if red splits don't exist. <laughs> I, I meant the <laughs> fucking YouTube thing. <laughs> Picked up, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come see the great Mario. He can fit 100 coins in his asshole. All the stars go in his ass, and then once enough coins fill up, then a star comes out. One guy, one star. <laughs> Sorry. That, that one caught me off guard. I'm here to fucking be angry. Ooh, actually, hold on. Did I just have a breakthrough? Did I just figure the, out the code here? What if it's not the edge at all? What if it's, oh my fucking god? This is wild. Oh fuck, I- <laughs> Mario 64 is fun. Look at Mario. He's doing the worm. He's humping the air. I think the reason why I've been failing it so much is I'm trying to wall kick on the wrong wall. And the only times I've gotten it right are when I was too late. <laughs> Let's do a run. Why is Mario so slippery? <laughs> Uh, that is not a question I'm prepared to answer for you, my friend. Imagine Mario 64 covered in lube. I wish Banjo would take me into his big bear arms. He will. You just have to ask nicely and go, yeah. Fuck you. I want Lock to skip. <laughs> Banjo will only let you into his arms once you get sub one hour, and that's fucked up. That's not unconditional love. Let's not have a time in yet. No matter what we get, it's a sub one. Don't even start the, ta the timer until we get to final Bowser. <laughs> Mario! What? I would love to get a fucking PB that we miss lock do skip because that's always like the best thing ever like when I'm like struggling so hard to be a PB What the fuck? This is so cheap. Where can I save time? It's like in the beginning of the game you fucking idiot No. <laughs> if you press alt f4 in the game you can skip the opening cutscene I don't, know where, I don't know where that is. Great editing. Yeah, that's all hypercool, so thank him. Ideally, like, the whole point of, of Jules Conroy 2 originally was I wanted to make enough content to be able to release every day. So I've been uploading, like, three times a week on that channel, which seems like, it seems like a lot, but, you know, because, like, I've been backlogged. Like, I've had a lot of people, like, hit me up, um, and it, it's good because I would love to, in the future, maybe have multiple editors so that Cole isn't fucking, like, not working to the bone. I think it'd be interesting to see how somebody else would edit like a highlight thing because then you could learn new things and then kind of like blend them together you know see like what works what doesn't the vlogs don't do super well which is sad because those take the most work the, the right titty <laughs> Unless you put in the right titty. The algorithm only goes so far. Like, I don't know anything about the fucking YouTube algorithm. Uh, I, I only know what I've seen. If we're believing what YouTube has said about the algorithm and stuff, nobody knows what's going on with it. They'll, they'll like patch it and apply different kinds of bot systems and stuff to be able to like, being able to read text on a thumbnail or be able to detect faces on a thumbnail. Like those are real things. Playing the game and playing the system and making sure that your titles are good and thumbnail is like, Mimi enough and stuff. It is such a small percentage of what's actually important. Is the content something that somebody's gonna want to click on? Just because you have an exploding fucking tits in the fucking thumbnail with a title that's just like, you won't 
fucking believe blah 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 with a giant red arrow on the thing it's not going to get as many views as even a, even a video from a channel with less subscribers that made something that's like coffin dance but it's fucking edm you know what i mean like something that's topical something that people actually want to watch i've been really experimenting with my thumbnails on on jules conroy for these highlights how would these videos do if i if i picked like the most clickbaity fucking title i can that still has something to do with the video and the thumbnail is like fucking awful, you know? Apology videos, that's my favorite category of videos on YouTube. I just watch apology videos. Need to practice Alice. I missed it once. I miss Alice once. You miss it once every, no I don't. I got it first try every other time the stream. Don't fucking lie. Don't be fucking lying here. Yeah, I'm the worst like practicer. If I get it wrong, I'll practice it until I get it right once and I'm like, all right, I'm a master. Time to perform. <laughs> Oh, see, I knew I was gonna fuck that up. We need to practice wing cap. I hate you guys. I hate my fucking chat. It's a chat that you built. <laughs> Random. Cadence of Hyrule guitarist is bad at Mario 64. Yesterday, uh, for my stream, my my tweet said, Random. Cadence of Hyrule guitarist says time traveling and Animal Crossing is cheating, yet he cheats in his speed runs of Mario 64. There are so many replies to that that are, like, serious. Wow, he's an idiot if he thinks that. It's like... What? Yeah, I was like... What? <laughs> practice Bowser. I need to practice being able to ban people in my chat while I'm speedrunning. How about that? I'm gonna ban the word practice in my chat. <laughs> ban the word genuine. Yeah, no one's allowed to be genuine here. I want you guys all to be fake. Just be all like Russian bots. <laughs> Could you imagine just like going into a chat with a Mario 64 speedrunner and all the messages in the chat were Russian? <laughs> it didn't make no sense. I hope uh, Thunder Scott comes in. He fucking hates it when people speak other languages in chats. He doesn't hate it. He's just always just like, speak English. It's an English chat, you know, please. If Thunder Scott ever says anything in the message, just everybody start speaking random languages. <laughs> I just love that, like, he just barely hit that wall. He's like, <laughs> and, um, oh my god. Oh my god. I want to reset. Come here, bitch. Wow, you guys are fucking mean. Jules smells bad. Hair sucks. Jules is thick. That did not look like it was going to work. Fucking god. Do a cover of Funny Fortnite. Nobody fucking watch with that shit. All star by Smash Mouth. Now we're getting into the real ideas. I love you all and I accept all of you. Now fuck you. <laughs> Everyone shut up and let me PB this fucking <laughs> Let me peanut butter this fucking Mario. I was thinking the other day, uh, the first time I ever met Oni and G. I knew Oni for a while because he was like commenting on my videos and stuff. For those of you guys don't know, Oni and G is an animator um who was originally on Newgrounds but then moved to YouTube and made such classics as uh Dragon's Ball P and he was coming on some of my like earliest videos mario is gone mario is missing when i met him in person it was magfest 2013 or 2014 or something and it was right after his uh harry potter video went out so it was uh the stop it ron stop and got him let me song. i could tell he was already like so over the joke because like people around him were, were just kept going oh oh and i'm, I'm just like man that, it's got to be so difficult because like for for animators like doing like comedy work and stuff they have to sit with a joke for so fucking long. You have the joke, you record the joke, you have to get it totally right, and then you have the audio, so then you have to sit there and you have to animate the lips to move to that joke, so you listen to this joke over and over and over again, and then if the joke fucking lands, best case scenario, everybody is quoting your joke. For me personally, like, if I say something funny, very quickly I'm already just like, alright, yeah, it was funny the first time, but like, whatever, but like, dude, I, I have so much respect for animators who, who fucking go through that shit. How much work did you put in the doorbell video? Not much, man. We were leaving for McDonald's. Corey was like, hey, did you know you can pr we can program our doorbell to like make it make it sound like anything? And I was like, what the fuck? We're in a house full of musicians and you thought to tell us that now? And he's like, oh, I thought you guys already knew. So like, dude, we should make a video where we make it just fucking play Megalovania. <laughs> Mario, what the fuck was that? That was the sickest fucking 50-50 grind I've ever seen, but that's not, we're not playing Tony Hawk. One of the first things I did on this Twitch page was, um, oh God. <laughs> Fuck. I played through every Tony Hawk game. Started with Tony Hawk's Pro, Pro Skater 1, and then I went all the way to Project 8, and then I couldn't keep playing. I was just like, oh. Ugh. Can I skateboard? Yeah, the, uh, I the Spider-Man pizza theme. That is me in the Spider-Man costume. So all those skateboarding shots, that is me skateboarding. <laughs> Whoa, you're Spider-Man? Uh, I mean, uh, not, no, no. What? Who, who said that? I gotta pay attention, because I keep missing coins. I need to save time, so we are gonna hit every fucking coin. In this whole run, I can miss one coin. That's gonna be my coin. I'm a god gamer. 
I'm a god gamer. We'll be a little bit red. Because this asshole has to fucking make a cutscene about a star coming out of his ass. Her ass. I'm sorry. Her ass. How do you unlock Luigi? Um, you go to Alpharad Plus and there's a video explaining it. Guys, let's get Alpharad Plus, the subs on that, higher than Alpharad just to get back at him. How about that? I was actually, there was a, there was a point where like the doorbell video was getting so, so big. I gained like a hundred thousand subscribers from that, that I was like, is my second channel going to beat my main channel that I've been working on for a decade? Is that about to happen? My front sub has been pretty good lately. I'm afraid to practice it. Cause what happens when I practice things? Like I have some kind of breakthrough a lot of the time. And then I'm like, okay, that's the way it works every time. And then when it doesn't work for whatever reason, I'm like, I'm fucked up about it. Okay, Mario's just fucking showing off now. Ooh, come on, and it still works though. I hate it. Oh, thank you, Mario. Oh, come on. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Missy, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to the stream, guys. Um, I am speedrunning Mario 64. My name is Family Jewels. I ate my ass for charity, and I also uh, canceled Alpha Rad on Twitter yesterday. I'm making a TRG uh, Hunger Games. I feel like Emil would like take it really seriously. Everybody else in the entire like Hunger Games would be like, just kill me, it's fine, whatever. Yeah, Emil would luck his way to victory. Would I sap the Conroy luck? I'd be the first to die. Me and Adriana, we would just fucking be like, uh, I'm too tired for this, and then we would just we would just ritual suicide. <laughs> would you sh slap Josh Jepson immediately? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we fucking practiced this skip a million times. I swear to God, it was <laughs> Mar Mar Mario. <laughs> Get the fuck in there. Oof. Oh, that's so scary. <gasps> <gasps> Thank you. Okay, good backup. Good backup. Good backup. Oh, wake up. It's time for school. <laughs> Am I dreaming because I, I had a clutch time save? You're still in middle school? Oh, fuck. That's the, literally like, dude, middle school was the worst for me. I was fucking chunky. No one liked me. I was obsessed with Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. I had a really high pitched voice. I'm going to opt out of middle school, please. I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> no, why was I feeling spicy? Mario is trying to end my life. Are you serious? Give me the bunny. Give me the bunny. I want the bunny. I ate my own ass for charity. What more do you need to know? How though? By eating my own ass. Yeah, I bet myself like an origami. <laughs> <laughs> he turned himself into a donut. <laughs> was it good? No, it wasn't very good. It was about as bad as a 139 split. The code's been cracked, friends. The code has been fucking cracked. Holy fuck. That was the hypest shit I've ever seen in my life. I am a fucking god. I am a fucking god. Every time. We got it every time. Holy fuck. This is beautiful. This rainbow ride is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I didn't think he was gonna do it. I didn't think he was gonna make that jump. Holy fuck! Oh my god. Oh fuck, okay, we're good. He turned himself into a pickle. So laughing about he turned himself into a donut. <laughs> Oh my god, Mario, please. I'm not gonna go for speed strats. We're just gonna take it very light. I'm gonna go for my patented bitch strats. Patented bitch strats that has a lot of bonking. However, not much dying. We have to avoid dying. <gasps> oh my god, we got fucking beamed. But we still save time. Okay, I don't think there's 20 seconds, 26 seconds of time save, but god damn are we gonna try, friends. Let's fucking do this. These runs that come in to the ending like pretty fucking red, but then just have an amazing split at the end that somehow pulls it in. First try. Okay, that's the last hard trick in the run. We missed sub, sub one hour, but can we PB? Oh my god! Oh. oh! Why did he hit that? He wasn't even close! Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't think that- I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.
run! What a run! Next goal! Sub 1019. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's get that sub one hour in an otter kegu. What's with the costume? I was just filming for um, uh, a video, not for my channel. When you see the video, you'll know that right after we got done filming was when I immediately went downstairs and, and played Mario 64. Like literally, I got all my shots done. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna go stream. As soon as you were going to bed, I'm sorry, I'm busy, dude. It's working until seven. And then I think I finally went to bed at nine because I played Animal Crossing. Cause it was like eight o'clock and I was like, all right, well, I might as well go to, you know, the Nook shop. I love the music at 5 a.m. And I love being able to like be there and just, it's like, all right, time to get my dailies done early. And then I get it done and then, yeah. You're gonna be playing the game for the rest of the year before you sub one, you think so? I need that motivation. I need to prove you wrong. What the fuck is that emote, Scoot? What is that? Uh, oh my god. When Mario does that shit, I'm just like, it's hard not to take it personally, you know? <laughs> it's hard not to be like, Mario, your asshole was inside the cage. Do you not like pregnant Luigi? I don't. Are you gonna make a speedrun of Banjo-Kazooie? Once I get sub one, one hour, my next goal is I'm going to relearn Banjo-Kazooie. 100% and we're gonna be going for the sub two and a half hours and then learn Ocarina of Time randomizer No Mario randomizer for a long time. I like having games that I can pick up when I get kind of burnt out on something I haven't been playing Mario enough to really consider myself burnt out on it And that's kind of what I'm doing now <laughs> trying to burn myself out a little bit on Mario I'm really glad people have been vibing with the highlights because because like eventually like I think it would be really cool to just have that as just like a Constant stream of entertainment for the people who, who enjoy it because I think it's fun I, th I think it's really fun to have like highlights of streams and stuff myself. It's content that I like to fuck. It's content I like to fuck. You look like a depressed PBG then. <laughs> the best compliment anyone's ever told me. People like used to compare me a lot to him and John Tron. He looks like a depressed PB and J. I wish I could have a depressed PB. There is like some things in this run that I'm just like a fucking god at, and then things that, that should be like basic bitch shit that I'm like first grade level speedrun strats on. There's just some things that my hands don't like to do. One of which is you're supposed to do a kick here to get over there faster, but it's really scary and I don't like doing it. It's one of those things that like, baby's first run, you do a kick there and I still don't want to do it. That should not have worked. I've done that exact same setup so many times and it's it's biffed. I can't believe that worked. So we can miss one coin on this slide and this is usually where all the runs go to die. We want the star to land as close to the edge as possible because then it's easier to grab. I could grab the other red coin, um, it's just slow. I used to actually do that a lot. I call it the pussy coin, because you're a pussy if you grab it. And, you know, every once in a while, I'm a, I'm a pussy. So if this is tight, then this is gonna be potentially a gold cool cool mountain, because everything happened really, really, really smoothly. Yeah, I knew it. I, that that was just too perfect. Once I get the sub one hour, I'm gonna take like a month off streaming. <laughs> oh my god, attacking toucans! Thank you so much for the raid. What's the thing that Tyler always says? The, hoo ya. Mmm, good shit. Does Tyler still say that, or is that like a dead? <laughs> is that a dead meme? If you haven't uh, followed, subbed, stalked, got restraining orders from uh, attacking toucans by now, then you should definitely go over there and do that. Maybe not the restraining order part, but definitely follow them. Mario, what are you doing? Where are you going? Nothing down there for you. The easy stuff I'm not focused on. Like when it's like I have a big trick coming, I'm like, I, I've got the fucking like math going through my head. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hit it at this angle and this is gonna be great and whatever. But then when I'm trying to enter a fucking door, I just bonk because I'm not paying attention. Good shit, that was a fucking sick split. We saved so much fucking time there. I feel like my best runs are like my first run of the day. And then every, every run after that, I'm just kind of like, uh, and then I just lose momentum so much. I want you all to reveal your chests to me. Please, please, are you serious? What does this chest want from me? Money? Okay. So we might lose a little bit of time in um, Dire Dire Docks, but it's not too bad. Plus, I think there's some good time save in uh, Bowser 2. Where's the time save? I think the time save is um, Tall Tall Mountain, I think was the time save. Yeah, Mario is a bitch. He's a big gold sloppy bitch. Yeah, the sloppiest of bitch. That is Mario. Oh, we need that Manta Star, don't we? Mario, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? 
Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, it's because I missed the star. My, my rhythm's all off. Still fucked up over somebody saying I look like depressed PBG. I'm wearing a fucking otter kigu. How can I look depressed? I'm literally a predator. Don't take that out of context. Family jewels, 2020. I'm literally a predator. <laughs> Random? Kings of Hyrule guitarist is a predator? You look like depressed PBJ, but at least you look like PBJ. Thank you. It was like half good, half. <gasps> Fuck no! Why? Oh, I hate it. It's time save for when we PB. It's time save for when we PB. It's fine. Come on, Mario. We're going this way. Yeah. That was early. That was really early. Okay, we're good, though. <laughs> that jump was really fucking early. Especially since his vice president, Jack, will get metal playing on TVs every night. That's not what vice presidents do. Vice presidents don't choose what goes on the TV. <laughs> not yet, they don't. That's true. Vote for us for 2024 and find out. I've not played Sticker Star now. Mmm. Mmm. That was the first one I fucked up since we said, like, we figured it out. Whee! <laughs> I love that star. God. Oh, God. Whew. I did feel my heart drop a little bit there. No, come on, Mario. Weak nutted that jump. It's like at the end of the porn when it's like the most epic shit ever. Fucking going at it hard and then the dude just fucking lets out like a pew. That's what that was. You met John Petrucci? Uh, I didn't know you were into speed. Yeah, uh, John Petrucci's, uh, my dad. But not really. I wish he was my dad. Random Gaiden Spiral guitarist adopted by John Petrucci. Dude, that's the headline I want. What about your dad, Grant Kirkhope, or your dad, Toxic X Eternity? I mean, we don't have to tell them. Some things are just best left kept to you and me, chat. You and me, guys. It's our little secret. I have three dads. What about Steven? He's my dad, too. Oh, yeah. Wasn't Tall Tall Mountain a fucking train wreck? Yeah. Dude, we're gonna save a little bit of time here. This is a weird fucking run. Let me tell you. This is a weird run. I feel like, like, Lyle's like my bro. So he's, like, also you guys' dad, but technically your uncle at the same time. I want somebody to actually write out this fucking family tree. But make it adaptable, because there's a lot of different things that you'd have to add to it. I had to explain to Jack what a taint is, because I think he got confused. I said it's the, uh, it's the fleshy fun bridge. Like they call it in the, in Cards Against Humanity. Like, everybody uses so many different fucking things that, like, everything just loses its meaning. So, I understand if somebody doesn't know what the fuck a taint is. We were gonna save a lot of time here, and then I fucking like literally the easiest star in the run i fucked up we'll do the fun star we fuck you i went into punk asian stream yesterday and the first thing i heard him talk about was he's just like if i use my left hand i can't i definitely can't climax <laughs> yeah that's honestly a fair comment yeah i was like yeah Ooh, that was fucking robbed mario passed through the fucking bunny dimension and was denied Ugh. We love to see it, my friends. We do love to see it. We are green. Not gonna work. Oh my god, I cannot believe that fucking worked. Oh, uh, I was just in awe that I forgot to fucking do a wall jump there. Sorry, I accidentally murdered Lockatoo. Sorry, bro. Accident- I did- I accidentally murdered you. I- dude, it was an accident. What? You're not supposed to kill people? That's against the law? Well, I didn't know that, so I can't go to jail, right? Yeah, it was just a prank. Uh, Your Honor, with all due respect, it was a prank. That lock two had a family, probably. Probably. What if like every lock two I see, like in this section, is like the Oh, you killed my brother. And now I'm gonna kill you. Uh oh, and then I killed that one. Mario's a fucking bad motherfucker. <sighs> oh, come on, dude. I just want you to bounce on my boy's dick. That's it. I just want you to bounce on my boy's dick. Ooh. Fucking and that jump. Alright. We're in trouble. That one needed to happen. That one needed to happen. We're in sad, sad boy times now. Oh my god. I just hate that this is one of the levels I have to get 100 coins in. It's just the level that's fucking broken as shit with invisible walls all over the place is the one that's like, yep. This is a good, uh, hundo level. Yeah, I did forget to talk about how genuine I am. I've never sworn on a single fucking stream before. Super genuine. My actual legal name is Family Jewels. Oh, I forgot to guilt trip. Guys. Oh god, what was the fucking clip? If you don't have enough money to sub to me, then you're being irresponsible with your money. <laughs> that clip is new? I- Yeah, I feel like it's from 20, 2018. Oh my god. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So we're not gonna PB, but this was a really good run. No! Stranger danger. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Sorry, my, my brother threw that one. It wasn't me. Oh, you didn't see it? Oh, well, it, it happened. You can you can believe me. See, when I do it, I always get it. I don't think I've ever missed a Bowser throw in my life. 
<laughs> oh, dude, my dog, uh, you know, the dog that I have, he just grabbed the controller at that that one moment and, and uh, bit down on the, the B button specifically. What's my brother's name? Uh, for, uh Sharon. Sharon. Fuck. Sub 105. I'm okay with it. Sub 105. What time is it? 10? No! <laughs> I want to do another one. I'm gonna burn out, dude. I'm gonna fucking burn out. All right, you boys and girls ready? I just wanted to make you mad. We're gonna get sub one hour today so that I don't have to stream tomorrow because I don't think I can. What are the requirements to complete one run? So we're doing a category called 70 star. The 70 star is kind of the, the any percent run that doesn't use kind of game breaking glitches. So we actually have to go through and get every star and then uh, beat Bowser. We're trying to do that in under an hour. I've been working on it for a really long time, but because I do so many other projects like around speed running, I, I really lack the consistency required to get better at speed running. Streaming it one, one time a week, is just not conducive to getting really good, so. Jack of all trades, master of none. That's fucked up. To think I'm a master at some things. Yes! Oh god, I love it when that happens. And first try. Hell yeah. Why is it the bright side? Mario's fucking old. Mario's gonna die soon, because he's 35 years old. Yeah, I can't wait for Super Mario Wheelchair. Super Mario Wheelchair is a thing. Oh yeah, isn't that like a Mario 64 ROM hack? Isn't it like super offensive too? <laughs> Would you ever consider an F-Zero speedrun? I played F-Zero on stream once and I was just like, I always used to feel like I was pretty good at F-Zero. When I started looking at the actual times people were getting in that game, I was just like, I could never. You need to like snake and do all this shit that I just have no fucking clue how to do. Definitely gonna be red. See, my problem is like, I feel like I make the most mistakes when I like take a take a breather. All right, no more hard tricks. And then I'm like, I fuck up all the hard, the easy ones. One of my biggest problems with speedrunning is like, I, I definitely have like kind of this feeling of like, like if I make one mistake, it's really hard for me to like, I beat myself up so hard about it. It starts affecting the run like really quickly and I just need to get better at not being like that, you know? Sick. And we're green. And we're gold, whoa, we're not green. We got those Gryffindor colors up there. Whoa! I'll take it. <laughs> I'll fucking take it. <laughs> Ooh boy! All right, this is the run breaker. Everybody, clench your butts. <sighs> All right, we got the coins, and we just gotta get the star. Good shit. We did it the swag strat, which I- that's what was fucking me up a lot earlier, but we got it. I came when I heard we had a run. Do you just have like a, a fucking- an alert? Like whenever Jewel says this is the run? Like, oh, he- he says it's the run, we gotta go, we gotta watch. Yeah, I really wanna watch the Doom Eternal speed run, but I wanna wait until I finish the game. For AGDQ, they were doing, um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I donated so that they would do the, uh, Black Eagle route. I think Golden Deer won, and I haven't done that route, so I had to stop watching. I'm in the middle of, uh, my, uh, Blue Lion playthrough. And I had to stop because there's just so many games I want to play. Wait, do people play games? Yeah. We're gamers. You wouldn't know based on your name, Super MC. Oh, shit. Never mind. And anime on my side. That's what Mario says while he's running with his ass on fire. Yeah, I got addicted to canceling other content creators after Alpha Rad. So now I'm going to bring down Super MC Gamer. You're next, buddy. How, how the fuck could I dig up dirt on, like, the guy who, like, <laughs> does, like, all this fucking charity work? You spelled Hyrule wrong. It's all over, bro. Super MC Gamer calls himself a Zelda fan, but can't even spell Hyrule right once. <laughs> I should cancel Family Jewels. Literally, nobody has more ammo than I do to cancel Family Jewels. I cancel Family Jewels every day. I've canceled Family Jewels 7X two letters so far. I'm just gonna keep going. Family Jewel. Fam family Joel. <laughs> family Jew. Family Ju. Family. <laughs> That's when I stop. <laughs> For liking Twinks. What's wrong with liking Twinks? Twinks need love too. How's it let go? It goes do 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 do. What about otters? Do you go for otters, MC? Do what? Wait, do what? 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 Don't what? You hate that term? Why do you hate that term? Like genuinely, I, I'm actually, it's goofy. You, you hate it because it's goofy? Otters are like fucking vicious predators. There's nothing goofy about otters. They're adorable and cute and will also deface you. They will rip your face off. Yeah, how is otter a goofy term, but not twink? Who is that one otter from Animal Crossing? Me. This lava land was fucking insane, by the way. That was an incredible lava sea. <laughs> Holy shit. 
<laughs> oh my god, dude. Qu yeah, start talking about twinks more. Uh, okay. If I were a man of that culture, liked other sirs, I'd probably go for twinks. Like Link, you know? If I were a man. <laughs> Period. Link's more of a twunk. Yeah, he is kind of more of a twunk, I guess. Actually, MC, what what would you classify as an otter? Lean guys who are hairyish? Really? I guess so. Yeah, that makes sense. MC, what am I? Besides awful at this game. You're my friend and I'm not entertaining this question. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not gonna take it any weird way. I'm just curious. I'm taking a survey. If I was taking a BuzzFeed quiz that was 100% correct, what would my answer be? It's not what you say. It's what BuzzFeed says. You're a hunkish twink. Hell yeah. Thank you. Not a twunk, but a twink. <laughs> a twink. But more hunk than twink. Gotcha. <laughs> On the BuzzFeed quiz of whether or not I'm a hunk or a twink, I'm Cadence of Hyrule guitarist. Random. Cadence of Hyrule guitarist. It's a little bit more of a hunk than a twink, <laughs> but still a little twinky. That's the article that people really want to be reading. That's the real news. All right. A little bit of time loss. Just a wee bit. All right, a lot of it. Listen, I will every day of my life take being the guy who ate his ass for charity over doorbell man or canceller of YouTuber formerly known as Alpha Rat. Better not pouch, you better not cry. Family jewels will never lie. He will eat his ass for charity. You use good sauce? No, I didn't spread my asshole with fucking A1 sauce, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> we weren't raising money for child's play. I'm sure children will receive the money that was raised from me eating my ass, but we don't have to tell them. Son, I need you to know, a man ate his own ass for this man. An almost 30 year old man in a chat filled with 5,000 people proceeded to tuck his face into his ass and he went, om nom. Nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Now please enjoy the rest of your day. Everyone just keeps asking why. And I don't know how many times I have to say it. If I say it any more times, it's gonna end up being a t-shirt. I ate this for charity. Now that is fucking genius, actually. You're 25 year old. Oh, dude, you're gonna die soon. You're 25 years old. I'm older than 25 and I, I'm dead. At least inside. Pepsi man looking thick. Yike. That was very unfortunate. I got fucking yeeted. We died at literally the beginning of the level. We should be okay. Ooh, that doesn't look good at all. That doesn't look good at all. All right. I guess Telltale Mountain's pretty rough in the PB, so we are still doing all right. <laughs> Bonk. This is where most of the time save is. Um, so we have to make sure that we're really tight with this because Rainbow Ride and TikTok Clock were extremely tight in this PB. I would prefer to be about two minutes green coming out of Hazy Maze Cave, if possible. But now it's not because I just bonked. Take me down, bitch. Take me down, bitch. We don't got time to be fucking dicking around. Oh my god, the 8-bit drummer. Thank you so much for the raid. What you fucking streaming, my boy? Wait, Jared wasn't live. Wait, yeah, what, what the fuck? I just got another thing that the 8-bit drummer is raiding me again with 34 viewers. Do you think he's hosting? I mean, it would say he was hosting if, it, if, it, if he was hosting. What's up, Jared? Yeah, hello? What's going on? <sighs> no, come on. That felt so good. No, no, come on. Ugh. I don't know why I rolled out. That was my mistake. I'm such a fucking asshole. I lost it. How? How the fuck did Mario not get up there? My Mario impression is, hi, my name is Mario. I'm a little bitch. I fucking suck. Why? Let's just get out of this fucking level. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> Possibly the worst Rainbow Ride split of all time. Who knows, maybe we could just have like the most insane TikTok clock and then Rainbow Ride will just forever be like the meme. <laughs> or I'll be the meme, as always. We reset the timer, would that be time traveling? Would we be time traveling? <laughs> Daddy. No! Everybody in chat, daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your daddy. We're both our, we're both each other's daddy. That was the worst run we've ever had. I do need a new dad. What happened to your old dad? What happened to the first one? What'd you do with the first one? Ah! Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I'm working on a very nice song tonight. It's very relaxing and I need to just get it all out right now. If your ears hurt, 
turn me down. Turn me down. Turn it down. My roommate jumped. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just fucking murdered him. So I was thinking about like, I need like a quick kick off that, but I definitely need a really big wall kick. Okay, I just- so I just did a quick one and it worked. It's just luck. Let's just fucking do another run. <laughs> let's just hope it works. That's why I'm a horrible speedrunner. Cause I'll just do that and I'll be like, Whatever, it's luck, let's just do another run. <laughs> oh no, it's not working. Shut up, chat, it's RNG. <laughs> Even the crouch is just like, Yeah, yeah, well I'm RNG, whether or not I'm gonna fucking turn on. How about that? Yahoo! See, look, lock to skip, it's totally RNG. Random number generators, RNG. Ah, uh, yeah, cage, totally RNG. That's what I'm saying. Refrigerator, RNG. AI memes, RNG. Being good, RNG. Mario, RNG. My relationship status, RNG. Whether or not my parents are proud of me, RNG. I need to stop. Whether or not my dad will come back with cigarettes, RNG. Whether or not you exist, that is kind of technically RNG, but not really. Up to a lot of factors that are essentially RNG. Priest, you wanna know something funny about that? So the whole thing, you know, when people say like, you were the strongest sperm, or you were the fastest sperm. So if you ever feel like you're a failure, remember, one day you were the fastest sperm. Incorrect. The wall of the egg needs to be broken a little bit. So typically what happens is the first sperm to hit will actually die, breaking it, and you were the second one. So even as a sperm, you were a piece of shit. And you just benefited from somebody else's hard work. Just like in real life. The good thing is, nobody is more in control of your destiny than yourself. Nothing from here on out is RNG. It's all your choice. What if you threw a blue shell at the first sperm? Then you're gonna die. Fertilizing an egg is the ultimate blue shell. You get your first place, and then you get to the finish line, and then you get fucking murdered, and then the second place comes in and takes it. What matters is we win. And fuck everybody. And fuck lock to skip. Why am I fucking really bad about this? So in high school once, um, me and this guy, we were trying to figure out how to prove who was manlier, you know, as you do in high school. What we decided was we were gonna ask a girl if it would be okay if we could both inseminate her and then she would then have a child and then we would get the DNA to see who the father was. So we would like make like a mix and then, you know, turkey baster, you know, whatever. I, I don't know how that works. Then the baby would come out and then we would get a DNA test, see who the father was. Whoever the father was has the superior sperm. Therefore, is more manly. And the girl said no, which is really weird. So we didn't end up doing it. Yeah, yeah, it's really weird that she was like, nah. High <laughs> school Jules sounds like an idiot. Uh, I'm still an idiot. Do you have any anime slash game waifus? I've got plenty. I have a 2B body pillow. I have a 2B shrine behind me. Princess Peach is my waifu. Um, that's why I've got a titty mouse pad of her. No, I think Peach is better than Daisy. I think Peach is more mature and she makes cake. Daisy more nasty. I like corrupting the more innocent ones. <laughs> Finding the nasty in the more innocent ones. Daisy's just like openly nasty, you know? I'm a shy guy. <laughs> Dude, Jack is all about that fucking shy guy. <sighs> What's under that coat, man? What's under that coat? I aspire to be as confident as Jules talking about his multiple titty mouse pads on stream. If you're gonna judge me for my titty mouse pads, then I don't give a shit about your opinion. There's so many layers of titty mouse pads that are amazing, you know? What's a better mouse pad to have? Would you get a boring ass, like, wrist support? Or would you get something that's, like, funny? Hulk ass mouse pad? I wanna get a Shrek ass mouse pad. That's gonna be my next one. Kirby feet mouse pad would be great. If I would do Overwatch, I'd probably do D.Va. Mostly because, like, Adriana kind of looks like D.Va, so, like, if I got anybody else, Adriana would be like, what the fuck? Whenever you're watching your stream, just know. Off to the camera, there's a- she's- she's using a peach titty mouse pad. Being like, hello everybody, I'm wholesome Adriana. <laughs> I mean, she could go get another mouse pad, but that's too much work. I would be okay with a Kaito ass pad. If we got- if we got a Kaito ass pad, I would feel like, all right, Zadron has had to use all of my titty mouse pads forever. You'd be resting your hand on my own ass while I rested my mouth on my own ass. The more I play this game, the further left I need to be for this, I swear. Because that's not going to work, right? Why did that work? RNG, god damn it. <laughs> it is, yeah. Reset. I am dying. I am dying right now. 12-9, my friends. You know what that means? 
It means everybody's got to donate $100 in my chat right now, but you got to be quick. You got to be quick. You got to donate $100 right now. $100. Everybody donate $100. $100. Let's go. $100. Ah, uh, too late. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Where's my wallet? Fuck, no. Attention. All family Jules Jamly members. Jules is in trouble, and the only way to, hit, to get him to get his sub one hour is he needs your credit card. <laughs> Can we get a uh, voiceover Pete to do that? You know, I met, um, I met voiceover Pete. I got to show you guys the picture. It's Adriana, me, and voiceover Pete. Uh, TwitchCon. He was wearing his costume, which is like, he has the really nice top, but then shorts. Cause like, you don't ever see below. Just under that, you have this picture. And then the video of me, uh, getting ready for that. I posted that to, uh, to Twitter with zero context. So I was dressed up in green cause I played Gooigi in, uh, the Random Encounters, Luigi's Mansion musical. Yeah, everyone was freaking out. They're like, what are you doing? 22, cause like a lot of people like make fun of me for my goatee. Back in the day, one of my favorite comments that I ever got was somebody who called my chin a hairy vagina. <laughs> cause it was like this super white rapper looking dude with like all these chains and stuff. And he was just like, yo, you the king of video game metal, but let's be real, you wear bling even though you're white, even though in his profile picture he was wearing chains and stuff, and he's like, your chin is a hairy vagina. <laughs> it was just so, like, out of nowhere and just so funny because of the context. Oh, stonks! Tom Fox, thank you so much for the raid. I heard you sold all your stonks. How much did he make? 118 million? Oh my fucking god. I was sitting pretty with my six. <laughs> my six million that I made today. Man, I will never have to worry about money ever again. And then you know, Tom's over here like, uh, sorry, I can't hear you over how fucking rich I am. Do you ever struggle with depression? Anxiety? Well, following and subscribing to Tom Fox will absolutely and immediately rid you of all of that. What's a celebrity that's net worth is 118 million? Gordon Ramsay? Is Gordon Ramsay 118? Or did you just throw that name out? <laughs> oh wait, you Googled it for sure? Guys, Tom Fox is literally Animal Crossing Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> this turnip is too fucking raw. Where will you learn? Oh shit, was that a sub 13? I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. We have a rule in my chat where every time I get a sub 13, everybody in the chat has to donate $100. Tom will pay for all of you guys? Okay, cool. Tom, that'll be, uh, whatever that is, just send that to me in the, uh, in the mail. It was that Twitch clip that's going around. I'm gonna be the new one where I'm just like, guys, if you can't spend $100 to your streamer, then you're just irresponsible with your money. <laughs> if you can't all give me 1 million Animal Crossing in-game bells, then come on. This is a butt clenchy moment of the, of the run, so everybody, uh, post your butt emotes. That was a butt clenchy moment right there. All right, my friends, we have a run. We have a run! Yeah. <laughs> Immediately into a pole. Hell yeah, I love getting that. Yeah, I didn't get my $100, guys. We gotta reset. Tom has 100, 118 million bells. Ooh. Oh yeah, every time you finish Okami, reset. She asked me to pay child support, reset. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm doing too good, reset. This run's going too good, guys, we gotta reset. Big bouncing honkers. I usually have this split called BBW, and when people are like, what the fuck, why do you have BBW? I'll be like, it's Big Boo's want. Everyone's always asking about Big Boo's haunt, and nobody, nobody just asks what he wants, you know? They're always just obsessed with what he's scared of. But that joke got, got pretty old, so I'm glad I could tell it again. Big Boo's hemorrhoid, ooh. How do you get rid of a ghost hemorrhoid? Fuck. Go Mario, go Mario, it's a speed run! You slow piece of shit! I don't know if you got the fucking memo, but it's not a let's play. Five dollars and I reset the run? God damn it, I would, no. Even if you made it like five hundred dollars and I'll reset this run right now, how much of an asshole would you have to be to be that person? I'll take the money, but come on, dude. We did these races where like there was donation incentives to like choose somebody to have to reset their console while we were doing Mario 64, and it made the run go on for fucking ever, so we vowed never to do that again. <laughs> How many songs did you do with Jacob on his album? I'm not gonna tell you, it might be zero. Yeah, why would I work with a filthy time traveler like Alpha Rad? Alpha Rad should make a real apology video for making a fake apology video. Just like, I'm sorry, dot, 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 two. All the rumors are true. I did make an apology video about something that wasn't really that big of a deal. Get up, what the fuck was that? <laughs> he didn't even jump, what the fuck? I don't think we got fronts up in the PB either. If I recall, oh no! Mario, why? You slippery f footed bag of sausages, you. Fucking tortellini fucking bitch. Rigatoni ass eating Oli. Why? Why did that first one work? Okay, we're still green. No hat run? That would be good. Is it a run to get to the point where you lose your hat, or is it you lose your hat and then have to complete the whole game? Not that I think that that would be too hard, but you do take extra damage without your hat on, which kind of makes you think. 
What the fuck is in this hat? Does he have some, like, fucking Jimi Hendrix fucking headband shit going on here? Definitely need that coin. Why are you just chilling, bro? He, you know what? I, I shouldn't be mad. He's just vibing. <laughs> his hat is laced with PCP. He saw that Jimi Hendrix laced his headband with acid, so he was like, oh, let me do that with PCP. <laughs> That's Angel Dust, home. Is that in Tuesday? Friday, not Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> Chris Rock. Chris Tucker is Chris Rock. I'd like to see Chris Rock play Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker is Morgan Freeman in... <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Chris Tucker playing Chris Rock. Playing Chris Angel. Playing Chris Chan. <laughs> now, if that isn't some fucking as-you-like-it Shakespearean bullshit, I don't know what is. Why are you punching? Look, like, can you please stop speedrunning me today? I'm so tired. My legs hurt. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do one more run. Why are you laughing two metal cover? Why are you laughing one had like a specific like melody line that I could hear. Why are you laughing two is a little bit more chaotic in general. So I don't know if I can do as good with that one. You know what I mean? All right. I think I'm done for the night. Sorry I didn't get it today, but I guess that means we're streaming tomorrow. Till we get that sub one. We're doing Mario every day. Why is there no consuming of a child? I figure we've been doing this every day. If I still haven't sub one, I'll just eat a child and then everybody will be like, um, reported. <laughs> All non-cheaters are the scum of the earth. You are now required to unfollow me. What's the reasoning be behind being just like an asshole on the internet? I don't get it. It's a new trend of 2020. We're complaining about complaining. It's just the new meta. Whose child should I eat? Actually, if you're all my child, then I can eat any of you. Yeah, I wonder what the uh, nutrition uh, nutrition facts on a baby is. Protein? So I thought too. I don't know, ask a cannibal. How do you know who's a cannibal? Because isn't cannibalism illegal? You are what you eat. Oh, human. <laughs> if you are what you eat, does that make everybody a cannibal? Princess, fuck. I don't see Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is. <laughs> the, the filter is going on the, the shirt. 12 9, everyone donate $100. Quick, everyone do it. Everyone donate. Everyone donate 100 bucks. Quick, everybody needs to do it. Quick, do it. Get your. Uh, too late. Has anyone actually donated? No. If only one person does at some point, then that's worth it. I like alarming everybody and be like, wait, what? Why do I owe you $100? It's so good being ahead. <laughs> I am saying it now, and you guys watch me do it. We are using a new controller today, so I can, for a little while, blame it on the controller. See, I don't have to blame it on the lag or the RNG. I can always blame it on the controller today. Join the stream drunk and actually be dumb enough to donate $100. No, don't. Don't do it. Do it. Goddamn, Mario, no! Go there. I'm feeling right there. I felt wrong. Technically, isn't everybody a child of somebody? Therefore, I can eat anybody and it would be eating a child? Yeah, I can eat myself. I am a child. Therefore, I ate a child. Mario just grabbed the bump. <laughs> like, eh. Children have to be 12 or under according to the restaurants. I mean, but am I not a child? I am a child of my parents. Therefore, I am a child. Who started chat pit if you guys sub one hour? You guys better chat pit. This chat better be fucking destroyed when I get sub one hour. Oh, come on, Mario. Why you go bonk like that? No! I wonder why this keeps happening to me. Why? Why did that happen? I was literally holding forward. Oh my god. I oh, what? I did it perfectly and it still didn't work. You can make no mistakes and still fail. It's just life. We can work with an 18. Ugh, this controller's feeling weird all of a sudden. Oh no! Fuck! Mario is a big old fucking sloppy bit. Looking forward to tonight because I get to finish this video. It's gonna be a weird video. It's gonna be another like kind of not metal one next week. Hope you guys still enjoy it. It's a really special song to me. Mario Laugh too. Yeah, really chill song. Wario laughing too. Ska, dude, I grew up on Ska. My first introduction to music that wasn't like in sync and Britney Spears and shit was um, the music for like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Like I started with like, you know, Primus, Primus. It's Primus, right? I don't know why I always say Primus. I think somebody in my music school called it Primus. You know, Dead Kennedys was like my first real band. <laughs> Pri yeah, Prius. They started kind of getting a little bit more metal, but like I started actually liking the Ska stuff more than the metal stuff. I remember hearing um, that one song by Lamb of God and just being like, this is really metal. This is a little too much. This is probably where I draw the line. And it's really funny that Lamb of God ended up being one of my favorite bands after some time. I was playing Battlefield 1942 with this girl from Canada and she was like, yo, what do you listen to? And I'm like, yeah, I really like Less Than Jake. And she's like, that shit sucks. And then she sent me, um, I Won't See You Tonight Part 1 by Avenged Sevenfold and Vermilion Part 2 by Slipknot. And this must have been 2002, 2003. And that, yeah, completely changed my life. If it wasn't for that Canadian girl who I never talked to after that, I'm pretty sure. I probably would have never gotten into metal and then I would have 
have never started Family Jewels. If I didn't play Battlefield 1942 when I was like 11 years old, dude, Proto Men are sick. My first packs, I went to the jam space. And I was like, oh, I gotta go to the jam space. And I went in. The Proto Men were doing like a Q&A inside the jam space. And I had no idea who they were. And they were in like full makeup, full costume. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what's going on? I always pronounce it Eluvite, but I think it's something different. Because I know there's an official way of saying it. And I know I'm wrong by saying Eluvite. Eluvite. Eluvite? Is it like that? Eluvite? Eluvite. Eluvite. I'm still gonna fucking forget it. Eluvite. El fuck. <laughs> just talk like a Viking. Oh yeah, okay. Eluvite. I just speak like a pirate. Did you guys know that I used to be a pirate? <laughs> Did you work at Arby's? <laughs> oh, I hate you. I laughed at just like the joke of my existence. Shut up, Broken Dylan. Let them think I was a, a different pirate. The job that I had before I was a YouTuber. Yeah, I worked at Six Flags. And I was in the Wiggle Show. Legally, I have to say I helped out with the character Captain Feathersword. I would say that it's the best job I've ever had, ever. It was more fun than being a YouTuber. The Wiggles had a contract with Six Flags where they had a Wiggles world. Each park had their own like casting and stuff so that they can put on like a Wiggles show. So they, they hired people to play the characters. But again, it was absolutely the best job I ever had. Mostly because like I could just improv. Like they gave me a mic. They're just like, all right, just talk like a pirate and be Captain Feathersword and you can say whatever the, whatever you want. And I definitely got in trouble a few times. Definitely said some things that Captain Feathersword probably did not say or would not say. The most important thing is I had fun. <laughs> and I got paid to do it. How many times did you curse? I never cursed. I would never curse in front of kids. I just said suggestive things that could potentially be construed with the right context. <laughs> Captain Feathersword, I ate ass for charity. I wanted to like kind of, you know, play the Disney move where it's like, I want to make like little jokes that maybe only the adults will get. This one time I may or may not have over-sexualized the song Hot Potato. So the song goes, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, 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 potato. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti, you get the idea. So I decided, you know, maybe the adults are like feeling this is a little repetitive. So I just decided to give it some inserts, you know? Like, hot potato, hot potato, ooh, so hot. Hot potato, hot potato, I like them hot. Hot potato, hot potato, moaning sounds, potato. I don't really see what's wrong with that, personally, but my supervisor was a little, a little, a little mad at me. <laughs> hot potato, hot potato, smoky dick. Hot potato, hot potato, sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. There were like four or five other people who were helping with Captain Feathersword. We don't like to say that they played them because that doesn't make any sense because they're not Captain Feathersword. We liked to try our best to break the host. The host had to be like, you know, very articulate and good with the kids. Feathersword had a lot of improv. We liked to see how far we could take it and make the host laugh, but still keep the show within the confines of what was acceptable. Back when uh, Slender Man was a thing, I brought on one of our hosts onto my channel. Her name was Beth. Beth was one of the hosts for that show. Kevin was also in that stream and he was one of the techs. Yeah, Sue Rat, you were there. Yeah, she did the Black Mesa stream. Damn, you've been around for a long time. I appreciate you. This is a really good pace. Wait a minute. Did we get Owlis? <laughs> this run's going too good. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Child salad, yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Child salad. Like, I always just expected the worst from the park guests, and I was usually, like, wrong or, you know, I knew what to expect. Kids, shut up. We're going to fucking see the Wiggle Show. Fuck you. Look, you little shit. There's Captain Feather Sword. Go say hi. That's not gonna make it. Oh my god, how did that make it? Holy shit. Guys, for the first time today, we're green. I love how like literally every, all 300 people in my chat were just like, Jared, how are you doing today? Jared, I need to know. Jared, what the fuck are you doing right now? How are you doing? On a scale of one to 10, Jared! Jared's like, ah, I'm okay guys, thank you. Everybody in chat, can you guys at the 8-bit drummer and ask him how he's doing right now? It's only the nice thing to do. <laughs> I'm good! I have to focus on this star, but it is really funny watching like out of the corner of my eye, my chat just exploding. <laughs> Get the- get the child! Grasp the child, Mario! Firmly grasp it! I can't wait for the day when I can finally sleep knowing that I don't have to stream every day. See, like, I'm almost worried about this whole challenge because, like, by putting this much pressure on me, it's not helping me get it any faster because, like, I'll be close to it and then just, like, choke because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and then I'm just gonna choke because the pressure's gonna be too hard. That was a really good split, holy fuck. Yeah, I knew that would be gold, fuck. That felt gold. Okay. This is another tight split, so let's make sure we get it. I should just have all my splits be like random colors just for one run. Ooh, that's not good. 
I don't even know why that happened. I don't think it'll be that bad. I think we're okay. Oh, lag. Holy shit. My last PB with this route was three days ago, I think. My actual PB, which we weren't using this route, so now we're 49. I think it was probably over a year ago. I got disheartened because I got so close to sub one hour and I was just like, fuck. Am I going to use the same Mario screaming mix? I might. So the Russian national anthem gets uh, claimed if it gets uploaded to YouTube. So I do want to find a new one. And also, who the fuck owns the Soviet national anthem? Like, who's collecting on those royalties? <laughs> the ghost of Lenin collecting all the money for that. Ross Butin. <laughs> I hope Ross Butin. Ross Butin? Ross Putin? Oh my god, guys. Ross Putin? Coincidence? When I have like a run that's fucking incredible and I'm like killing it, I feel like then the pressure's fucking on. But when it's like all fucked up like this, I'm like, oh, whatever, this run's fucking stupid. And then like that's when I PB because I don't care. Who's fucking collecting the money on my videos where I have Mario screaming over the fucking na the Russian national anthem? Stop taking my fucking two cents from my Jules Conroy videos. Are you fucking kidding me, Mario? Are you gonna do that to me? Oh my god. That was actually bullshit, though. I'm not gonna sleep until you get sub one hour, my god. Like, this is kind of where I was at when we were doing 16 star, and I was trying to get the sub 20. All my runs were just fucking weird, and then suddenly I just destroyed it. I don't like this one. Best on the segments? I don't even want to know, honestly. Oh, god. That's why this is so heartbreaking. My best of segments is a 5639. Do you think this controller is better than the old one? I think it's different. I just feel like the stick feels kind of weird, you know, a little tingly. If the stream lasts more than four hours, I need to go to the doctor. I don't know how to do this trick anymore. I want to learn um, GoldenEye just for the fuck of it. I hate this game. For a brief second, I watched Mario's soul fly out of his body. Oh, there it was. There it goes. There it, there it, there it goes. Johnny Manchild put out a really funny tweet today where he was like, hey guys, you know, we're, we're trying to deal with the quarantine. We're all like trying to do some interesting things and creative things to try to keep the lights on. There's like the sound that goes off when somebody buys like a private cam session and like a porn stream. He's like, oh wait, sorry, hold on a second. And then it goes to like, the stream is now in private. <laughs> I... why? One more, and then I gotta stop. You watch all the Chuck Conroy videos on Pornhub? I feel like Chuck Conroy would be the last person to upload his stuff on Pornhub. I don't even know why I did that. I definitely hit A and it got E, and I don't know if that was from the slope or the controller. The whole A press is the half. Ha 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 ha! I think the say is better than me at BLJs for sure, but I think my movement is a lot tighter just because I play way more. But she's a way better um, button masher than I am. All right, that's it. I'm gonna look at my best segments and cry a little bit. <sighs> meatball, meatball, meatball. It's me, Ma Last night after the uh, after the stream, I finished all my recording and stuff, and then um, I went to lie down, and I fell asleep until 6 in the morning. I think I went to sleep at like 1 a.m., and I woke up at 6. I felt, like, rested. I was like, wow, what the fuck is this? What is the sleep schedule? I worked until 1 p.m., and then I was exhausted because my body was like, hey, remember that sleep that you had? Yeah, that was a nap. Go to bed. I fell asleep until 5. Can I get an oof in the chat for my sleep schedule? I like this shirt because it says, hey... I'm a gamer. What game would you highly recommend I get for the Switch? Uh, a little game called Cadence of Hyrule. <laughs> Do I still keep up with Casper? Yeah, we talk every once in a while. Just got a message from uh, his girlfriend, Kelsey, that we could exchange Animal Crossing worlds. She was like, what the fuck? You play Animal Crossing? Well, like, yeah, play Animal Crossing. Who doesn't play Animal Crossing? It's the worldwide global pandemic. Everyone's playing Animal Crossing. Chaotic Meeple, you're literally the only person in the world who doesn't play Animal Crossing. Sanity Broken, you're literally the only person who doesn't play Animal Crossing. Flying Ryan, you're also the only person. Beans, you're also the only person in the world. If you don't play Animal Crossing, you literally hate animals. I can't get behind that. I don't think anyone can get behind that. What if you're a marine biologist who just hasn't bought it yet? You're a marine biologist that hates animals. <laughs> what are you doing? Is there a plant version of PETA where they kill all the plants? PETA doesn't like animals. They're just like m making fucking horrendous memes on Twitter. Oh, whoa, what was that? Mario did like a dive dive, not a jump dive, a dive dive. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Favorite guitar that's on YouTube, Andy Speedrun, Beast of Mine. Thank you. I like the term jack of all trades, but I feel like jack of all trades implies master of none. And I don't think I'm a master at anything, but I like to think I'm more of a jack, you know? Outfit in Animal Crossing say, let's open up this pit. Dude, jack, you need, you need let's open this pit shirts. Sorry. I, I don't know if this is still the case, but there's two different kinds of opera. Opera seria, which is serious opera. Then there's comedy operas, which are called opera buffa, spelled buffa. It's the buff operas. Okay, that's actually never happened before. Good shit. This is what, what I, I would like to be getting consistently. Okay, bye Mario. Emo hair needs to come back. I'm working on it. I've gotten so many fucking like really mean comments about my hair before. I got one comment where somebody was just like, bro, if you got a haircut, I guarantee you, you'd have a million subscribers. <laughs> I've really tapered off the sides, which I think is like a late 2010s, early 2020s hairstyle. And people are still like, wow, why is your hair stuck in the fucking 2000s? Like, what, are you, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? At a certain point, I just gotta be like, fuck all of you guys. I like my hair how it is. Did you have red hair? Um, If you guys look at my uh, live video from Twitch 2015, it's on my main channel. I had red streaks in my hair. I also had it for um the Life is Brutal video I did with Lyle, Lyle McDouchebag. Well, Lyle Wrath, sorry. I always get mad at people who are like, why can't people remember that my name is Family Jewels and not Family Jewels 7X? And here I am still calling like Lyle, Lyle McDouchebag. Part of the removal of the 7X, I wanted to stop my name from looking like a um, Xbox Live gamer tag. A7X is the acronym for Vent Sevenfold and it was kind of a little homage to them. Then they came out with the fuck. No, 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 face that way. Stop it. Get in there. Get in there, you piece of shit. No, I did it again. Oh God. Oh, I saved it. Holy fuck. That was a really good save. Holy shit. <gasps> that. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, 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 my God. Stop fucking. Stop this shit. Man, the stick does feel a lot slippery than I'm used to. I've got this, like, um, shit you put on your hands for a guitar that Jack gave me. Dry and glide. Put some on my hands during one of these and see if it, see if it helps at all. Is that cheating? Is that, like, time traveling in Animal Crossing? Using anti-loop on my hands? Oh, now it's like all over my desk. Fuck. No, <laughs> get the star. <laughs> yeah, on Twitter, we're like, yo, my Mario runs have never been better. Dry and glad, baby. Did we save time? Yeah, we did. Good shit. Dry and glad, baby. It's called dry and glad. And then there's the quotes under it. it just says, dry and glad, baby. Family duel. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thought I was about to jump off. We're okay. Still red, but it's okay. A lot of time saving in Tall Tall Mountain. The fuck? Timer stopped. Did it continue going? As long as it continued going, I think it might have been. I think I hit like um, the Windows key or something. It didn't correct itself. Okay, we'll just retime it. What if we get like a 5906 or something? <laughs> Don't make fun of me. That monkey's making fun of me. See that? Ha <laughs> ha, idiot. How did you not see that invisible wall? Bite the pillow, girl. I'm going in dry and glad, baby. <laughs> Put that on a t shirt. Dry and glad, baby. Oh, I guess my shirt does say steroids if the A is covered. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could just tack on seven seconds. Just type in add seven seconds. No, come on. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I'm holding up. Okay, I don't I don't know what the fuck was going on there. That's not good. That actually might be the controller. He's supposed to like run up with full momentum and he just wasn't. Can't believe Adriana is an e-girl. Can I say that? <laughs> She's a girl on the internet. Is, is that what e-girl stands for? Electronic girl? Oh no! It's not bad because the game's bad. It's bad because I'm bad. Bounce on my boy's dick and then you fucking weak nutted. This stick is bad. I think this stick is bad. I know you guys probably can't tell, but there's some weird shit going on here. No, come on. I spammed A and he didn't fucking jump. I hate doing the star like this because it's, it's just so much more lame. Can we get there? And so <gasps> no. Oh. My jump was just eaten. Like I jumped and then it just like, he just didn't jump and then he fell. I'm sorry. I know we should have finished it, but I... Let's try a different controller and see if maybe things kind of fall more into place. Lava Land was a mess. Let's let's go practice Lava Land really quick. 10 shots of Fireball. I wish Amanda wouldn't give away my drinking habits, but come Bravo one year, I decided that I would do a drinking game where every minute above 
20 that I got on a 16 star run, I would have to do another shot of fireball. No, you're good, Amanda. It's not sensitive. I'm just like, damn, she's out here fucking. Remember that time you were an alcoholic because of Mario 64? Don't binge drink, everybody. 10 shots is not, not good. I didn't do 10 shots. I had like 10 sips. 10 very small sips. I am using a different controller. Let me try a different one. I don't know where the other controller I was using went. I'll try this one. Bye, Mario. <laughs> it doesn't feel so good. That's the meme, Tall Russian. They're dying and everyone's just dancing. All right. Ooh, this controller feels a little sticky. But ooh, oh God, ooh. Ooh, I like it. I like it sticky. Dry and glad, baby! Why does this controller feel so good? I'm worried. Where have you been all my life? Thank you so much for the- Oh my god, $60! Been watching you since the end of year one. Oh my god, thank you so much. You inspired me to make a career out of making music and I'm now finishing my first year as a high school band director. Talking. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's amazing. I really appreciate that. That's the best thing that I could ever I could ever ask of anybody, man. That was due today. Elder, did you finish it? What was the what was the essay on? I'll write it for you right now. It was about the international involvement of the Spanish Civil War. Now, all right, what's my thesis statement? In Spain, Spain being Spanish, there was some conflict, as there is in every civilization that has ever been a civilization. And in Spain, there was a conflict over whether or not they would be Spain or Spanish land. Cortez, the main villain of El Dorado, was like, bro, I want it to be called Spain. Other Spanish guy said, bro, that's stupid. We should call it Spaniard land or whatever the fuck I said earlier. Imagine if you will, Spanish land. In the year 1202, there was civil war and the Avengers were nowhere to be found because they didn't exist yet. They all got around. They decided, I know how we deal with this. And he pulled out his BC rich guitar. We have to have a jam the other guy said yeah and then he pulled out also his bc rich which everyone knows stands for buenos cicada richardos then they played a song that could be heard throughout the land of spanish land and that song was spanish flea and then they decided it wasn't worth all of the arguing the other guy was like let's just call it spain he was like okay and then the civil war was over the end. Submit that and let me know what, what you get. Jules, why aren't you a history teacher? I am. I just teach history. Therefore, I am a history teacher. Spain being Spain. <laughs> that was my thesis statement. Spain being Spain. This controller feels a lot better. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Recite the entire Bible. Once upon a time, there was a Bible. And in that Bible said, God and stuff. The end. How do I cite Family Jewels as a reference? Just put the word Family Jewels in your work cited. APA, dude, APA all the way, bro. Cite that for audible.com. I, I would love to do an audible.com book. How does one go about reading an audible.com thing? I, I'd want to read the Prima Strategy Guide to Mario 64. Just get sponsored by them. Oh yeah, that's easy. Bro, just get sponsored. <laughs> That's my favorite Mario game. You turn it on and it just goes, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> it's just black. I should just submit that. Just um I'm gonna submit that as a 12 second run. Corey, can you can you make me a beast N64? Just like an N64 that's like this big that just has like so many fucking upgrades. Oh no, Corey's thinking. Corey Corey's got his fucking gears going. Guys, I haven't modded anybody new in a while, and I think I know who I'm gonna mod. I'm gonna mod somebody new. There's been somebody who's been here for a very long time, and he's become one of my dear friends. I'm gonna use this intro to commemorate the modding of <laughs> ah! That actually fits because this person's very cursed. Contraction, if you're here, congratulations. You've been here for like a decade. You can now have mod. Just need six more years and you could be mod. Uh, don't hold your breath, chaotic meeple. Don't hold your breath for six years. <laughs> I would highly recommend not doing that. It's me, Ma! Back in the day when I was still doing Twitch, I was modding somebody new every year. It's not just about somebody who would be a good mod. So much more of it also has to do with uh, being in touch with my humor and what's too far and what isn't. Not only does Joey get my humor, I think Joey is better at my humor than I am. One of my my chaos mods, I, I modded LG34. What I liked about LG was he was absolutely at the dick edge of what I consider to be too far. Where I'm like, hmm, is that something LG would say or no? And if it isn't, then I would ban them. <laughs> the really shiny gold Family Jewel 7X one was, was done by LG. This A button sticks. Joy and glad, baby! This A button sticks. 
The stick is so nice on this controller, but the A button fucking sticks. What if I coat it in fucking dry and glide? I'm just gonna pour this fucking bottle of dry and glide right in there and just. Mmm. <laughs> Jack, can you don't? Bro, Jack, dry and glide, baby. You've created this beast. I'm gonna make a shirt that says, can you don't? I feel like that's already that already has to be a thing. I have too many ideas for shirts that just say words on it. I need like pictures. When <laughs> you wink at you and say, dry and glide. I like bite the pillow, I'm going in dry and glide. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna do the blue controller again. The stick is a little weird. We'll just keep that in mind. Try and glide, baby. <laughs> Fuck, no, I don't want it. <laughs> hey, Joey, what's up? That's why Joey is now my new mod. Get in there, you son of a bitch. What was wrong with the black controller? I don't remember what it was. So, gray one A button sticks. Blue one, the stick doesn't work right. Haha, <laughs> penis joke. I honestly, like, even though we have Wario laughing, I think Mario screaming would be a good one. Just like, <laughs> like out of nowhere would be really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ho ho! I am a god! Fuck you. Come on, dude. Banjo and Smash. Oh my god. See, that's a great one. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna make some memes really quick. Give me the butter. Yeah, I want give me the butter. This is my game of the year every year. I'm very hungry. Give me the french fries. This is the one that they, they like fuck it all up. I, I'd rather, yeah, give me the butter. Give me the butter. That's soda, no. you idiot. Give me the butter. You fucked it up. I need to just give me the butter and you threw fucking like Kodo Africa over it. The butter, please. Give me the butter. Thank you. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, that's that's fucking gold. Give me the butter. <laughs> Give me the butter. <laughs> oh god. Put some clean echo. Yeah, I agree. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Give me the butter. <laughs> All right, guys. That's that's pretty good. Let's do some more Mario runs, you think? You think so? You guys think so? You guys think some more Mario? Mario. Mario. First run. Give it up for the first run. Banjo and Smash! Oh, that one's loud. <laughs> I'm getting to the point where I, I'm starting to feel like I can I can try to start going for the faster start here. Pretty soon we should start practicing the um, the early cycle for that. Like now. Let's not add that to the run right now. Let's just keep going it. First run of the day! Yeah! Okay. <gasps> oh my god, are you serious? How more wrong could that have gone? That one has been so weird to me lately. That one probably won't work, but that one might. Nope. I don't get it. It used to be so consistent as long as I got the right foot lined up perfectly with it. His right foot would line up with that. So that would work every time. Don't tell me. Of course. Of course. Fuck you, Goomba. I hope this PB so that this is the PB that I murdered a Goomba with a box in the beginning. Can I ask you one of those would you rather questions? Why is everyone asking me if they can ask me questions? Just ask me questions. Can I ask you to ask you a question? I'd like to ask if I can ask you a question, if that's okay. Would you rather answer one question or no questions? I'd rather PB in Mario 64. I'm just gonna start being a dad and just be like, I don't care what the question is. I'm just saying no. Yes! Oh my god, I got it! I finally fucking did it! And then I fucked that up, but oh my god! I did the jump! I fucking did the jump! Ah! Why was that so hard? It was fucking blotchy and blumpy as fuck, and it worked. You jumped good. That Josh clip is gonna scare the shit out of me. Needs to hit as final Bowser gets hit. Dude, that would be so hype. I guarantee you it's gonna happen like while I'm trying to really focus, get my last throw in on Bowser, and it'll just be a banjo and smash, and it'll fuck up my throw. That's kind of weird. No, no, fucking! Ugh. Damn it! The second I made that jump, I knew I fucked up. Has anyone ever kicked a soccer ball in your balls? That happened to me once or twice. Have you ever had a fucking cleat to the balls? That's fun. It's never happened to me before, but I'm sure it's fun. I feel like the mistakes I've been making in these runs using this controller have all been my fault. Tell us your worst nut kick story. So we had this game at my my old middle school, high school. It's really weird because the school is really expensive, but they really fucking cut budgets. They had these really shitty like sticks with these like foam pads on them that looked like they probably cost like 50 cents each. Now, nah, I mean, maybe a little bit more than that. They were pretty robust, but we used them for a sport we called pillow polo, which was essentially a mix between soccer and hockey. Where there were two goals on each side and you used the pillow polo stick to hit the soccer ball into the goal. And the goal was very small. Some fucking random guy thought it'd be really funny to hit me in the nuts with one. And that's the story. 
I was on the ground for a good long time after that. So the other time I was hitting the balls was um, I was playing a show with Thunderforge with our, not our first drummer, but our second drummer. He was on the phone and I was waiting for him to get off the phone. And I'm like, yo, dude, we got to go. I didn't think he heard me. So I was like, yo, let me know when you're done with your phone call so we can go. And then uh, he just kicked me in the nuts for no reason. And it hurt like hell. Yeah, he was a nice guy. It seemed like that was just like something that was funny to him. And we always kind of felt like the, the humor didn't really line up. I'd have different creative differences with chewing ass. Me too. Tell us a random story. I'll tell you a random story. I promise I'm not making fun of you, Amanda. But one time we were playing VR chat. It was Adriana and me. And somebody came up to me and was like, hey, tell me a story. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. And he was like, how old are you? I'm like, 28. He's like, tell me you're 28 and you don't have any fucking crazy stories? And I'm like, I don't know, man. So, so then I was just like, uh, one time I uploaded a video of my doorbell and it got like 10 million views for like no fucking reason at all. He's like, damn, that's crazy. I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, are you just walking around asking people like for their crazy stories so you can fucking say, damn, that's crazy? Like I remember Adriana started telling him a story and he was, he was just like, damn, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. Sometimes it's hard to pick up on social cues, but if somebody says, damn, that's crazy three times, stop telling the story. Three damn, that's crazies, the story's over. If you've gotten to the point where you've said the same thing three times and you don't even remember the other two and you're just repeating yourself, yeah. It's not a very good story. How do you end up TRG and Adriana? Okay, so so I met Adriana at MAGFest. I think she was there with uh, Amanda Lee and I was there with um, Sebastian Wolf. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I like that. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Oh my God, who added that? Del, Del come on. <laughs> <laughs> Del. This is why nobody could ever be a better mod than Dell. My origin story with Adriana is one of my favorites. She walked up to me, this very small, five foot, little preppy girl. She goes, hi, I'm Adriana. I'm like, hi, I'm Jules. You know, for whatever reason, I was like, yeah, I've got a YouTube channel. I, I make uh, metal guitar covers of video game music. And she was like, oh yeah, I think I'm subscribed to you. And I looked, to, I looked at her and I'm like, no, you don't. My third sentence to Adriana was me calling her out for lying to me. She was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I do. I was like, there's no fucking way uh, this five foot preppy girl listens to heavy metal video game remixes on YouTube. I definitely judged the shit out of her. I can't believe I had that much fucking like confidence, you know, with somebody like to just be like, no, no, you're not. There's no way. I met Emil and Massey through Adriana because Adriana was friends with uh, them. And then I met TRG through them and the rest, as they say, is his story. I thought John said a few streams ago, he didn't get to really know you and Adrian till about Coliseum. We didn't really talk too much when we were doing throne controllers. It wasn't until Coliseum that we really started kind of talking. It was kind of, I think out of the blue for John, for me to be like, all right, John, I know you like video games. Try to guess these 50 songs. Kind of like, he was like, oh, okay. Random spiky guitar dude. How did that one not work? The villager Kyle is me in Animal Crossing. I'm not familiar with Kyle. Kyle is a wolf. So you're telling me I'm a furry? Sick. Furries are cool. Ooh. Oh, God damn it. You know what? I'm gonna play Mario every day. Every day, mom. Mom said it's my turn to play Mario every day. The runs have been, uh, so this is the first. What? What the fuck? Did you almost cheat? Okay, that's my coin. That's the one coin I can miss. <sighs> Today is weird. Today is a weird day. Everything feels weird. We are fucking drying and gliding. Mm, 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 mm. Dry glide. I don't even know if this is actually working. Biggest rage quit you had? I don't fucking know. Oh, one time um, back in the day when I was really cool, I used to stream Minecraft. I did this thing called vegetarian hardcore mode where I had to play Minecraft hardcore, but I couldn't eat any animals. Creeper blew me up during my third hardcore run. Turned the stream off and Cried. Don't give me three damn that's crazies. No, don't do it. No. This is literally like that part in the fucking VR chat stream where like the guy kept asking me to tell stories and then I would start telling a story and like immediately start saying, damn, that's crazy. I'm sure he was like trying to like fucking film people telling stories and wanted to be like one of those like VR chat YouTubers or whatever. Some people are great interviewers. Like there's that one channel we were watching that did VR chat and it was it was cool because he himself was like asking like really good questions and stuff like that. But like, yeah, if you just try to make your content by being like, dude tells wild story on VR chat with a big red arrow pointing at the story. I don't fucking know. This is how to be a YouTuber, everybody. The title has to be blank, but it's blank. There has to be a red arrow, a red circle in your thumbnail, probably boobs, preferably an anime girl face, but pretty much huge. You're an instant YouTuber. Congratulations. Maybe a yeah, it has to be like a 
but but it's it. <laughs> Jack, I'm gonna make that one of my Mario highlights videos. This is gonna be like, but, but it's it. The thumbnail is just gonna be a red arrow and a red circle, but nothing in it. A red circle with a red arrow around it. What about a red arrow pointing at a circle with a red arrow pointing at a circle? And it just keeps going, <laughs> like. Oh. That's what I get. No, that's what I get. That's what I get. What's up, guys? We're React channeling to Toxic Eternity. He doesn't really look that metal, uh, but you know, apparently he plays video game metal, and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at uh, at what he's got going on here. Be like, yo, you didn't play my song, you jerk. Oh, no. He's not playing these guys' songs. People are saying hi, Jules's chat. There isn't much of a pit going on. All I'm just seeing is a bunch of spam. It should be called a spam pit. If you're so metal, then why don't you name every song? There we go. That'll get him. I don't have to name every song. Ah, oh, shit, he read it. I mean, I don't know why. It was originally just called Man, but since I'm playing it, it's Metal Man. <laughs> That's how metal I am. He's a metal guitarist. He's a comedian. He's a streamer. He's got long hair. He's got apple buds. Personally, I got to give this guy a 7 out of 10. So I want to give a huge thanks to Family Jules. <laughs> he actually just messaged me and said, Yo, dude, I'm just gonna um, play your stream on my stream so that all of my fans become your fans. <laughs> so feel free to go for like another no. two hours. Or <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Corey, turn the internet off. Cut him off. Cut off the internet to that part of the house. You shouldn't have played me on your stream, Jules. What do you mean? No, I'm just gonna sit here and. Bro, I'm pay I'm paying you an exposure. Let's award today's chat pit champion oh shit who's it gonna be i hope it's me we're gonna give this one to family jewels family Zeno persona <laughs> turn this hey, shit off turn this fucking garbage off fucking god damn it i never get any rec recognition for all the hard work i put in it's me jewels you do a good job naming everyone your dad thank you if i'm good at anything i hope it's not guitar or mario 64 i hope it's naming dads somebody to love Sorry for the, the random queen. Somebody to love! Dry and glide, baby. We getting that dry and glide. Is that baby powder? It's like, um, it's the equivalent of like what like somebody would use for like lifting weights or something. This specific kind is specifically for instrument usage. That's why I'm using it. Dry pH balanced hands for an ultra smooth playing experience. Man powder, yeah. Baby powder, you got man powder. That's a man, fuck. So you're cheating. <laughs> I'm only cheating if I, I like, I keep the timer on until like it's the end of the game and then, then turn it on and be like, oh my God, how did we beat the game in four seconds? Sorry that there's green on the uh, splits. I'll get rid of that in a second. Sorry. Uh, uh, got it. I got a lot of stars. My name is Mario and I have some stars. Loving to be precise and I need 59 more so I can put my big Italian sausage in pizza. Innuendo? No, 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 no. That, like, Mario's a cook. He likes cooking various meats, and sausage is one of them. He prefers big sausage, and Peter's a really big fan of that, uh, recipe. Everyone knows Italians are typically good cooks. Is that racist? Is it racist to say Italians are good cooks? That was a good split! Sorry there's so much green on this. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get rid of it. I, I promise. Yeah, these splits are green with envy from how sick my tricks are. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I was half expecting to fail that because I was saying anything. Are you okay with people using your music? Yes, um, as long as you credit and link. Yeah, go for it. Remember, monetization's iffy because I don't own copyright to compositions. I've gotten flagged for, for people who like use my content and then they got compositional strike and then they're like, Jules, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, I didn't fucking write the music to Mega Man. Gotta get every coin cause I'm a re fuck. It wasn't his fault though. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Can I use your music in a fan game? That's where I'm really iffy on. I just, I have no idea because imagine using a video game song for a game that the game was not composed for by covered by the guy by a guy who didn't make the original song it just gets a really messy when you start using like fan covers and fan games can i have permission to use some <laughs> somebody to love mc god damn it i thought you were a queen fan um, and i'd hate to i don't know okay mario you like diddled the bunny for like a good solid minute there and then slipped right out day seven give it up for day seven let's just beast this out so we're not streaming Mario for the next fucking two years again. We've been doing this run for two years now, and we've been trying to get that sub one hour since then. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Yeah. You distracted me? Yeah. I can blame it on you. I don't like to blame it on chat, but like, if you guys open it up to it and just be like, oh hey, I'm really, really sorry. I'll be like, yeah, fuck you. No. How dare you distract me? What are you doing? What are you doing talking in my chat, guys? Come on. He was in an okay- oh. 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 Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry about that sound clip that's inevitably going to be used out of context. Can I use your pizza theme at my funeral in 2072? Absolutely. I saw a tweet that was really funny. It was just like, 
Things that are only fun when it's your turn. Mini golf, bowling, funerals. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't bowling, I can't remember what the other one was. Karaoke. It was karaoke, mini golf, funerals. <laughs> if you had to pick one of your covers played at your funeral, which one did you pick? Uh, Hyrule Castle at night. Or the Switch, the Switch shop theme. Basement theme, yeah, oh yeah, no, never mind. Basement theme. Imagine everybody like, mourning, and then you just hear, Mom. Uh, I've never done horse racing. I still need to do that one. That'd be a good one. I'll put the horse mask on Cory and just ride him around the house into like various people's rooms while going and just like Jack's trying to stream and I just like barge in. It's like, Jules, please. Yeah, Jack would probably just join in. He'd do the harmonies. I got bullied. Just ignore him, Mario. Just ignore him. He's just jealous. He wants what you have, Mario. You know, Peach's thick ass. Simp Squad reporting for, reporting to duty. Yes, hello, Simp Squad. This is Simp Commander. Uh. That's unfortunate. That's never happened to me before. A little sloppy, but it's okay. Oh god. Oh no 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 Mario Mario. Yeah. You bitch. All right, let's reset. Bitch, you it's that scares the shit out of me. I'm telling you, that one's gonna hit when I'm trying to get the last fucking Bowser throw and it's gonna fuck me up. And then it's gonna be all Josh's fault. Mario 64 is not a very good video game. And if you play this game, you're um, not very good at video game. How bad, it, dude, it makes me pretty bad. I've accepted my, my place in society as King Simp, King Degenerate. I am a simp for Princess Peach. That's what I want, TRG fan. I want, I want random Cadence of Hyrule as a bad gamer. How strong are you, IRL? What can you bench? Your mom. <laughs> Oh no, damn it. I was like so smooth and I got that moment where I was like, I'm gonna fucking nail this rollout and no, I didn't have enough ground for it. Should we say you suck at this game so you'll do better? No, because I don't wanna spread negativity in my chat. Cause I love sarcastic and like humor where, you know, I, I tell all my friends they suck, but what happens is like an audience will pick up on that and they'll try to like, emulate that kind of a humor and there's nothing wrong with that i think you definitely want to adapt to a certain community and then even toxic for all the best reasons and everyone's just kind of like making jabs at each other because you know that's what friends do what happens is you have those jabs coming from people that you don't necessarily like have that kind of trust with so then it just comes across like you have a bunch of assholes in your chat and then it, I, th I feel like it just unravels after a certain point sounds like mansplaining to me fuck you dark ages 009 I'll fucking come up there and I'll kick your ass. It's funny because he knows I can't. <laughs> Corey and I have a very specific set of boundaries, you know? They start and begin at the butthole. <laughs> what is with Jules and ass jokes after Coliseum? I don't know, man. These guys all have an anal fixation. John and Jules are the duality of men. Are we? Because John is boobs in your butt. Is John like a, like a tits guy? Has there actually been that question posed to, posed to John? Tits or ass? I think he's an ass guy. See, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, all the fan art could be boobs, but he's just a tit. <laughs> Pro tit, John? The middle tit. Coming this summer, Harry Potter and the middle tit. You won't believe where Voldemort is on Professor Quirrell now. <laughs> Professor Quirrell, what is that in your shirt? Oh, that is just my middle tit. <laughs> Do not ask. You're gonna get banned from life. I'm not gonna get banned from life. I'd like to think I have a few more years, maybe. I was always that edgy kid that was just like, man, you know, like Kurt Cobain and Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin, they all died at 27. I'm probably gonna die at 27 too, so. And I didn't, so now I'm like, all right, well, I'm probably gonna die at 103 now, so I guess I'm in it for the long run. Jules isn't 16? Well, mentally I'm 16. And now you feel old? Dude, how do you think I feel? I'm constantly fucking streaming on Twitch and I feel like everyone's like, man, I'm turning 19 tomorrow. I'm like, holy fuck. My AARP card, get, let's, <laughs> it's just a card that says you, you are adult. AARP stands for awesome adult role player. <laughs> Who here is saving money? I am because I like, I actually like finances. I'm that weirdo that I love doing my taxes. It's almost like a scrapbook. I like going through all of my, all of my purchases in a year and being like, oh yeah, that's when I went to PAX. And then I, you know, and then I remember it and it's, it's cool. I like it. Taxes stream. I don't want you guys to know about all the hentai I buy. God, what was it? I think it was the last time we did taxes. So I hand over um, my my tax sheet to my tax guy, shout out to Jose. And he's like, oh, what's what's this transaction? And I can't remember what it was, but I was just like, that's really weird. What is that? Cause it was like some Amazon purchase or something from like a, like a different seller or whatever. And I needed to figure out if it was a business expense or not. I realized it was a near Automata 2B titty mouse pad. And I decided, oh, that's a business expense. Yeah, just write that off. Don't worry about what it is. It's a business expense, definitely. It's a uh, research. I'm researching um, the plot of this game's character 
design. Yeah, moving on. I'd hate to be like that, that like on live stream fails is like, guy brags about the shit that he writes off on his tax. <laughs> like my tax guy was like, yeah, you could write off anytime you get a haircut. We're green, by the way, because it's your image. Like I'm showing my face in each one of my videos. It's important to my business that I look good. Give me the butter. It's waiting for that one. <laughs> oh my God, Steven. Ah, daddy, my dad. I always say that I'm like everybody's dad. If Steven's everybody's grandpa, then technically Steven's my dad. Am I Proton John's brother? I mean, yeah, I could be Proton John's brother. Are you sure you want to be my brother? Well, okay, John, what, what comes with being your brother? Big titties. <laughs> Mama! When did you decide to keep your hair in the early 2000s? In the uh, mid 2000s, I actually had long hair and I didn't have this hairstyle probably until like 2010. So it was actually kind of late. Are angels alive or, or dead? Be better question, are boos from Mario alive or fuck? The boos are dead? What were they before they were boos then? People? Boos were people? Where are these people? Okay, if we go with that, then there's been some kind of apocalypse here. There's a people, New Donk City, okay. So when people from New Donk City die, they become boos? But there were boos before there was New Donk City. Unless New Donk City was a thing, we just didn't see it in the original Super Mario Bros. I always assumed it was everything that died in the Mario universe. So you killed so many Goombas in Mario 1 that they came into existence in Mario 3. What about the Marios who died? Could those be boos as well? Actually, the fertilizer that grows one ups. Holy shit! That is genius. Okay, cool story, Mario. How did I meet Jack? I met Jack. Jack, how did we start talking? I feel like it was through that like Facebook group back in like 2011 or something. I remember I was thinking about doing video game covers and he had a cover of um, Gobi's Valley. And I was like, dude, I will never be as good as this guy. So I probably shouldn't even do it. If you're ever in doubt, just say ooh woo. That's a life hack for you guys. If you ever want somebody to like you, just say ooh woo at them a lot. And they'll be like, dude, let's be friends. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Hey, you want to be friends, ooh woo? Mario. Do you want to get a good run, Uwu? Grant's streaming on Twitch? Oh, oh, what if? Damn, I would love for Grant to stream on Twitch. Banjo-Kazooie 100% run. Dude, I would love to do a stream with Grant where I teach him how to speedrun Banjo-Kazooie. Bad speedrunner teach Grant, teaches Grant Kirkhope how to be good speedrunner. <laughs> Random, Cadence of Hyrule Guitar says, Uwu. That's the news I subscribe for. Ah, uh -huh, damn it. I want to I wanna just take a break. No, we have to do it. I want it. I want it too bad. Mr. Clean. Please, dude, I wish that was my name. I wish my, my online handle was Mr. Clean. You have to, yeah, I would have to go bald. I'm just going to change my Twitter name to Mr. Clean and then my logo, but it's just going to be bald. Any favorite Canadian food? What's what's Canadian other than poutine? Timbits? Timbits are good. Balls? Thanks, Jack. Jack's out here hating Canada. Well, I guess Timbits are kind of balls. Oh, God. Is that a gold split? Holy shit! What the fuck? I'm like looking at it, I'm like, what, what, why? I'm not seeing the timer like count down. I was like, is something wrong? I thought I like missed a star or something, but no, it was that fucking good. All this time save makes me like way less stressed about making mistakes later on, which just makes me play better, you know? Like if I have like all of this pressure to like, oh shit, like we fucked up, we gotta save time. It's just so much more pressure, you know? Oh my god, I'm not used to that. Holy fuck. Mario, calm down, you're going too fast. We'll get there. It's not a, it's not a speed run. <laughs> All right, this run is clean. <laughs> Mario go brr. No more butt, butt clenches until Cool Cool Mountain. So everybody unclench, unhinge. This is a make or break moment of the run. Here we go. We can get this, we've got to run. Okay, that's my one coin. I'm coming, Penguin! Here I come! I'm still gonna beat you! Still gonna beat you! Come back, rubber band! Rubber band to me, bitch! Damn it. Runs over. No. We can't do that split again. It's so long. You guys ready for some cursed, cursed content? That's me. How old was I here? 17? 16? <laughs> Wait, no, go back. No, that, that's that's what my hair was. You look like you worked at GameStop. Manly Jewels was brought up during Jules's street. Can I open this? Is this is this okay to open? Here we go. This is uh, <laughs> this is what we're working with. My fucking ratio is like perfect here. That's what I want. God, why are there so many of these? Why, <laughs> why is it me and John? Why are so many of these just John and me? <laughs> 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 it's just John's face on this one. It just gets me. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm Noctis. Oh, wait, I lost. I just realized it's John, John, me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I coming out of the ocean here and just being like, what up? <laughs>
There's a moment I like, I was in disbelief that I had just done it. Yeah, it was totally an accident where like, I, I was spraying this way. Usually like I would close my eyes and I was a little bit low. I also had to look at the camera and do the make a face. I was like, what what up? And then like, I just, I went like this trying to get the front or whatever. Is it, yeah, that is my same shirt from, oh my God. Yeah, you're right. That is the same shirt. Like literally a decade later. This shirt is was a decade old at the moment of this video. That's wild. I didn't even realize that. Ready? Oh. <laughs> and I'm in complete fucking disbelief. All right, that's it. You're not getting a rotation. No. <laughs> I think we got the one. <laughs> the date on the vlog. Yeah, that's May 1st. That was exactly one year ago. You guys should definitely go and uh, sub to Stephen's vlog, by the way. Sub one hour. We gotta get it. <laughs> sub John. We, we just went through uh, Proton Buru. Whew. I'll take it. I will take that. Gonna get that fucking Mario. I want that Mario. Yes, I do. Oh, oh come on. What the fuck? Uh, no. Really love just, you know, hitting that first run of the day. Hitting that first run of the day. Try a glad baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking Nick and sucking dick in real life. <laughs> Dry and glide powder. Don't breathe this. Yeah, I miss Will Blend. That's good shit. What? What the fuck? That fucking strut, though, you know? That's the Mario. Yeah, the angle makes this. Like, I, I just had the um, control stick pointing down when I turned on the uh, N64. Dude, I should take that. Make it like the uh, music makes me lose control. Music makes me lose control. Music makes me lose control. Let's go. And then he just like goes. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Guys, I'm cool. I know you're May Mays. Fucking love that Numa Numa. That's that good shit. Da what's Dancing Baby? Oh, dude, Jimmy Neutron Happy Family Hour. Dude, I love this one. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, you. I am going to make a delicious dinner meal. <laughs> Can I get a large pizza pie for the Nutrin household? <laughs> the pizza is aggressive. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Just another day in the life of Jimmy Nutrin. <laughs> Just another day in the life of Jimmy Nutrin. Is this it? First internet, this one? All right, yeah, I dig that. Hold on, let me, um... Perform it for you if you know the words you can join in too. Thank you all for joining me for meme time. All right, let's get back to the runs. <laughs> we don't ever reset here. We only rename runs as practice runs and then do our first run of the day. Nope. I want to get a good run. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. One more because it's 12, 13 in the morning. I really want to be better at Mario right now, but I just, I can't do it right now. One more. One more. That was the last practice. That one didn't count. Are you uploading, Corey? You downloading porn? Sick. Do people like torrent porn still? Or is it just pretty much like 100% Pornhub? Oh, so close. I almost had that, but still a good split. Fuck yeah. First run of the night and it's green. Good shit. Can you imagine watching porn before it's phones? I'm walking around with a literal porn machine at all times of the day. Carrier pigeon porn? Is it just porn of the pigeon? Yeah, I guess there is how to put boyfriend. I forgot about it. I forgot that exists. I remember when that was like that dominated Twitch. Like everybody was like, what'd you get? And how to put boyfriend? Who's your husband? Who's your bird husband? Everyone shut up. Here we go. We can miss one coin. I hit a, I absolutely hit a. Ah. Should I buy? You should buy a nice, really high quality bad dragon to sit on. Don't Google that. It's me. Ma I want to make a straw poll to see like how you guys found me. One second. I feel like it's doorbells. VGM, speedruns, TRG Coliseum, or Crypt. I've had a lot of people say like, hey, I found you through Crypt or Cadence. Another ball pit stream. I'd love to do another ball pit stream. Next time I'm over at Random Encounters, I will do another ball pit stream.
Maybe. If they let me. Adrian's boyfriend says you speedrun Mario 64. He sounds like a bitch. I'll beat him up. How is Masay at speedrunning? She is a natural at a lot of the, the tech. BLJs and uh, MIPS clips, for some reason, she's just ridiculously good at. If she were to practice more, she would become a very good speedrunner. That kind of goes for anybody, right? Because again, she's really good. <gasps> oh, that was unfortunate. That was supposed to be a ground pound. But luckily, we had a really good split, so I'm not going to reset. That was... Uh... Hi, guys. I'm sorry you had to see that. Good timing on the raid. So that would have been a really insane Womps Fortress split, but then um, I forgot how to Mario. A little bit slow, but that's okay. No. I can't. I can't do it. I just can't. First reset? No, 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 that was a practice run. So now we're doing the first run of the day. That's how it works here. Do I, dude, dry and glide. Fuck. That's what's going on. We got to dry and glide, baby. Dry and glide, baby. Let's do it. All right, dry and glide. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much a god gamer. You know, I don't know why everyone thinks that this game is uh, hard, because it's pretty easy. As long as you got that dry and glide, baby. And dry and glide, baby. <laughs> dry and glide, baby. That's the worst of the song. That's what Miyamoto wrote when he wrote this music. When am I going to cover Dry and Glide by Miyamoto? I want, I want to get sponsored first. I want to be sponsored by both Miyamoto and Dry and Glide. I'm pretty much serious 0% of the time during my stream, so take anything I say with a grain of salt. Let's open up this pit. Dude, if when I get a sub one hour and Jack doesn't break down the door and start screaming, let's open up this pit, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be I'm gonna be sad, Jules, again. Okay, and then I'm going to go around. Hell yeah, that's it. I did it. That's awesome. And we're gonna be green. Dude, I really wanna get that every time. That's one of the tricks that like got me into wanting to speedrun this because that looked so cool. Somebody in the chat helped me get it. It's all about the first few jumps that set you up for it. And then uh, making sure that you long jump if you miss it, which we did there. So we didn't do it the fastest possible way, but we did get the jump up onto the, uh, the platform. So I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. I had to press the button with my calf because I was drinking coffee. I've always had really meaty calves. I think it's because like I was really fat in middle school. Or I was talking to my mom about it. I was like, mom, why do I have such thick calves? God damn it, Mario, stop playing Tony Hawk. And she was like, I don't know. Like you had those since you were born. She was like, you came out of the womb with just like these fucking ripped calves. Like, uh oh, okay, sick. There we go. We love to see it. Yeah, I was a thick ass baby. Actually, I don't think I was that thick. I was a really skinny child. And then once I discovered mac and cheese, I became a not skinny child. Did you put ketchup on it? No, I didn't put ketchup on it. Jesus Christ. Adriana hits you. What the fuck, Caleb? Caleb, I love you. I can't wait for this quarantine to end so I can touch your face again. The penguin's in my face. I am eating a penguin's ass. We got it. That's why I, I kind of like, oh Jesus, my momentum. What would make you the most disappointed in your future children? Nothing. I would always be proud of what my child, child does as long as they don't hurt anybody. What if they time travel? Then I would uh, disown them. If they time travel in Animal Crossing, uh, Time to get a new daddy. I don't know what to tell you. Travel hatred tweet a command. It's a it's an untilt because I find it really funny that somebody would get so mad over time traveling. So the purpose of the untilt in my in my chat, when I start actually getting angry, my chat posts something that makes me laugh, which kind of brings me back to it, it brings me back to earth. When I read through the entire tweet, it, you can't help but laugh. If somebody gets that angry over time traveling in a fucking video game about animals and vibing. No, that was so close. But that was way better than all of the attempts we've had this week. So we're, yeah, we're getting better at it. <gasps> Mario, that is a no-no. We lost a little time, but we're still green. <gasps> That's fine. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oof. Yeah, that was too soon. All right, save it. Hell yes. I'm proud of myself. You know what, chat? I'm proud of you too. I don't know what you did today, but you did something that's worth being proud of. So I just want you to know. In the case that nobody's proud of what you did today, I'm proud of you. I think you did a great job. I'm proud of you, little viper. <laughs> Dave, you have no idea how, how happy it makes me to hear someone call me little viper. No problem, son. Are you big viper? <laughs> Finish the final today. Thanks for being proud. Congratulations, Dark Claw. I'm very proud of you. With all this quarantine shit, it's hard, it's hard getting up, you know? It's hard getting out of bed. I know there's a lot of psychologists that were on this, um, this trend of make your bed. Just try it. Every day making your bed. And the psychological reasoning behind it, you start your day on a win. And even though it's a small win, that's enough to get your brain the dopamine hit it needs to kind of get started on a good foot. And you know, that, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a good day, but it's going to be more likely to be a good day. You're starting on a good momentum rather than just like rolling out of bed and just like get everything done. You know what I mean? Just take some time, make your bed. It's hard for me because uh, my girlfriend is literally a small gremlin, steals all the 
blanket anyway, so. I mean, what? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just kind of blacked out for a second there. Because I usually don't. Gold? Gold! Holy shit, was it that good? Mario. Mario jump man Mario. Bonker of walls. Jumper of man of men. <laughs> man of jump. They call him a hero, yet if he was a D&D character, his dexterity score would be like eight. <laughs> Please fucking work. <laughs> no, there he goes. Mario is dead. Goodbye. That was almost very bad. Please. Wow, what a bro. He was nice to me. I almost failed the trick after that. We still save time. Pro. That was pro. That was a gold. That was like gold by f like an ins What? How was that? That was good. That we missed gold by like a fraction of a second. Yeah, I should have hit the split key faster. We could have saved time by me hitting the split. Did Jules ever let J Jack? I always let Jack open up the pit. That whole bumper was a joke. When Jack opens the pit, I am the first one in. Jack and I went with Lyle and Monica and Ballbots to go see Death Clock live when they came around to LA. Thunder Horse started. And I'm, you know, I'm a 28 year old man. I'm not active as I used to be. I had this moment of like, if this is the last Death Clock concert of all time and I don't mosh to Thunder Horse, I will always regret this. You better believe I dove into the pit. I think Jack's got a picture of like a stray Discord hoodie flying around a, a mosh pit. What's up, Jack? All right, not a great split, but we did save time. This does have the potential of um, being a sub one hour. It does hinge on these the last two hardest levels in the game being essentially perfect. If we're on a really good pace, I'm going to be really nervous going into Bowser, and I want to give myself enough leeway to be able to uh, make mistakes. Don't be a dick, Lock 2. I know, this this hinges on Lock 2, man. Nope. <sighs> Fuck. This is what happens, and I just kind of like forget how to play the game. <laughs> We're okay, even if we failed a few times. Oh my god. Yeah, I've actually forgotten how to play this. Ooh. Damn it, I hit it too early again. Oh. <sighs> god damn it, dude. I do feel like this the A button on this controller is a little, a little weak. Ah, uh, that's too bad. I think it's abort mission at this point, aside from practice. No, we're good. We're gonna keep going. Ooh. Oh, what a f- Oh my god! I'm gonna tell you what that was. That was some grade A comedy. It, you can't help but laugh at that. How the fuck did that even happen? <laughs> the game was like, fuck you. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't actually kill you. Here you go. That would be mean. That would just be- that would just be rude. Hell yeah, good shit. Owie. Oh, daddy. Oh, hell yeah, love to see that. Garbage. That was fucking cool. See, I do that shit too much where like, I'm like, all right, I see like a moment where I could look really cool by doing some like crazy jump or whatever. And then sometimes I just go for it and it doesn't pan out. <laughs> Like there was that that one um, Dark World split that like I tried to do that rollout, which would have looked really cool, and I thought I could do it. Oh no! Damn it! Then I did it, and I was like, man, what was the point? Who am I trying to impress here? Yeah, I'm trying to impress myself. I think that's probably what it is. I hate to uh, make this a toxic relationship, guys, but I do use you. Chat is a tool, is a is a speed run tool for me. It keeps me from hyper focusing, which is a problem I have. And when I hy hyper focus, I make mistakes like. Missing that star. We're gonna get this first try and we're gonna pull this green. Just kidding. We're gonna get it second try and we're gonna pull this green. Very tight TikTok, all things considered. There is a chance for a PB, but this would have to be a gold split. Which it's not looking like it right now. Yeah, I don't think we can PB, but we can definitely have a good run. This was a good, very good run. Yeah, considering it was my uh, my first run of the day, it was pretty good. So that's a sub 102. That's in the range we want to be. How did you you meet dad, daddy? Yeah, we definitely need a practice lock to bounce. That's the first thing we're gonna hit. Yeah, I keep, okay, I wanna, I wanna try something. I might, I might retire this controller because the A button's not working very well. Okay, I think I'm just doing it wrong. I like this controller though, this, this controller feels good. So the trick here is I have to get this so, so tight that I'm essentially in that same spot every time when I make this jump. And then here, there it is. <laughs> I still failed it. It's pretty much just gotta be like, we go here and then here we go, time to go. Come on, Lakitu. And then I, it needs to be a bigger jump. We don't wanna touch the pole because it's glitchy. See, that's what happens if you if you hit the pole too early, and then it's really hard to get back onto it. 
There we go. That was cool. I wish I could get a replay on that. That's it. I have to be pushing up and Loctu has to follow me because that gives me the angle I need. As long as we get this within like three tries, like we'll still save time in the split. But it's that fourth one, you know what I mean? Like if we fuck it up on that fourth one, it's all over. Oh yeah! Terrible setup, but we made it work. I'm a master at it. I'll never get it wrong now because <laughs> I got it twice in a row. Three times in a row. Three times in a row. Three times in a row. <laughs> okay, that's, that one doesn't count. Almost four times in a row. Almost four times in a row. The hang time on the second jump helps. Yeah, definitely. It, it's tough to like get that though because we don't want to jump too too high. Otherwise, lock two fucks off. Yeah, okay. If I can nail that double A press, we'll make it work. Uh, come on, dude. Get it, get it, get it, get it. What the fuck? I'm itching Mario's head. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. I, I feel a lot better about it, and we do have three chances at it. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. Come on, friends. It's time to die. You too, you too. You're dying too. Get out, get out. Get out! Get in the pool! Dude, I got I got the perfect song for this. I'm pretty sure this is all improv too. So this is Mark Rubier and he uses a loop pedal. Sounds like the 8-bit drummer. <laughs> I can kind of see it. He looks like Jackson Perotti. Front sub is hard to practice because Dire Dire Dox is split into two levels. I think 35, what's 35? 35, we've already done Dire Dire Dox. Okay, I'm do a quick, uh, quick 16 star run. Why can't you do it on that file? The sub disappears on every star after you've gotten rid of it. It seems like 50% of you guys found me through VGM covers. 38% is TRG and then everything else is the other stuff. How did I meet Family Jewels? Tinder. Family Jewels 7X. Yeah, he was from FarmersOnly.com. I wish they would make a like a dating app for people who speedrun Mario. BLJsOnly.com. I don't know. Christian Single Mingle. Yeah, that's where I met YouTube sensation Family Jewels 7X. And then I murdered him. I hate that I have to go through all this shit if I want to just practice front sub. <laughs> I would love to get that just like that. Like, that's a 15 second star if I do it like that. 15 second star! Why don't you do that in a real run, Bowser? All right, let's practice some sub. No, okay, so that was too far. I, I, w I went in the water, but that one might have worked. You line Mario's head up with that light, and then once Bowser's gone, one, two, th you do three, and then you do it. But I haven't been able to get it, because, like, the first one's like a brunch. All right, that's front sub. That's the first one. Three. Okay. All right, what am I doing differently? What was I doing before, and now what am I doing that makes that work? One, two. Yeah, so, like, if I'm- if the rhythm's right, it all kind of hinges on when Bowser's face goes away. If Bowser's face gets out of the frame at the right point and Mario's swimming, then I can do the trick right. I think I'm good. Let's do some runs. <laughs> <laughs> Funk emergency! Suck a dick! It's time to fucking suck a dick! Time to suck a dick! <laughs> what the fuck is he watching? Just hear it sucking a dick! It's me! Ma! Okie dokie. He makes his. <coughs> <laughs> this is how I die. Not with a bang, but with the- <laughs> You need a lime for your- <laughs> That's actually a good line. I like that. Somebody's coughing just like, you need a lime with that- <laughs> That's really funny. Also really fucked up. That was the worst owl I've ever had. That was the worst owl I've ever had. Sounds like I ate the owl. That- That is it. God, just get it. Just get it. Just get it. Did you hear they did surgery on a grape? Mario 64 is a really cool game. Fuck, I'm feeling progress. Even though that's a red split. Don't look at the red split. I'm feeling progress. I do censor, no, I don't I don't censor in chat. Um, it's mostly a YouTube thing. So YouTube does this thing where it does have a ability to scan to see if you say the word. I think for the newest one, we, we started adding, instead of bleeping it out, we have me say the last half of macaroni. When I say I actually say caroni. Cause like the thing that they're trying to stop is people from spreading misinformation misinformation about 
Um, what am I drinking? I'm drinking coffee. Don't judge me. It's 11 p.m. I know. Slyvana, thank you so much. Welcome to the Jam League. Appreciate that. Give me the butter. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I've baked some butter. Butter. And <laughs> Which pasta do you think he likes the most? I think Mario's a fake, fake Italian food lover. He doesn't even like pasta. He eats chef. Yeah, Mario definitely eats Chef Boyardee. Would you eat Chef's ass? I don't see why not. Would you let an ass eat you? I don't see why not. In some ways, I'm like a god at speedrunning, and in 90% of it, I'm just so fucking slow. Like, every once in a while, I do something where I'm like, fuck, I'm so good, and it feels amazing, but then, like, then I do shit like that, and I'm like, is speedrunning really for me? <laughs> like, I'll make one mistake and just be like, ooh, want the gold split back, dude. That was such a hype, gold womps. That, like, made my night yesterday. Is that a gold split? Holy shit! What the fuck? Like, yesterday, I feel like it was so shit with runs, and, but that... That fucking split, just like, we can do it! <laughs> I was like, I was like, I feel it! Yo, what if they made an N64 controller for the Switch? I would be the only person to buy it. <laughs> but there's like no way it would still feel good. You know, like it wouldn't feel like an N64 or a CRT. I, I, I'm pretty convinced. I hate the GameCube controller and I like the N64 controller. Oh! How? Whatever happened to like the N64 uh, like mini that, that was like rumored, did it just like not happen? Cause it seemed like there was a, like a patent taken out for it. Who knows, maybe they took that out so that nobody else would make it. And it'd just be such a dick punch to me. I, I mean, and everybody in my generation who like grew up with the N64 that they made a mini for the NES and then the SNES and then stopped. <laughs> like right there. It's like, come on, come on. Yeah, I remember all those bootlegs and like fucking like Target of like when the Wii came out and there was all these like amazing game <laughs> Clearly a ripoff of like the the Wemo and then like you plug it directly in the TV and it's a bunch of just shitty fucking games I want to learn to run on a shitty like target console Do these runs the idea is that they do become muscle memory and I'm sure a good percentage of it is Because I don't really think nearly as much as I used to the idea is I'd love them to be muscle memory so that I could just Oh Jesus just hang out and vibe with you guys in chat. You can definitely make a run of that. <laughs> oh my god. Who is it? <laughs> Rue. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rue. I really appreciate it. Mario go burr. Good shit. Looks like we gotta run. Just win. I'm doing my best, dad. I'm gonna make you proud, dad. Are you winning, son? Yeah. Are you guys ready for the unbirthing? Here he comes, mama. Spread him. <laughs> That's gross. That's gross. Don't laugh at that. Do not laugh. Yeah, everybody, welcome to BBW. It's big booze want. Everybody always asks about the Han, but never what he wants. And I think it's important that we express that gratitude to our boy. What happens behind that roof, Jules? Is Boo giving you a blowjob? Yes. Yes. Sorry. A ghost job. Exactly. Dripping wet with ectoplasm. Can we please move on from this subject? <laughs> That's where I draw the line. Sorry, girl, I forgot the lube, but I got some ectoplasm. <laughs> <laughs> ah! The game isn't real, just like life. The game is a simulation. If life is a simulation, does that make us Sims? No, because then we're, we'd be all owned by EA. And is that is that what you guys want? <laughs> that was not smart. That was just not smart. Get in the pool. Get in the pool. Get in the pool. Fuck. I love casual gaming. Welcome to the casual gaming stream, where we really love climbing volcanoes exactly the way it was intended. We love playing Animal Crossing exactly the way it was intended, with no time traveling. EA Games, it's in your ass. Casual jewels, casual jewels. Welcome to the casual jewels. That's me. Yeah, we lost a lot. We lost 15 seconds there. I need your front sub energy chat. They all want it. They all want it. They're dropping bits for you, Mario. This is the one. Yay! He did it! We did it, everybody! We got it! We got front sub! Front up! Front up! Thank you guys. It was all because of you guys. That is what we call a split. We are 15 seconds green. Not a gold. Give me the butter. Mario, just give him the butter. We know you're not going to use it. We know you're on a diet. This is the split to do it, Mario. We just got to see that butter. Let's see that butter, Mario. Butter, Mario. Oh! We did it. If you want to be a true gamer, make sure that you eat butter every day. Be sure to wash it down with a Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Mountain Dew Baja Butter. Coming soon. Taco butter. Sugared butter. Dipped in Nutella. Only at Taco Bell. Where do you think you're going, you big red bitch? I think that's the run. 
<laughs> I think that just killed it. I don't think we can ever come back from that, man. Mario, the least you can do is just acknowledge that you're being a bitch and stop. This is so sad. This is so sad. Well, let's see it. I think it's like... 30 seconds? No, a little bit more. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It's like 40 seconds red. I know it's like 40 seconds red, but... We'll be fine. We can still do it. We've come back from worse. So what if we lost a minute? Yeah, we'll just vibe it out. We'll just bonk around. Typically, I play I play a lot better when I'm red, you know, because like I'm just like, all right, well, whatever. And then when I'm green, I'm like, oh, we gotta, we gotta keep this momentum. No, I think I play worse when I'm red because... I'm just like defeated. You never know, miracles can happen. I believe in miracles. The term Blumpy originated because I made some joke about Blumpkins and nobody knew what it was. I think I wanted to say that was Lumpy and then I said that was Blumpy accidentally and then nobody knew what a Blumpkin was so I had to explain it to them which was very awkward. A Blumpkin is the act of getting a blowjob whilst taking a shit. If you are getting that, you are receiving a Blumpkin but then it just kind of stuck. And then we started hashtag no more Blumpy runs. They call my one friend Blumpkin. <laughs> Why? How many Family Jewels fans do you think have given Blumpkins? If we're looking at just subscriber base alone, we're looking at, you know, close to 400,000. There's a high chance that somebody has given a Blumpkin. What's the Blump, Blump probability? Blump ability, so to speak. Amanda says 50%. <laughs> 200,000 of my fans are also fans of the Blump. How many have given a Blumpkin while listening to Family Jewels covers? I want to know specifically what the cover is. I feel like that'd be a more interesting question. Okay. Really? Thank you. I'm drunk and you're beautiful. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're beautiful as well. It's the first one we fucked up. My movement was really lazy there, so. Wee! Uh oh. My consistent strat for getting that just failed twice in a row. That is weird. I mean, we'll still save like a fuck ton of time here. Because apparently the split in the PB was god awful. There we go. Hello, monkey. Everybody say hi to the monkey. We're not gonna see him again. What's the worst thing on the internet? Family jewels. Alright. Green. That was perfect. Getting so much better at that. What is Jules' spirit animal? Otters. I love otters. <laughs> Petrucci. John Petrucci's my spirit animal. Mips is not my spirit animal. That was an insane split. Yeah, that, I thought so. I thought that would be gold. All right, we got a gold coming out of snowman. I, I know I don't really say it, and I kind of, I'm all stoic and proud or whatever, but like, I do really appreciate it when you guys are like hype. When I do good shit. Makes me feel good. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch, Mips. Mips is a son of a bitch. We want to be two minutes green coming out of Hazy Maze. Yeah, that wasn't gonna make it. No, 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 no. Oh my god, thank you so much, Mario. I thought he was just gonna slide in the hole. Rainbow uh, Road is before TikTok. I don't know. It doesn't really matter the order, but I like getting Rainbow Ride out of the out of the way because it's got that fucked up jump in the beginning. I can't wait to get to that and then everything to fall to pieces because we practiced it. No, 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 please, please. Why, Mario? Uh, this is where we save time, Mario. Please stop. Please stop! All of this fucked up, stupid, goddamn bullshit. There we go. All right, we're not in too bad shape, but these next two splits need to kill it. I don't think we can sub one hour, but we can PB here. Give me the butt. This is where dreams are made or broken. Thank you so much, Draco! I almost fucked up that jump because of that. There's something in my fucking eye there. We're in there. We bounced on my boy's dick. My boy's dick has been bounced on. <gasps> oh shit. I think we're still gonna lose, lose a little time, but I think we'll be okay. I'd rather not sound like I'm watching porn than leave. This is porn to me. If in porn, it just sounds like the guy's like, I wanna bounce on Lockitu's dick. Probably not a very good porn. We're green coming out of rainbow. We're just gonna have the cleanest TikTok clock of all time. No mistakes, no crazy strats, super tight. Super clean movement. Extra coin. We're gonna be safe. No deaths. Fuck. I did want that, but it didn't work. So we'll just back it up with this. Please. There we go. <gasps> please, Mario, please. Can you please give me a break just this once? Just this once. Please. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh, oh god. Me! <laughs> 
this. No, oh, fucking God, Mario. Can you please stop it? For the love of God, I'm not fucking around anymore. I want to get out of here alive and no deaths. Fucking blump God, Mario. Let's go, dude. <sighs> we believe at you. Thank you. I like that. I want to I want a shirt that says we believe at you. Good shit, man. Good shit. We do love to see that. Dude, what a fucking star. That was great. Try again, Mario. Try again, Mario. It's okay, Rock. You go when you're ready. Don't die. There goes the gold split. Okay. No, it's not it. Still green. It's not over until I say it's over. We got that bonk. The bonks happen. Sometimes the bonks happen. That's life. I want that as a bumper sticker. Just too much pressure, man. Ugh, come on! Ugh, I can't do it. Fuck! Ugh. Sorry. I'm sorry. That was that was hard. Um, yeah, I just I just felt like uh, the Bowser throws just didn't happen for pretty much no reason. I just kept thinking about how like if we're on that pace and then we lose it because of Bowser throws because I'm just too nervous. Those last Bowser throws are just are just so insane. You time traveling Animal Crossing just unfollow me now. You're a fuck up who doesn't play the game right. And quite frankly, I don't think you deserve experiencing the game at all. What the fuck are you dipshits racing to say? Ooh, I bought 8,000 turnips and now I have 10 million plus bells. Great. What game is there left, you fuck up cunt? You don't have to work for anything anymore. There's no reason to catch anything or plant harvest trees. Congrats. That's how rich people do. It's 12:16. We should probably move on to the next time. No, we're getting better, man. We're getting better. 56:24 is best segments. Oh my god, Carl Sagan, thank you so much for the 10. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh my god, Broken Dylan, thank you so much. For the five subs, holy shit. I'm not discouraged. I, I just need to not be discouraged. Dude, Unstable dreams, holy shit. Guys, thank you so much. Efun, oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, for the yeah. five- Cookie Nama, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that, guys. One more run. Let's do it. Banjo and smash! Benjo and Smash! Uh, that was gonna be my last run, but I can't. Not after, not after all that, man. <laughs> that Goomba got destroyed, dude. We're on a fucking hell path. It's me, Mom! Benjo and Smash! I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> it's time to go from five foot twelve to six foot. Let's do it, everybody. We can fucking dick kick him. So we did that Goomba. We fucking dick kicked him. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad I, I never ended up going down the Tinder rabbit hole. There was a hot minute I thought about it. Once I moved to San Diego, I was like, hey, you know. Before I was able to finally make the make the move and download it, I started dating Adriana, and I was like, all right, well, I want to make a tweet that it's it's the picture of um the meme guy from Wii Sports that is just like insanely good. Matt, he catches the ball and it just says single. <laughs> I want to be like when I accidentally call Adriana the wrong name, a different girl's name. Single. <laughs> Fucking Matt. Here we go. Oh my god, all the donations. Thank you guys so much. Oh my god, great AJ Poo. Thank you so much for the $100. Holy Sub 13 fuck. second prince this slide, so here's your $100. Here's <laughs> the first run of the night. 12-9, everyone donate $100. Quick, everyone do it. Everyone donate. Everyone donate 100 bucks. Quick, everybody needs to do it. Quick, do it. Get your... Ah, too late. I think that's the first time somebody's done that. Holy shit. Thank you so much for the 100. I'm always joking, guys. I hope you know I joke. I'm not, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not a joke. Give me your money. Hell yeah. Now that, that was a sick 50-50 grind. Oof. Did you know Mario was the first person to ever say oof? Why won't you ever dance for me, Bowser? I miss when you used to dance for me. All right, one second red. We can we can work with that for sure. I think the magic is in Mario's asshole, where the coins go up it and then the star comes out. Mario's like one of those fucking, you know, the coin machines that you have to turn the, you grind the gear and it gives you the penny that fucking looks like the Statue of Liberty or whatever. That's my canon, at least. That's true, Wiggly. I never thought of that. How are those legal? You never know how much of the economy has been fucked up by coin pressing machines. Yeah, pennies don't exist in Canada anymore. I feel like that's better. Is it a run? Let's see it. This is the magic eight ball of the run where we ask every time, hello, magic Mario ball. Is this a run? Yeah, D Dapper, let me know what your magic eight ball says. As I see it, yes. Well, hell yeah. I think it's right. Looks like we have a run. 
Oh no. Oh, I've been getting better at saving that, but definitely need to not be doing that jump if I have a, not a perfect angle. It's not worth doing that jump just to fucking lose the run after having a potentially good run. <laughs> Taibo for my sphincter. I want that to be my fucking header for this stream. Mario teaches Taibo for your sphincter. I have a good sand land. Oh, oh no, are you serious? I was literally about to say... How about instead of having a bunch of blumpy ass fucking runs, we have a good fucking sand land. Uh, climb, climb you bitch. <gasps> no, 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 thank you. What a blumpy sand land, what a blumpy sand land. We need to climb the pillar and just go up it normally and, ugh, he wasn't there. Shy guy said, nope. <laughs> That bully fight was an anime fight scene. It had the entire, like, plot graph of fucking suspense. Nice bully. Fuck. Fuck. The walk of shame. Oh, God. Please. There we go. All right, we hate to see it. But we did save a little bit of time, technically. Fuck. All right, boys and girls. It is that time for the front sub. Let's get that fucking front sub. Come on, Mario. Mario wants to see it. It's all up to Mario here. I have no control. I'm letting Mario take the wheel. <laughs> so sad. So very sad. We must have not gotten... Front sub. Even if we were plateauing, I, I, I would admit if I felt like I was plateauing, but man, with all the gold splits we've been getting, it's gonna hit and it's gonna be fucking amazing. Mario has bussy. He's got a bussy. I don't mean that like derogatory either. Like I wish I did. I wish I had one. Mario bussy man Mario. I uh, thought <laughs> he said bussy baster. <laughs> like a turkey baster. Fucking right up in the Ow. The only reason we didn't have good runs today, well, I mean, we didn't have any PBs was because we didn't dry and glide as much. I'm trying to save my dry and glides, you know? You never know when you really need it. Please, Mario. Please, Mario. No! Okay. Could have been worse. I don't want to be a minute red. It sucks. This is where it becomes a green run. I tell ya. I, I tell ya. I tell ya. No! I thought I had one more jump. It's okay. No! I thought I was gonna make it! Yeah, Mario 64 was fucking broken as fuck. It's great! It's great! It's a great game! I just want to sub one. Is that so much to ask? Bye bye. <gasps> Mario, I'm gonna kill you. Alright, alright, good, 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 good. 11 seconds. Saved a minute there. It's a run again. I have a harder time with that, that, um, skip personally. That was fucking cool! What a god gamer! I'm just so good. I'm so good at this fucking game. Ugh. This might be a gold snowman if I can nail this. We're green. I pulled us out of a one minute 17 red. Now for the best hazy maze ever. I'm just gonna focus and we're just gonna give ourselves the best chance possible here. It kind of just goes to show that I need to stop resetting so much. We just have to go with this run. There's no resets. The green has filled me. Fill me with green goo. The green has filled me, Kermit winks. I've been filled with green goo, said Miss Piggy. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Ectoplasm, no. Does Kermit have ectoplasm? What the fuck is Gak? It's like silly putty. You're not old enough to know what Gak is. When the fuck was Gak? Double Dare 2000s? I was watching Double Dare. I mean, maybe I just didn't know it was Gak. Strange. But you know what else is strange? A little something called... 50 seconds green. It's fine. I'm a slut for Mario. I would simp Mario so hard right now. I would fucking donate my life savings to Mario's OnlyFans account right now. I would lick Mario's balls right now. I'm a straight man in a very happy relationship with a beautiful girl. I'd lick Mario's balls if he even let you. Oh, he'd let me. No, God! No, that was gonna be it! How did that not work? Uh, I was so zen. And then he just fucking... No. We're still green. Still green. No matter what happens to this run, we had three amazing runs today. We've had runs this week that were fucking, like, every run of the day was garbage. I'm gonna kind of hyper-focus here, guys, so I'm sorry I'm not gonna be silly, entertaining jewels as much. I want to give this run... The best. Why did I go for reds? As long as we don't die, I think we're good. Even if even if these uh, strats are a little bit fucked up, we should be fine. We'll make it work. Don't worry, guys. As long as we don't die. As long as we don't die, we'll make it work. We have three above where we want to be. 
Whoa. Oh, I finally hit the invisible wall. I knew I would one day. All right. Getting a lot better at that jump, though. Good shit. I'm loving it. Thank you so much, Mario vs. Luigi 360. I dedicate this star to you. That's for you. When are you going to go to bed, bud? Listen, Dad. I'm an adult now. And you can't tell me when to go to bed. I mean, you can, but I don't have to listen. Oof. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers. I've lost it. Oh, Daddy Jules has lost it. Oh, Daddy Jules has lost his mind. I've lost my fucking mind. A minute red and now we're almost a fucking minute green. Time to pucker buttholes. My chat grab we dab Mario? Mario? Have you guys ever, um, in Luigi's Mansion? Adrian and I are, uh, right before we pick up Mario at the very end of the game. If you press, like, down or something, Luigi just goes, Mario? Mario? They call him Mario. He's fucking up the Bowser throws. Comrades. We got any comrades in here? Oh, we do. That's good. Oh! How did it beat me? How did it do it? How did we beat me that? We were a minute red. It's beautiful. Why did that PB? Why did that? Look! Look at this garbage fucking bullshit! Yeah, that run had no right, yeah. That run had no right PBing. Look at this graph! Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. And that is all. That run is so powerful because because we almost didn't do it and I did it because you guys all gifted so many subs. You guys gave me so much love and you gave me the power to do one more run tonight. And if we didn't do it, we wouldn't have gotten that one hour, 58 seconds. What's wild though, is that is still not my PB. My PB is one hour and 49 seconds. So the next run is gonna be the real PB. 5620 guys. There's five minutes of time saving this fucking run. 4.30 and you've ruined my colon. Dave, I wish you were the first person to ever tell me that. We're gonna hit it tomorrow. As hard as we possibly can. Give me the <laughs> <laughs> The true ending of Mario 64. We are gonna do this. We're getting, today's the day. It's gotta be it. I believe at you, everybody. And I believe in me. It's me, my -y 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 -y. Nice shirt, thank you. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the persona energy. I'm okay with streaming for fucking ever tonight. If it means getting it. As long as we have energy, I might take some breaks, but we're running against a really, really, really generous PB. The, the whole, First three quarters of the PB are free. And then the ending needs to be tight, but it's gonna happen, man. We got the one hour 58 seconds yesterday, but it was very late, so a lot of people went to bed. Mmm. It's okay, it's okay. Our sub one hour is gonna have that in it, and it's gonna be really funny. What's up, Carlos? I wanna to apologize to Carlos. In the last highlights video, I said, I don't know if Carlos fucks. And then I said, he metaphorically fucks, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Carlos fucks. It, like, he metaphorically fucks. I don't know if he literally fucks. I meant to say he figuratively fucks. I don't know factually whether or not Carlos partakes in fuck. I just know that figuratively, when discussing Carlos in the terms of does he fuck or not, but not literally, yes. <laughs> Carlos fucks. Metaphysically, 
Carlos metaphysically fucks. I remember one of the most popular videos back in the mid 2000s on like funnyjunk.com was the video that like talking about how amazing the word fuck is because you can use it as like pretty much anything. It's a noun, it's a verb, it's an adjective, it's an adverb. This run is going pretty fuckily right now. Mario doesn't give a fuck. Mario is trying to fuck Princess P. Mario is slow as fuck. Mario fucked up womp. <laughs> Still a sub eight. I don't know, do you think we should reset? Just call that a practice? Cause we did do a save and quit accidentally. You fucked up, go fuck up some more. Honestly, I, th I think that was like not super nice, but I think he's right because like, I mean, let's, let's just have our practice run. Get through the run, see what happens, and get all of our fuck ups in now, and get my get my hands moving, get the drying glide. Yeah, that way I don't have to stress about. It. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> oh ho, Mario! He's the f he's flipping around. For one frame, Mario was horizontal, and it was beautiful. I love me a horizontal plumber. Let's do another. So Hogarth, Hograth. When I was in high school, there was a uh, there was a guy that I met. There was this band I really wanted to be in, and I wasn't good enough at guitar to be in it. They were like the best metal band in the school. I met a lot of people through that band because I would kind of like follow them around. I'd go to their shows and stuff, and I'd be kind of a simp for them. I never ended up being in the band, but I met this one guy. He was a regular for their shows. He was kind of an older guy, and he came up to me and he was like, "You kind of look like Garth." I'm like. What? He's like, you know what Garth is, right? You're old enough to know who Garth from. I'm like, yeah, I know, but how do I look like Garth? I mean, I had long hair, but it was like straight black hair. I didn't wear glasses and I didn't look much different than I do now. That's me. How old was I here? 17? 16? <laughs> Wait, no, go back. No, that, that's that's what my hair was. He was like, you look like Garth. Kind of strange. And I was just like, okay, you know, like, you think I look like Garth? And so for the rest of the night, he would just start calling me Garth. He'd be like, yo, Garth, yo, Garth, you know where the bathroom's at? Yo, Garth, where's Charlie? Yo, Garth! Then I remember at the end of the night, we went back and we were all hanging out, and he's just chilling out, and he just goes, You know what? When you die, I hope I can go to your funeral, and I can go up there. And like, Garth, I didn't know you that well, but I want you to know, they look like Garth, and I'm really sad you're gone. I'll see you around, Garth. It's one of those memories that just has stuck with me for a long time. I'm just like, I don't look like Garth. <laughs> I was thinking about that last night, and it just, it just came back into my head, and like, so weird. So far, we're already on a way better pace because I didn't fucking save and quit. We want to get to the point where, like, even if I make a lot of mistakes, we're still in the realm of being able to get our goal. And I think we hit that a long time ago. I just really like resetting. I want to make kind of like an achievement list of Nintendo 64 speedrun challenges. Sub 20 in 16 star. Sub 1 hour in 70 star. But it goes on to other games. Tony Ox Pro Skater 2, sub 20. Um, all gold. Banjo Kazooie, sub 220. You know, things that are like, once you hit that, you're like, you're good at the game. And then have like kind of a sheet, like low opacity, like just like little stamps that I get, like every time I did it. So I can, I can, t I can tick off 16 star one and just like kind of make a bunch of different challenges. I mean, one of my favorite things when I was uh, an Xbox 360 uh, player was achievements. Sub one hour isn't really still competitive for Mario 64, but I feel like once you get a sub one hour, you're like in the realm of like, you know what you're doing. I got sandwich. How many blumps can you afford in a run? A good amount. You'll see from the PB that the PB was like, has so many issues. The PB was pretty much red by the amount we need to save. And then we pull it back, which is insane. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. How is, uh, is me and Adriana? We're doing very well. Adriana has been playing Animal Crossing about 40 hours a day. Don't fuck with her. That. <laughs> was pretty good. Please get in the pipe. <laughs> Please get in the pipe! I want to get married to Emil so his last name would actually be Conroy. That was really tight, but it worked. Is that the new internet challenge? Try not to think. Well, I think we all think way too much. When you get in trouble, the, the natural response is like, what, why didn't you think about that? Why didn't you think? Why don't you just think for five seconds? If you're just constantly thinking about stuff all the time, thinking about every single possible outcome all the time, no wonder everybody has fucking anxiety. <laughs> and you can think less, you just have to learn mindfulness. We don't live in, in a day and age where it's it's necessarily looked highly upon to clear your mind of thoughts. There's a lot of really cool resources for people like who, who've never meditated that like help you get into it. And like everybody thinks like meditation's like ohm and fucking, you know, levitating objects with your mind and shit. No, I mean, meditation really at its core is just all about being present and not letting your thoughts um, overtake you. Cause your thoughts are a tool. 
I think a lot of people associate their thoughts with who they are, and that's just not the case. If your thoughts were who you are, then who is listening to your thoughts? That is you. I mean, not to get too spiritual. I mean, that's, I feel like that's pretty rooted in science, right? <laughs> that's too much thought. <laughs> Whatever your religion is, I think. Ow, I got run over by a penguin. Grandma got run over by a penguin. Remember when that was the funniest shit? That song was the funniest song ever when we were like eight. Daddy got run over by a penguin. Well, he was trying to get hundred coins. Baby penguin got shoved up inside this penguin's vagina. At a high speed velocity, Mario flying. Then out comes the star from her anus. Now we're gonna get in, we're gonna split. I wasn't alive for that. Thanks for making me feel old. But also, it's super deep about meditation. I definitely try to disassociate as much as I can from the game and let muscle memory take over, which is almost kind of a form of meditation, you know? Just having control over my thoughts and control over everything and not overthinking things because I'm like super, super bad about that. Should be an unbirthed penguin emo. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> I don't know what that would look like. Gold split. Gold split! I love gold! I should have that play every gold split. I love gold! <laughs> I feel like that would get really old though. <laughs> and it would also scare, scare the shit out of me. Oh god, I did it again, didn't I? I did it again, didn't I? Oh no! It's alright, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, I just- I do that too fast. I need a strat to not go that fast. I need to wait a second for the fucking- the pyramid to stop being a bitch. Or I could just learn... Fucking pillarless. How the fuck do you do pillarless? It's really hard. You know the uh, the trick in the beginning of the game where we grab the bomb at the, the exact frame that helps Mario just push through the wall? We need to essentially do that with that bomb we just left. Then there's a very specific set of moves that are insanely particular that lets me clip through the pyramid. I don't know how many different versions of, of there are of the NTSC. I have three different versions. Two different versions of the Japanese version. They like fixed the Japanese version and took out BLJs and <laughs> Really fucked up the way that Mario fucking deals with, um, poles. I do have the Shindu version. I accidentally bought that one when, um, I was looking for the Japanese cart. I was like, hey, this is pretty cheap, and it's because it's bad. You're all very unique, as in, you know, when I say the word Mega Milk, you know what I'm referring to. If you don't know what I'm referring to, then you're not a degenerate. Congratulations. You are the 1%. Oh, I have that shirt. <laughs> Hell yeah. Moo. <laughs> Big boobs fill a man's hands. Small boobs fill a man's heart. Can that be my senior quote? Yes. And then just have a picture of the Mario chest. Big chests fill a man's heart. Or fill a man's hands. Small chest fill a man's heart. Just be like, yeah, it's like, you know, it's the little things in, in life that matter. That's, that's what it means. My preference is I like a girl with proportional titties. Speaking of proportional titties, let's get some hype for front sub. Too early. Nope. Can't hit it from the front, hit it from the back. That's what I always say. <laughs> middle sub. Can't hit it from the back, hit it from the middle. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, go back. Go back. Gonna punch a hole and grab Bowser by the titty. Do you guys think the fourth dimension is um, time or do you think it's uh, depth? What do you guys think? It's smell. <laughs> I hate it. I'm actually trying to process that as a legitimate answer and I shouldn't have even started. Well, Spy Kids 4 is, as we all know, the ultimate scientific <laughs> journal. I don't know if you guys remember when I was like freaking out about the fact that I th always thought, do you think God stays in heaven because he's afraid of what he's created? I always thought that was like an actual phil philosopher who said that, but no, it's from Spy Kids 2. It's literally a quote from Steve Buscemi. <laughs> I thought that was a legitimate quote because it's just so fucking profound. Yes, no, that's from Spy Kids too. That's not a legitimate psychological like, or philosophical quote. <laughs> they were philosophers, Steve Buscemi. You didn't hear that in school. You heard that from fucking Spy Kids. Okay, sure. Back in the green, baby. Gold! Yes, I think Steve Buscemi is the fourth dimension. I found this CRT on the, on the ground in Los Angeles. Wow. That was so fucking optimal. I'm actually angry that that even exists. The CRT was literally in the middle of the grass. I found it in LA when I was visiting Lyle. It was like in front of his house. Somebody just left it outside and I was like, I'll take it. So I picked it up. I was so sure it was never gonna work and I plugged it in and here we are, I'm playing on it. I hit two invisible walls in this one run right there Neither of which I knew existed before this run. <laughs> TV from a homeless man. It wasn't plugged in, it was fine. If the TV's not plugged in, it's free to take. <laughs> Any crime rises in the chat? Scoo, I was telling everybody in a stream before about how you hate it when people um, speak other languages in English chat. Told everybody to like, when you came into the chat, for everybody to just start speaking random languages and everybody forgot. <laughs> Cause you came in the chat and you were just too funny. You just came in and you started saying your jokes and it was like, oh haha, ha, it's Thunder Scott, yay. Can't wait to look back at my, my stream engagement and be like, wow, people started really 
really talking around this part of my stream, and then it's this. Buenos dias, Jules. Buenos dias, chat. Domo arigato, etc. My favorite Japanese phrase is domo arigato, etc. Y'all doing me a stroke. <laughs> Scoot pissed. I'm gonna start using that in Japan. Yeah, <laughs> say domo arigato, etc. See how far you get. Ohio, go say masu. <laughs> Damn, you're fluent. Shit, man. <laughs> We're going Japan. <laughs> I want my job. <laughs> you just hand off a job to me, and then I just send them my best. <laughs> it's all just really shitty, like Google Translate stuff. Mega Milk Desu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. When do you fight Orange and Smile? You missed it, bro. You're the first person to make a Dark Souls reference. My title, my title is a Dark Souls reference. Bed of Chaos. Bed of Chaos is coming out. Bed of Chaos is essentially TikTok clock. Sorry. That's what I say when I punch somebody in the face. I go, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's me. Okay, Mario. Thank you. Whew. That was close. We almost lost it there. Oh, God, that scared the shit out of me because we hit the invisible wall. As soon as I did that, I got fucking scared. All right, good back up. The first over a minute split. Do you guys remember? No! No! Come on! No! I don't like it. Why? <sighs> that was hard. Adriana was telling me that last night she decided to stop into the uh, stream yesterday. Turned on my stream. I was kind of quiet, and then I stopped for a second, and then quizzically and curiously asked my chat, How many Family Jewels fans do you think have given Blumpkins? That was the first thing she heard. I gave myself a Blumpkin for charity! That's next year. <laughs> what is this? No, don't don't search it up. No, no, don't search it. Um, alright, bye guys. An auto Blumpkin would just be sucking your own dick while taking a poop. Do you have to be on the toilet to receive a Blumpkin? All right, I'm done. I'm done. Let's just let's just finish this run. When uh when it's fall, I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'm gonna ask for a Blumpkin Spice Latte. What happened to my innocence? I never had it. <laughs> Blumpkin Hill, hell yeah. So uh, now that the RNG is manipulated, Mario's scared. La kudu All right, we're gonna bounce on my boy's dick here. Nope. <laughs> Shit, I missed. You ever just come flying down and then just miss the dick? Boing. Hmm. That wasn't optimal. Why did I do that? Talk to me. Look at me. Look at me. Ow. <laughs> uh, the clock is not off. Why is the clock not off? Psych. Why is there a wall there? Why am I still in this flesh prison? Bye, Mario. What if, like, during one, Mario just fucking gets crushed into the ground, but it's, like, super realistic physics, and he's just, like, becomes a pancake, and there's just, like, blood everywhere? Trick somebody into thinking that they're playing their normal game, and then just, like, have something really fucking spooky happen? Yeah, I don't miss that. I don't miss the time when you you never knew if what you were watching was a screamer or not. But the worst hundred coins I've ever done. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll grab that one. The floor above you is vibrating like crazy. Maybe Roombas are fucking. What was the porn with the girl who's like looking through the window and sees the two the two people like fucking and then they like, we see you watching and then they like invite them over. It's like that, but they're Roombas. I mean, I like video games. What is porn? Uh, All right, everyone get up and stretch your fucking bodies. Stretch him! Be a stretch- uh, Be a stretch dad! Uh, dry and glide. Dry and glide, baby! Get that dry and glide. Did you have any childhood cartoon crushes? Super crush on Misty. Obviously, I feel like everybody did. Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. I think that's about it. Ooh. Fuck. I liked um, uh, Violet from The Incredibles up until that was weird for me to have that as a crush. It's funny because like I feel like those crushes that you have on fictional characters in the beginning, like have a big part in at least the development of what you end up having crushes on later in life. Sometimes I kind of moved towards Rosalina, but I think I was always Peach. Samus? Samus never really did it for me either. Didn't really seem like she had a lot of personality. I'm the kind of person that goes to Pornhub and searches for personality in the search bar. Oh my god, yes, Malin. Holy fuck, yeah. Malin all day, every day. Princess Peach, Princess Zelda, Malin, Yuna. How did that not work? 
Fuck. About 10 seconds later than I'd like to be, but we can definitely work with it. Doorbell guy. Correct. I want to watch doorbell guy videos. Doorbell guy on YouTube was my childhood crush. Can the doorbell play a song on the world's smallest violin for doorbell guy? I wish. I wish I could change the sound of the doorbell to like really badly synthesized other shit. <laughs> I'm still trying to think of the, the answer to that question of uh, something that I didn't think I would like and then I liked it a lot. Last Jedi, I actually liked a lot. Everybody said it was like the worst piece of garbage and I mean, people still think that, but I didn't mind it. I thought it was pretty good. Scoot, you were the one who told me about Dragon Maid and um, Gabriel Dropout. I thought I was going to like Gabriel Dropout more than Dragon Maid, but I liked Dragon Maid way more than Gabriel Dropout. But I did still like Gabriel Dropout. It's just Dragon Maid was just magical. How many girls have you dated? Oh. Somewhere between eight and 10. You lost count. Emil. Emil has this thing where he likes making me feel like a fucking whore, which is how I know we're very good friends. Cause it doesn't offend me. It's cause of the cheating thing, isn't it? No, I don't count hookups. I count literally like we've decided that we are going to be, oh no. Fuck! Himbo? What is a himbo? What the fuck is a himbo? Is that like a bimbo, but a he? An attractive, but unintelligent man. What the fuck? Google says an attractive but unintelligent man. Fuck you guys. Generally a large, broad, tall, or buff attractive man who tends to be not very bright. Wow. 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 You guys are mean. Yeah, look at Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo's a himbo. I don't think I'm like a fucking genius or anything, but I'm not like a fucking, I'm just, I'm deeply offended. Yeah, I'm just gonna ban the, new, the whole chat and get a new one. I'm just gonna do a chat reset. Remember that time my chat said I was stupid? Whoa. Family Jules chat said, Jules, you are stupid. <laughs> You're kind of cute, but damn are you, damn do you got the dumb. The chat said, hesitantly. What is it, attractive, smart, or nice? Pick two. I constantly work at trying to be a good balance of all three. I would probably rather be nice and smart. Like if I had to choose, I'd probably like looks go. More everlasting happiness, you know what I mean? You're some handsome, smart, and thick. Thank you. I love how thick your thighs are. I hate you. I hate all of you. I wish I never talked about how fucking thick my thighs are. I wish I never did it. I thought you said it was your calves that were thick. My calves are like, I have muscly calves. It's like, it's just like, it's just pure like, that's pure muscle. I'm trying to, trying to show, you like my socks by the way? It's not a feed stream, I had my socks on. How many feet streams have you guys been to? By thick we mean schmexy. I feel like there isn't a, a universal definition. It's kind of like himbo. <laughs> Some people think it's one thing, but most other people think it's another thing. So I don't even know what to believe anymore. <laughs> that sounds like something someone thick would say. We missed it. Uh, it's too late, Ari. Everyone thinks I'm a himbo. He's Gonta. Aw, I like Gonta. Gonta was a character I didn't think I was gonna like, and he ended up being one of my favorites in Dangarapa 3. I thought he was gonna be kind of just like, oh, feel bad for the dumb big guy, and then I did. <laughs> like, I love the stream that we're actually having an actual scientific conversation about what the fourth dimension is. You guys think the fourth dimension is um, time, or do you think it's uh, depth? What do you guys think? It's smell. <laughs> I hate it. And then you guys call me a fucking himbo. Fourth dimension is thick. Technically, yes. If the fourth dimension was depth, you would be able to measure the thickness. Almost like a uh, cubism, you know, where like the whole idea of those paintings are to kind of like, you can see all sides of them, no matter what side you're looking at. The sixth dimension. <laughs> It just sounds like you're saying sixth with a with a lisp. I have a lisp. Not really. I've always worked on getting rid of it. My my tongue is really fucked up. I actually, when I got my wisdom teeth out last year, they realized that I had I had a tongue tie, which is something you're supposed to get rid of when you're younger. The guy who was taking out my wisdom teeth was like, Do you want me to just cut that for you? And I'm like, What cut what? And he's like, Your your tongue tie. And I'm like, the fuck is a tongue tie? There's a little strip that connects your tongue to the bottom side of your mouth. Think of all the things you can do with that tongue. Wink, wink, said the doctor. Yeah, so he was just like, do you want to do it? And I was just like, well, how dangerous would it be? He's just like, dude, it's literally like, I take a laser and I just go, T and you're done and your life gets better. Yeah, so what it does is it actually limits your ability to be able to clear food from your teeth. If your tongue is tied down, it's harder for you to like, reach the, the corners of your back teeth. So I got my tongue laser and that was actually the worst part of recovery for my wisdom teeth. The wisdom teeth didn't he hurt nearly as bad as when the underside of my tongue was healing. That sucked. Was there a notice noticeable difference? Yes. Um, my tongue can stick out way further now. I always thought I just had a small tongue. You know that soft part in the back of your uh, mouth? Uh, it's called... Holy shit. It's the, the soft palate in your mouth. Yeah, I can do Blumpkins a lot better now. Before my surgery, I couldn't put my tongue back there. 
I couldn't reach that part of my mouth. It was really, really strange when I first was able to feel that part of my mouth. That's how bad my tongue tie was. And that was all the way up until last year. But that's something like I went through child psychology courses and stuff when I was studying psych. I never learned anything about that stuff because that's more of like actual like pediatrics, I feel like, rather than like, fuck, rather than psychology. Have you ever heard of seeing a spit uvula? No. I'm good though. Oh, <laughs> I can't even say that word, Carlos. W, oh, W uvula. I like it. W uvula. Ooh, uvula. <laughs> <laughs> Were you awake? They knocked me out. I made sure that they knocked me out. I was like, however much money you want for me to not have to experience this shit, please don't, don't let me experience it. It was actually Corey who was telling me like, he'll never forget the sounds that he heard. Corey says it sounds like they have like a um, jackhammer to your face. You hear your entire skull fucking <laughs> grinding. I'm just like, you know what? I am totally happy not experiencing that. I cannot believe it. His name is Mario. He is a sloppy bitch. And that is just how it is. That is just how it is. Mario is a sloppy bitch. <laughs> Mario, get up there. Mario. Mario, please. Mario, please. Mario, please. Sports did I play when I was younger? Baseball and basketball and cross country. Mario! Please come to the Himbo Castle! I've never thrown a shot put, no. It's like a really heavy ball, right? And you gotta throw it. The whole sport is throwing a ball. It's kind of like speed running, except for me, the whole sport is throwing the run. Back. Like playing fetch without a dog. <laughs> I think that's the best way I've ever heard shot put. Height difference between me and Adriana, it's almost a foot. She's five foot and I'm five foot twelve. That's what it says on my ID. Jules Conroy, five foot twelve. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Guys, you feel are your feelings ever just off? Any good runs today? Um, no. This is the first run of the day, duh. And by first run of the day, I mean we're about to do the first run of the day. Woohoo! Woohoo! First run of the day. I, mean, I still can't believe you fucking you guys called me a himbo. I just feel like you know when you're a kid and you get called a name that you don't know what it's, what it means, and you're an emo. It's like no, you're no, you're an emo. Have you guys heard that TikTok that's like... Are you- are you emo, right? Are you emo? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like asking... Because like you were all black. You were all black because like you're depressed. <laughs> <laughs> when I first heard it too, I was just like, ugh. It's a meme. I want to make that meme with the, you know, the, uh, the cat meme I posted the other day where it was just like, How long have you been speedrunning Mario 64? A little over a year. Oh, so you're pretty good at it, right? And then it's the cat crying. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that emo, the, uh, existential joker. Mario was stuck behind a wall that didn't exist. Boy, if that's not a mood. Man, I just feel like something's holding me back that's invisible and doesn't exist. How flexible. Human pretzels, splits. I used to be able to do splits. I, I think if I really worked on it, I could probably do splits again, but it's not really something that's... I really need to, you know, obviously do. I'm eat my own ass flexible. Teach us more words like himbo. Do you guys know what a rusty trombone is? Rusty trombone is when you're eating a dude's ass and you're also jerking him off from behind. It looks like you're playing the trombone. Do you guys still want to learn more words? We can keep going. I don't think you guys want to learn more words. <laughs> no more words, please. <laughs> Sub 7.30 coming out of WAPS. Let's get a run. No, Amanda, the chat has decided no more. We're not learning any more words. Do you think they would accept a run if it was deep fried? Hurry it up, Mario. We don't got all day, bitch. Good rollout. Holy shit, that shouldn't have worked. That was one of those where it could have been <laughs> one of those sad fails, but it worked out. That was a fucking amazing split. Almost a gold. Is the pit open? The pit's always open. Oh no, Mario, get in the pit! Why are you playing the Dabless version? Because I don't like fun. I prefer to get more times and have fun. Fun's not allowed in speedrunning, unfortunately. They specifically say that in the rules. If you're having fun, you're doing it wrong. Imagine having fun, especially in 2020. Guys, can we not have 2021? Can we just do 2020 over again? That's not asking too much, right? Yeah, reset 2020. 2022 Electric Boogaloo. I like that. I was so excited about this year because it was like, haha, there's going to be so many 2020 vision jokes. And then, holy fuck, this year was not good. <laughs> Almost the aliens are coming in July. Please, I hope they fucking end it all and just reset it, reset humanity. Thank you, Emil. <laughs> that is what they say, and they're saying it very aggressively now. I looked to the chat for just a quick second. Hold on. Got our message about clapping cheeks in Area 51. That is fucking epic. The aliens are like, yo, they're clapping cheeks on Earth. Sign us the fuck up. I don't like that angle, but we lived. What is with these fucking camera angles? How in the fuck am I supposed to get this star like this? Shut up! Shut your face! <laughs> Shut. Which Mario enemy would I eat? Um, is ass an option? The classic enemy, ass. Very good, uh, BBW. 
Very good BBW. This is where all of our time save is, so let's make sure that these splits are good. We've had some pretty bad luck with shifting sand lines, so I'm gonna focus here. I'm trying not to lose my shell. Because I think we lost lost shell in the um in the PB. Yep, we lost shell there too. Ugh. At least we didn't die. As long as we don't die, we should be good. Good shit. Really good split. Hell yeah. Okay. Lava land. Another good uh, time save spot, so let's make sure we get that tight. I'm dreaming of a red coin star. Just like the ones in the PB. Miles ass, home puckers, and it suckles on me. Dreaming of a red Mario butthole. Hell yes! Love to see it! Love to see it! Holy fuck, dude. This lava land is the stuff of legends. <laughs> oh, he almost didn't grab that. I think it's a gold split. I think that's a gold split. <laughs> All right. In the arms of a gold split, fly away! A hard time with this trick, but with your energy, we can get it. Ooh. Sean, thank you for the one. Ooh. One more try, one more try. Ooh. No, okay. Backs up. Hit it from the back. We didn't get it. It's fine. It's fine. We've saved so much time. It's all good. All right. Didn't lose any time. Didn't lose any time. We were good. Hello, bully, my old friend. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Oh! Oh! Got the red. Doesn't matter, had sex. Do bullies even have asses? I'm sure they do. How else would they poop? <laughs> They're 50% ass. If a bob -omb has hair on its face, is that a beard or is that pubes? That, my friends, is what we call an insane fucking pace. Pubes are just waste beards. <laughs> I love my chat, I love you guys. Even though you guys call me terrible names and fucking shit on me and neg me. I know it's cause you love me and you guys are just incels who think that that's how you get women. Imagine negging girls in 2020. <laughs> Simp for Jules 2020. Who's my running mate? It's uh, Jack and Adriana's first lady of simping. Jack is overqualified. I should be the running mate to Jack. We should all be simping Jack. Come here. See, how do I not grab this thing's ass, though? You know what I mean? Like, that's gotta be its ass. A Chaku's ass is thick. Jared can be treasurer. Jared's very good with money. I, he would be my treasurer, for sure. Ooh, -hoo, that's a wall, and that's fire! Shout out to Simp Flips. You'll support me as vice president? All right. Just know that I didn't want this power, but if it has to be me, I accept the responsibility of being simped. <laughs> I accept the, the, the responsibility of getting generous donations from people for being a hot girl on the internet. With great responsibility comes great booty bitches. I fucking love that. Yeah, Jack is my biggest simp. You guys can't even compete. He literally moved in with me to simp, to simp me. Daddy. Daddy. Can somebody please like construct an entire like office for this like me as the president of simp, Jack as the, as the vice, Adriana as the first lady, Corey for bodyguard, Corey is secretary of defense. What's the campaign slogan? With great power comes great booty bitches. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's the fucking breakdance section. I just wish I had a thing where I could just turn on some fucking like epic 90s hip hop that goes on while Mario's doing breakdances all over these bitches. Alpharad's my campaign rival. Who's Alpharad's running mate? Is it Joe? Alpharad Joe Sniffy. Big shout out to Alpharad Plus turned uh, one year old. It's super- Oh my god. Super deserving of it. <laughs> yeah, last five seconds, gotta reset. Sorry guys, we gotta reset this run. God, I need to stop hitting him from that angle. You never know when, you know, you're hitting her and there's just an invisible wall. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> That's what you say when, when you hit an invisible wall, hitting her from front sub. Hi, monkey. Everyone say bye, monkey. <gasps> you guys didn't say bye! Why didn't you say bye to the monkey? Now we have to say hi to it again. It's gonna be really awkward. Oh, thank God. Bye, sub one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Everyone say bye, run. I knew it! I knew it! I know exactly what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. It's fine. Everything's okay. Teleton Mountain is always a bitch. It's just how it is. No. Okay. Gotta do it the slow way, but that's fine. We have- This is why time save is nice. Time save is nice because you want sub one hour. Well, yes, but also... 
Yes. Oh no! Get in there! Stuff your fat ass in there! Alright, comes down to these last few splits, let's do this. I remember the, the no man land PB was fucking insane. I seem to recall that. Dude, I wanna watch some pulling- My TV just turned off. Okay, it's on. Yeah, I had, to, I had to run off OBS for a second there. I was fucking around with the plug with my foot and then I unplugged it. Considering what happened on that split, not bad. <laughs> we only lost, what, 10 seconds to my TV turning off? Fuck. As long as Lactu's not a bitch. I couldn't get more cursed than that one. Okay, we got it. Oh lordy, we got it. <laughs> bounce on that boy's dick. We bounce on that boy's dick. We bounce on that boy's dick. Die. No, I knew it. It's okay, it's okay. It's not gonna save time, but we're gonna be even. Miss. Get the star! To eat that horse? That like, get this bread? What a good rainbow ride split. What a good rainbow ride split. Mario. Mario, you have to make this jump. There you go. Mario, you're doing me a big scare. It can't be that bad compared to what the PB was. This is the hardest star in the run for me. Oh no, come on, dude. Mario, stop it. Why did I do it? No, why did I do that? That was so fucking stupid of me. Mario. How many times do I have to press A for you to know how to fucking jump, you fucking idiot? Mario is a little fucking himbo, and that's okay. He's a pretty boy, but man, is he dumb. He's just a little slippery goose. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Come on, Mario. I know I say a lot of mean things. You're such a fucking bitch. I fucking did the same angle I always do, and he just fucking y yotes himself to the left. You've got to be kidding me. That would have PB'd for last night. I would have PB'd for last night. So fucking close. It's so fucking close. Are you- are you emo, right? Are you emo? No, I'm, I'm like asking because like you were all black. You were all black because like you're depressed. I just- I just need- I just need some negging. I'll be good. Mario, are you emo? You, you, you're emo, right? I just- I just asked because, you know, you were all black. Is that because you're depressed? Mario, are you Soviet? <laughs> Mario, are you- are you communist? You're communist, right? No, I only ask because you wear all red. Are right, you're Marxist, right? I only ask because, you know, you wear all red. Is, is it because you want to seize the means of production? Luigi, you're, are, you, are you a leprechaun? The M on Mario's hat stands for Marx. Super Marx 64. It's me. Chris, what would you do if I came in a Starbucks after the quarantine's over and I asked for a pumpkin spice blumpkin? Or a blumpkin spice latte? Wow, I fucked that up. Fuck. I'd make you one, but with no sugar. <laughs> you would have to make me one that tastes like shit. Ha ha ha. You're a gamer, right? I just asked because you wear not really funny gaming reference shirts. Is that because you're you're a gamer? I hate it. Did Jared say the fuck word? No, Chatia did. Oh shit. I stole his phone when I heard the <laughs> talk. Still Chatia. Oh, okay. Chatia actually was a fucking cancer researcher. I mean, she wasn't a <laughs> researcher, but I guarantee for more than most of you guys, she knows what she's talking about. Also, yeah, I can't believe you hacked the 8-bit drummer. Bro, she stole my freaking phone. Oh no, they've switched places. It's like fucking Freaky Friday or whatever the fuck that movie was. Guys, they've switched places. I can't wait to see Jared in Chatia's body playing drums. That's gonna be fucking sick. Freaky Friday, that's the- <laughs> He is a mod and Jared isn't. It's because Jared won't mod me in his channel, so I don't mod him in mine. Only because I'd say fuck. Jared doesn't want that responsibility, even though there is none. Like, I'd be like, Jared, why won't you make me a mod in your channel? He's like, dude, you don't want to be a mod in my channel. <laughs> I'm like, I know, but it's fun. It's fun to be mad at you. When do I say I'm not having fun speedrunning? When am I ever saying that I'm having fun ever? I haven't had fun since I was fucking born. Bro, being born is like a slip and slide. You're like, wee! Somebody asked me what the grossest thing that happened to me was, and I said, one time, 
I got yeeted from a vagina. <laughs> I climbed back in. Hell yeah. <laughs> Put me back in. I'm not done cooking. A simp's uh, original uh, definition comes from simpleton. Typically, the definition now is um, somebody who, like, shells out a bunch of money to, like, an e-girl and hopes to, like, befriend, befriend her. It's like the guys in the chats of, like, Pokimane or whatever who are just like, how are you doing, my queen? I hope you enjoy my $500 donation. That's all I have to offer today for my queen. You left my friend request on red. Haha. -ha. You must have made a mistake. It's like wannabe sugar daddy, really. And you just, that's what Jules says in his spare time. Yeah, that's why I know so much about it. I simp for Jared. Splendid daddy? I fucking love that. Simps are just splendid daddies. That was my worst red coin, my worst one cap ever. I like how two people specifically fucked up oof and said off. That's gonna be a big off for me, buddy. When you rail in your girl and you say the wrong name, she goes, oh, that's gonna be a big off for me, buddy. Okay, what's funny to me about that sentence is the fact that she calls you buddy <laughs> during sex. Ooh, call me buddy. Stepbrother, what are you doing? That's what the babam says as I grab him firmly. He goes, stepbrother, what are you doing? I grab that babam's ass firmly. And he goes, ooh, ooh, and engorges himself. Step bro, why is your dick out? My chat is so pissed at me right now. <laughs> step buddy? Step buddy, what are you doing? Why, why won't they give a step buddy? If you're a girl and you're chilling with your boyfriend's, like, buddy, it's your step buddy. We're not pissed, we're just disappointed. This is the chat that's fucking throwing around words like himbo and fucking all this shit, and then you think that, that you guys are the fucking moral high ground, you guys are the judicators of what's, what's to be disappointed about and not. Newsflash. We're all degenerates. Let's just accept it, move on, and laugh at fucking hentai memes. My favorite part of today's stream was when I said, you're all very unique, as in you know when I say the word mega milk, you know what I'm referring to. And so many people in chat were like, ooh, <laughs> shit. I'm not into that shit. You sound very defensive. It sounds like you are into that shit, man. It's all right, just, just accept it. The fuck is Mega Milk? Don't worry about it. Let yourself be innocent. Oh my God, oh my God, why is my chat exploding? Yo, Sniffy, thank you so much for the raid. You came just in time for the Mega Milk section. 98 days left. What does that mean? Until Joe dies? Sounds like something Joe would say where he'd just be like, guys, if you don't Twitch Prime sub right now, I'm gonna die in 98 days. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm getting my wallet out. <laughs> That's some himbo talk if I- <laughs> Can you unban Scythe? I banned him when you streamed at my house for a bit. Oh sure. Fuck, how did I miss that? And then ban him if he talks. Yeah, it's cool. Ban him! Ban him, ban him! He's gone! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Wait, is Joe banned? Or I mean, <laughs> is Joe drunk? Joe, are you drunk? A tiny bit? Okay. I as long as you're just a tiny bit drunk. Dude, Joe is not a virgin, dude. He fucks constantly. Every time I walked in to his house, I would have to wait like an hour because he'd be doing sex with women like constantly. He probably ended the stream because there was just women just at his door like, please, please Joe. He was like, oh, uh, d guys, don't worry about that. Uh, oh, look at the time. I'm hungry. I have to go. And then he turns the stream off. But he ain't eating food. He's eating ass. How many asses can you fit in your mouth? Um, dude, it's not about the quality or quantity, it's about the quality. Let's not bring quantitative ass into this shit. So you're saying like five? Like, yeah. The ass is not gluten free, but it is vegetarian. <laughs> free range ass. Uncaged ass. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm such a fucking innocent child. I never realized that those like, you know, like the cages that like strippers would dance in. It's like, it's totally like a Dom thing, isn't it? Fuck, what the fuck? Or to keep people away from the strippers? Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's what I do, I just analyze kinks. All right, guys, we, we fucking breaking out that slide and glide, dry, dry and glide, dry and glide. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> fuck, why? I feel really blessed that Joe Sniffy is my simp. All right, first, are you guys ready for the first run of the night? We have not done any runs before this, so. No? There we go. Nope. Come on! I have to feel the Mario flowing. Yeah, I feel the Mario deep inside me. What was I gonna say? Fuck me. It's true. He's giving me the dance like a good Bowser does! Get the fuck on that bomb, you bitch! I love it when Bowser dances for me. Shake that thang, girl. Shake that thang. Advice for speedrunning, don't try to get world records. Try to beat your own goals and have cool goals and get epic fucking splits! No, he wasn't gold! We missed gold by a fucking millisecond. <laughs> yep, time to reset. Reset the run. Whoa, McDonald's fries has beef liquid in them? Is that real? Also, what the fuck is beef liquid? Hey girl, you want some of my beef liquid? <laughs> oh. I love speedrunning because it's very much like a, it's like a music set for me. It's just a bunch of songs that we do one after the other. You know, every song has 
places where you can make mistakes. I swear I pressed A there. I just, I think I pressed A like a millisecond too late. Let's get this fucking bread, as they say. Let's all make like ducks and get this bread. Doesn't bread like fuck up like ducks like digestive tracts or whatever? So you're not supposed to actually like, Mario, listen. I know I just dropped you from like a ridiculous height, but walk it off. Provides no nutritional value as well. Interesting. I love how Mario literally decided to fail that the worst possible way he could. He bonked off of it, onto the ground, and then off the edge. Music uh, man, you guy is sick as fuck. I love it, man. I'm thinking about getting a Sterling. Probably not gonna post about it too much because everybody fucking shames me for having too many guitars. It was cool in the beginning, like people would be so excited. And then now every time I post a picture of a guitar, people are like, bro, do you really need more guitars? You're gonna donate that one, right? Like. Fuck you. Like people in the comments will make me feel bad for wanting more guitars. If I'm releasing one every other day. All right, that's the only coin we can miss. Fuck. God damn it. Oh God. Has the opening lost all meaning? Yes. Hell yeah. Good shit. Really wish I could do the early cycle, but it's so fucking tight. Thank you. <laughs> that white spot above my knuckle is starting to get fucked up from the stick. Guys, I can't wait for this run to be super poggers. I need to be playing Mario with a DDR pad. Then we would get a PB every time. Steven didn't know what pog meant. I didn't know what pog was either. Like I knew pog champ, but I didn't realize it was a thing. I remember Del Cake once inhaled helium and went poggers in the chat. <laughs> Smoking dick and sucking dick, baby. <laughs> Why did that have to be the slowest possible way to make it down there? Like, usually I can come back from most things, but man, he was just like, you know what? I'm just going to slide down here as slow as I can. Favorite movie genre? Um, BBW. Yeah, Big Booze Want. <laughs> Big Booming Wars. Was he dating Adri then? I have a, I have a wide range of desires. <laughs> Adrian does have a BBW heart. That's probably my favorite interaction all the stream. BBW stands for Build Build a Bear Workshop. Okay, Mario. I don't know who you're trying to fucking impress here, but nobody's impressed. I'm gonna change Big Boo's haunt to Build a Bear Workshop. <laughs> People will be like, "What the fuck does that mean?" The joke is so many layers. <laughs> it's just too many layers. Pretty much the places where the the inputs get dropped the most are pretty consistent as to when they happen, and I think it's just. Sometimes Mario's jumps are just weirder on certain textures and platforms and stuff. Remembering when I need to kind of press a little bit earlier than I want to and stuff and getting that timing right. I've been doing too many half A presses and not enough whole ass, whole, whole A presses. Whole ass presses? Gonna beat Mario in half an ass press. Ho ho! Matrix dodge the- Have we have really been streaming for five and a half hours? Jesus fucking Christ. I prepped an ass for you. Hell yeah, here I come. That's all the motivation I need, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm just drinking straight Kahlua. Dude, I need it. God, I'm so consistent with this now, it's insane. It's just, it's hard to feel like, oh, I'm not getting any better. I'm getting so much better. And that's why I'm just like, one of these runs is just gonna fucking PB like crazy. Holy shit, I can't believe Mario grabbed onto that. Finally a good fucking run. That's how I feel. That was 100% stupidity. I just like, I feel so robbed because like today I really felt it. I felt like we could do it today. The night is young, but I'm starting to, I'm starting to kind of fade out of focus, being able to focus because we've been doing this for like almost six hours. The consistency is good. It's just, it's just a little bit frustrating, but it's a necessary evil. Give me the butter. Yeah, I'm definitely improving. We have been up for five hours and 40 minutes. You get a whale dick, you can. Let's bless this run with a whale dick! There you go. It's a meme! There it is, there's a little pumpkin, a little blumpkin. The hungry blumpkin. I'm very hungry. 
he said, preparing himself for the Blumpkin. You are still playing? I am still playing. I want it, man. I want it. I just want this fucking sub one hour. We're playing so well. Until we're not. Oh, I miss oh. No! No! Come on! Oh, no! Damn it! Why did I do it? No! Why did I do that? Until the moment that we're not playing very well. But we're gonna get there. I wish if you skip Lakitu, like, during the last scene, he's just still there outside the doors. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's been waiting, man. Like, he had to have been there before, so somebody told him to wait there for a while. And then finally I come by, so still sitting there waiting. Yeah, that's true. Like, where's Lakitu for when you're talking to Lakitu? If you talk to Lakitu, then who's holding the camera when you're talking to Lakitu? Is there a second Lakitu? It's Locky 2. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, you kill Lakitus while they're filming you. This kind of fucked up. You have to film me kill your own kind. Yeah, I guess there has to be- yeah, lock two bros. There has to be two of them, that's true. I guess those aren't lock two bros, right? The ones that we actually bounce on? <laughs> the last lock two bro. The disowned child that was kind of getting into drugs and, you know, he was on a bad path, so he's just like... It's okay, Mario, I know you had to do it, and it's okay. He's, he's resting easy now. Please, uh, why? <laughs> he almost didn't- he almost didn't- he was like, hey, 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 hey. Even if it's a little delayed, I'll take it. Is that green? Yeah, dude. That's a green split. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Holy shit, that was close. I'm gonna make a bunch of videos that, like, look like clickbaity titles, but the video is, like, the question makes it sound like it's gonna be crazy, but it's not. This is how a guitar is made? This is how I make an omelet? And then it's just, yeah, yeah, that's it's just me, you know, putting some cheese and some eggs, and there you go. Thank you for watching. This is how I ate my own ass? And have, like, the thumbnail, a picture of me, like, at the doctor's, getting my rib removed. <laughs> I'm just like, no, make sure you stretch, uh, make sure. <laughs> yeah, reverse psychology clickbait. Adam Neely does those like anti-clickbaits. So like the title will be something, but then he'll answer the title in the thumbnail. <laughs> so you don't even have to watch the video, but it works because then you're like, oh, well, how is that? Quit crying, bitch. <laughs> I'd be a good dad. Wah, wah, stop your fucking crying. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't understand why that was that good. <laughs> Get in the BBW. Yahoo. Yahoo. Yeah, we're at Build-A-Bear Workshop, everybody. Where are you going? Please. <laughs> why? Why did you go that way? Yay, Build-A-Bear. Woo. <laughs> Yay, BBW. Woo. Got the Nintendo Xbox. Fuck yeah, dude. I want my turn on Nintendo Xbox. Excuse me, are, you a uh, are you more Buet or Bowser? I feel like you and me are, are both Buets. Save time still. Yeah, I'm super boo out. <laughs> Toadette, fuck yeah. Now there's a man of culture. Psych! Why did you go that way? Aw, oh, dude, Chompette is fucking good. Would Peachette just be a dude? <laughs> yeah, Rosa John's just Johnette. All right, Shy Guy, stay put. You gotta stay right there, my boy. You gotta stay right there. Good boy. A little bit low, use the fire. Can't believe we saved this much time, considering Meps was kind of rough. <sighs> No, no, <laughs> no, Mario. Why'd you do that? Still save time. All right, there's another big time save spot. Mipset, I love it. I stand Mipset. What's the most cursed crown at me? It's fucked up. Birdo at? Maybe. DK at? Oh my God, I need it. I need it in my life. Waluigi at? <laughs> no, Goombet's actually cute. Kerbet? <laughs> Mr. I at? Oh my God. These little eye guys? Yes. Winner. Ah, yeah. I want that as an emote. Ooh. Get in the pool. Get in the pool! Get in the motherfucking pool right now. The nip is the eyeball. Ugh. Bad angle. But it worked. But what about bullet? <laughs> eel at? <laughs> Imagine having eyes on your nipples and you always have to wear those nippleless shirts. Bull at Bill. My heart just fucking stopped right there. Ugh. Oh! Ha! Ha! Did you- <laughs> Yes, I just did channel my inner Tyler. Hell yeah. Great chest. Fucking love a good chest. <laughs> Professor, you get it? <laughs> that one is fucking good. Thwomp it. I'm- <laughs> I want to thwomp it. 
You guys know what's about to happen. We are doing front sub. I need that front sub energy in the chat because this is kind of a tight trick. Come on, Mario. The whole chat is cheering you on. We don't want to hit it from the back. We ain't into that. We just want a good old-fashioned missionary. Hit that sub from the front. Let's go. Mario. Mario. Let's go, Mario. Love to see it. Front sub. Let's go. Thank you guys so much. That is thanks to you guys. A little emotional, actually. A little bit emotional. When we all come together to front sub, it's a really magical thing. I just love that for us. I just really love that for us. I also love a 152 green. Let's fucking take this home. No whammies. Just focus. Oh, no, that was almost all Wario smooth moves, but... Okay, I can grab that coin now. <gasps> Ooh, what? Okay, it was like, oh, you didn't mean to fall off? No, I got you, bro. Damn it, I missed it. Okay, so we're gonna miss the cycle. That's why we save time, my friends. So that we can make room for mistakes. Pog champ I love that. Ooh, whoa, what? <laughs> I like how Bowser turned to one like totally 90 degrees. I grabbed and then he appeared and <laughs> Hell yeah Sub 30 is exactly how we want to be coming out of Bowser 2 mad piano at that might be the best one Let's keep this pace going my friends. I've read plus uh, celebrated their one year anniversary I didn't realize it was only a year old. They already got their fucking silver play button. They won't send me my silver play button for Jules Conroy Kind of pissed. I've emailed them and they never responded. I want my play button! <laughs> Fuck. You don't have your sil- wait, what, really? That's so silly, Emil. It's not time to start feeling blumpy now. Alright, he's feeling blumpy. <gasps> no! Oh, come on! <laughs> I, I almost spit my coffee at reset. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, 134. That was so clean up to that point. So slick until I caught on fire. Not worried. Not worried. One time I played a guitar for a wedding. I'll, I'll never forget, um, the groom was standing up there, about to get married, and his family was, like, sitting, like, right in front of him, and they're all like, Bro, you nervous? Bro, you ner- you nervous? You feeling- you feel nervous about it? And he just looks down and he's like, Nah, I'm straight chilling. <laughs> I don't know, it was so fucking, like, alpha. It was ridiculous. Every once in a while I think about that. Just a little bit. Five seconds. All right, here's all the time say. Let's make sure this is tight. <laughs> Sans that. Hell yeah, I like that. Because something is so inconsistent. Mario, I said we gotta be tight. Tight like a taint. Not all taints are equally tight. I did that wrong. Vibe check it. Hell yeah. Fuck the shit out of vibe check it. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not fucking around now. I'm not fucking around. Say bye, monkey. Bye, monkey. Ooh. Guys, you gotta say bye, monkey, otherwise we're gonna see him again. Bye, monkey! Good, thank you. We love the monkey, but we can't see him again. We don't have time. Uh-huh. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Okay. No. Monty Moles everywhere! They're trying to put me in their Happy Meal! Inside joke. Stick that in your Happy Meal! Stick that in your Happy Meal at. Maybe a sub one hour, are you nervous? No? Straight chillin'. <laughs> Hamburglar at. Now that is content. Now that's what I call content, 2020. What's the actual story about? It's about Mario being a huge simp and trying to fuck Peach even though Peach doesn't want to fuck him back. Burgle my meat. <laughs> Burgle my home, Mario. Yeah, Snowman Land was so tight in the PB, it's just, it's ridiculous. Hazy Maze, we got some time save here, let's do it. Dump it. I want you to put it in my dumper at. Jules, I love you, but please never say put it in my dumper at again. <laughs> Put it in me dumpa. Guys, can you all promise me that if you ever become Sims, I'm your e-girl? That's the only way I wouldn't be disappointed in you. Jared, ah, oh, fuck. I can't, I can't compete with Jared. Jared's the finest e-girl of all time. At this point, just for the meme, I want to make an OnlyFans. Like, not ever post anything to it or stream, but just so that there's a Family Jewels OnlyFans. It's just literally just the me eating my own ass picture. Hell yes! Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, even better. Fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes. Fuck yes. Oh, I guess there wasn't a lot of time save there. That was one soft nut. It was. It was a soft gold. I love Mario 64! Nintendo 64! Oh my god! First fucking try Lockitude Bounce. Nintendo 64! Oh my god! 
No! We're gonna do one of these. No, this is gonna be hype as fuck. Watch this. Do one of these. Hell yeah. <laughs> Nintendo 64 at. All rainbow ride jumps done at. Want Toxic Eternity. Toxic X Eternity at. Here's hoping to sub one hour at. Uh, don't give me the star. Give me the star. Coffee is flowing in my veins, my friends. Okay, I'm feeling the caffeine now. Nothing activates the caffeine in your system like a little adrenaline. Not going for it. Playing it safe. I'm a simpet from Mario! Mario 64 is my ego. I simp myself Mario. <laughs> now Mario's just showing off. 69 stars, can I get a nice... Die. No! Invisible wall! Invisible wallet! We get to start with the clock stop, though. Which means we'll get up there faster. Uh. Thank you guys so much. Banjo and Smash! Banjo and Smash! <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god, it's been too long. Banjo and Smash! <laughs> Let's open up this pitch! Let's man. open up this pit! Oh, this pit dude. Oh Go. my god. I'm lightheaded. Holy fuck. I can stop streaming every day. The entire ending of that run was fucking ridiculous. Oh, sorry, cheese was under my desk the whole time. I just passed him the controller. Smoke, I can finally smoke some Nick and suck some dick. <laughs> 
We never even saw 59, guys. We didn't even see low one hour. I'm emotional. Look at that run. Not a red in sight. I told you, man. There was just gonna be one run. I'm shaking right now. We've been working on this for years. Like, actually, like, years. And we finally did it. I feel great. I feel so fucking good. I feel so fucking good. <laughs> Let me eat my own ass to celebrate. I'm finally free. I am finally free. <laughs> yeah! Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Oh my god. Emil, that was such a nice hug. Yep, we gotta go to Super Mario 65 now. Oh no, I hit backspace! Fuck, I fucked up, I hit backspace because I said a message, but it's all right. We have the run, we have the run. I can't believe we beat the run in under a min- in, in zero minutes. Thank you guys so much. It wouldn't- it wouldn't be the same if I wasn't doing it for you guys. In addition to doing it for myself. We fucking crushed it. We fucking crushed it. Appreciate it, guys. I'm gonna get going, so I really have to pee. <laughs> that whole run, I was like, oh man, I just want this run to end because I have to pee. first run of the day. Thank you so much for playing my game.